Great Voyage, the cartoonist of the Straw Hats. Chapter 51 Millie, go forward! Exclamation mark. Time flies, a few days have passed tilde Sirob village, port. The sun is as bright as spring, and the breeze is delicate. On the calm sea, sparkling tilde, flocks of seagulls circled around the port, sometimes landing and sometimes singing joyfully, as if tilde. They also want to witness going Mary's maiden voyage. With the joint efforts of almost all the labor force in Xiluobu village, the brand new version of the Golden Millie is 68 meters long and has a net height of 32 meters. It is no longer the little Lolita in the original plot with a length of 10 meters and a height of 10 meters. The whole ship is still powered by sails, and adopts a three-masted sailing ship structure, which enables it to achieve super superior speed when fully sailed. The hull has a total of 10 eight-gate cannons. One door at the bow, one door at the stern, and eight gates on both sides. Full of firepower, because the design is from Mali, the bow is still the classic sheep head shape. This is also Luffy's future special seat. It's unbelievable. I will be the captain of such a big ship. Usopp is standing on the side of the ship, looking from the front deck to the direction of the back deck. He can't see the end at a glance tilde. This guy can be cheeky tilde. Even if everyone ignores him as the captain, he still regards himself as the captain. A lot of money, a lot of money. Nami stood next to Liu Olan, talking non-stop tilde. Zora, who was two meters away, frowned. Where is it? Why didn't I see it? The next moment, I heard Nami's wow, and cried, a lot of money is gone tilde, dot. The others fainted immediately tilde. The cost of this ship is high. Excluding the 20 million baileys funded by Kaya, the Straw Hat Pirates took more than 70 million baileys out of their own pockets. A pirate ship with a value close to 100 million is definitely a coveted ship even in the Grand Line. Fortunately, the bounty contributed by the Black Cat Pirates brought some blood back to the Straw Hat Pirates. Now there are more than 80 million baileys left in the family which is relatively rich, sail. Luffy stood under the mizzen mast, stretched his hands, grabbed the sail that was furled high, and pulled it down tilde, Captain Tilda, do it yourself. Then, with a flick of his legs, he jumped onto the sheep's head at the bow of the boat and sat on it, pointing it forward. He said boldly, Millie, go forward. Leo Land stood by the fence and looked at the crowds below the port, but he couldn't find the figure in the end. It seems that Miss Kaya still wants to stay in her hometown. With that said, Liu Olan prepared to go back to the cabin. But at this moment, Nami next to him grabbed his arm, and An's arm waved and pointed to the ramp in the distance, shouting excitedly, Come, come! Kai she is coming. In the past few days, Liu Olan talked with Nami about inviting Kai to board the boat. Because I'm not sure whether Kai will come, so I only mentioned it in the chat with Nami, but I didn't mention it in the conversation with other people. Kaya, Usopp exclaimed, leaning over the edge of the railing and yelling, Are you here to see me off? Zoro crossed his hands and reminded, Luffy. Wait a minute and set sail. Our benefactor seems to want to say a few farewell words. Well Tilda, Luffy froze. The sails are all lowered, can this be stopped if you want to stop? The wind blows, the boat moves. Kaya on the ramp is running Tilda. In the past few days, she has thought about it for a long time, and also chatted with Mili for a long time. At first, Mili dissuaded her, but later, considering his possible illness, he became supportive of Kaya's boarding. After all, Kaya grew up in Xiluobu village since she was a child and she suddenly said that she wanted to leave. After all, it was still difficult to decide. In fact, she has been hesitating for several days. When she came to the port at this time, she was still not sure whether she wanted to go to sea. But when she saw the moment when going Mary set sail, she suddenly stopped hesitating. She feels that if she misses this opportunity, she will miss the future Tilda. Parents are here, not far away. However, Kaya's parents are no longer there, whether it is to see the world, or for her illness Tilda. Going to sea is her best choice. Watching Mili leave the port. Kaya is in a hurry, scared, missed, going to miss it. She is running desperately tilde. Her weak body made her pale and sweaty, but she still gritted her teeth and persisted. It's Miss Kaya. Is she saying goodbye to the straw hat pirates? Everyone make way. Dot. The villagers spontaneously stepped aside. Kaya ran to the edge of the port, panting. But going Mary is already more than ten meters away from the port tilde. She put her hands on her knees, panting heavily. After a slight pause of two seconds, Kaya yelled at going Mary. Mr. Liu Lan, I've made up my mind. I want to go to sea with you. I'm going to the magnetic drum country you mentioned to look for famous doctors. I want to cure my illness and live strong. Take me. The surrounding villagers were stunned. No one thought that such a weak young lady like Kaya would go to sea. On going Mary Tilda. Nami shouted happily. She wants to come up. She wants to come up. Usopp opened his mouth wide in horror. Is Kaya going to be a pirate too? I don't want to be a pirate. Liu Olan shook her head. Her illness can only live for a few years if she stays here. Only by bravely taking the step to go to sea can she gain a new life. I talked to her about this before, but I didn't expect her to really make up her mind. With that said, Liu Olan turned to look at Luffy and asked, Luffy, you are the captain, what do you think? Zora, Usopp and Nami looked at Luffy at the same time. Luffy jumped down from the sheep's head, stood by the fence, as if convulsed, suddenly raised his hands, and shouted, 
Of course it's a welcome with both hands. As he spoke, he extended his hands and crossed the sea and sky more than ten meters away. Whoosh! Kaya directly experienced a trapeze tilde. Ah tilde. When falling from the sky, Kaya screamed in panic. Seeing Liu Olan below, Kaya quickly opened her arms involuntarily. Liu Olan is also speechless tilde. Luffy. It can be placed on the deck smoothly, but you threw it directly at me tilde. You did it on purpose. Liu Olan stretched out his hand, caught Kaya, and gave her a gentle smile. Welcome, Miss Kaya. Miss Kaya. Luggage. At the port, Emily who was carrying a huge suitcase, just ran to the port. He unloaded the suitcase and shouted loudly. Whoosh! Luffy arms extended Tilda. The luggage flew over in the next second and was thrown to Usopp Tilda. Hey Tilda! Usopp froze for a moment, and opened his hands to take it. Boom Tilda! Was suppressed. Okay Tilda. Luffy is so simple, it must not be because Usopp wants to compete with him for the captain Tilda. Well, definitely not. Ha ha! Chapter 52 Zoro's Draining Results The 3 meter invincible field Under the blue sky and white clouds the melee set off with a boat of dream chasers on board. In the cabin Tilda. Wow, this room. Really looks like my dream. Nami flung herself on her own bed. The spring of the bedding gently threw her up and down again. This level of comfort is simply too comfortable. Kaya said with a quiet smile. It is indeed a boat that cost more than 90 million baileys to build. This living environment is not bad compared with my home. Kaya's room is next door to Nami's. Originally that room was vacant, but Kaya got on the boat and it happened to be next door to Nami. Of course, judging by the situation. There is a high probability that the two girls will live together. Huh? Why is there another door here? The small door on the other side of the room suddenly opened, and Liu Olan walked over from inside. Obviously, the other side of Nami's room is Liu Olan's room. Mili asked for everyone's suggestions when designing. Nami said at the time that he would be next to Mr. Liu Olan's room. Mr. Liu Olan, don't you remember? Seeing Liu Olan's surprised look, Kaya smiled calmly, dimples appearing on her cheeks. Tilda, is that so? Tilda? Liu Olan thought for a while. But he didn't seem to remember. He pointed to this door and said, This door too? Nami nodded vigorously, That's right. You were there, Liu Olan, a Mount Tilda. All right. You can be creative Tilda. The point is, the door doesn't have a lock yet. Nami got off the bed, jumped to Liu Olan's side in three steps and two steps, and took his arm. By the way, your studio is next to your bedroom and it's also my design. How about it? Am I very capable Tilda? Praise me Tilda. Praise me now Tilda. Well, I can do it. The hospitality was hard to come by. Liu Olan reached out and scratched Nami's lovely nose. I have to admit that the studio and the bedroom are next door, and this design really makes Liu Olan very satisfied. Today's going merry is massive. There are more than 20 luxurious rooms like this. In addition, there are some small rooms as temporary spares. In addition, under the suggestion of Zora and Luffy, a reading room was specially built for reading comics. I always look at it from the deck. The wind blowing by the sea will turn me into a human being Tilda. It's not. Zora and Luffy are reading comics in the reading room now Tilda. Question mark biography of Kojiro Sasaki. In the world Tilda. Zora chopping wooden gillum stakes. In fact, his wooden gillum stakes have long since graduated. But in the comic world, every morning, Zora will continue to chop wooden gillum piles, which is already a daily practice. 2999. 3000. After finishing today's morning routine, Zora put down the wooden knife. Afterwards. He picked up another wooden knife, walked up to Kojiro Sasaki, and saluted respectfully, Teacher, please enlighten me. Um, Sasaki Kojiro hummed, holding the knife in both hands. He is. Every time I compete with Zora, no matter whether I suppress the level of strength or not, the attitude of fighting is to go all out. It is precisely because of this that Zora's fighting attitude is also subtly affected. Zora moved, and the knife in his hand slashed cleanly. Brush. 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 Attack from several angles. Sasaki Kojiro stood still. Only the long wooden knife in his hand kept blocking Zora's attack at precise angles. In these blocks, there will be some defensive counterattacks from time to time, which makes Zora frightened from time to time. But, although the battle continued, Sasaki Kojiro did not look relaxed. While fighting, he seriously commented, That's right, it's been such a long time this time, and your slashing accuracy still hasn't dropped in the slightest. Thank you teacher for your compliment. Zora nodded, struck with his sword and pulled away in an instant. He suddenly changed from holding a sword in one hand to holding a sword in two hands. With both hands back on the left cheek, the aura of the whole person suddenly changed. Are you going to show me the results of this period of cultivation? Seeing this scene, Kojiro Sasaki realized something in his heart, and even looked forward to it Tilda. After all, which strong man doesn't want his unique skills to be passed on? He glanced at the length of the wooden knife in Zora's hand, then put down the wooden knife in his hand, and replaced it with a wooden knife a little longer than Zora. Teacher. Please enlighten me. As the voice fell, Zora's slightly closed eyes suddenly opened. Move your foot and take a step forward. At the same time, the knife he held in both hands slashed forward. Exclamation mark. 
cross cut, cut vertically, cross cut. Zara made a total of three cuts, but the three sabers seemed to have no sequence, and they slashed from three directions at the same time, approaching Sasaki Kojiro from three directions. Genius! Exclamation mark. When he saw Zara's move clearly, Kojiro Sasaki's eyes lit up. Exclamation mark. He knew very well that even if he used this trick himself, it would not be much more perfect than Zora. Sasaki Kojiro felt the three-way slash, and for a short moment, a gratified smile appeared on his face. The next moment, he moved back a step. The long wooden knife in your hand is barreled forward. Boom. Zora's offensive came to an abrupt end tilde. Huh? Didn't work? Looking at the wooden knife against his chest, Zora was a little stunned. No. You have successfully mastered the secret skill of Yanfan, but, you have to remember that the distance of this trick is about 3 meters. No matter who is within 3 meters, as long as the weapon is shorter than your knife, he will definitely lose. Sasaki Kojiro explained. Zora looked at the length of the wooden knife in Sasaki Kojiro's hand, and immediately understood why Sasaki Kojiro changed to a long knife just now. It seems, even if he himself, once he falls into the Yanhui domain, he probably won't be able to crack it without a long enough weapon, right? Thank you. Teacher, feeling the experience of using Yan Fan just now, Zora realized the true meaning of Yan Fan belatedly. In the world, there is no move that can be unconditionally invincible. But, if you can achieve invincibility under limited conditions, then this move is worthy of the word invincible. Chapter 53 The Outer Fit Warship Exploded With A Single Sword Time flies. A few days have passed Tilda in Kaya's room. Kaya was lying on the bed, pale, with a hot towel on her forehead. When she first went to sea, Kaya was still very happy. But after sailing at sea for a few days, Kaya's weak constitution began to cause trouble Tilda. Originally, if he was only weak, he could still persevere. But the captain didn't have a decent cook, so the food was not so coordinated and the nutrition was not balanced. It was not even clear whether there was a lack of essential vitamins for the human body. As a result, Kaya was naturally bedridden. Fortunately, with Nami by her side, Kaya was not so sad, but rather happy that she could persevere. She firmly believes that she will be able to persist until the island that Liu Olan mentioned is rich in famous doctors. The future must be bright. Is Kaya feeling better today? The door opened, and Liu Olan and Yusope came in. Liu Olan held a bowl of millet porridge and handed it to Nami. Nami took it and stirred it gently while blowing away the heat. Smell good. Kaya was already hungry, so when she asked about the scent, her stomach started to growl. Of course, this is Liu Olan's porridge. I have no chance to eat it. Nami expressed jealousy half-jokingly. This should be enough for a bowl in the pot, you can eat it later. Liu Olan shrugged. It was impossible for him to cook porridge. No one in this boat can cook porridge. Fortunately, he is a time traveler, and in his previous life he was also in a taku who could eat and cook, so he can still do some simple health care series. Only, if you want to be a chef, it is definitely not qualified. Yusop actually wants to do something for Kaya, but he grows up so much, he eats casually, how can he cook such delicate millet porridge? He looked at Kaya and clenched his fists to cheer her up. Kaya, don't worry, there are many excellent chefs in the place Liu Olan said, as long as one of them is willing to board our boat. You don't have to worry about lack of nutrition in the future. Kaya smiled hard. Well, everyone treats me so well, I can persevere. It used to be a life of one person, but now there are so many partners together. This kind of life is very new for Kaya. Even with such difficulties, she can persevere. Liu Olan took out a nautical chart, looked at it, and handed it to Nami. Is it almost there? Nami took the chart and looked out the window for a while. She nodded. Yes, it is estimated that in a while, we will arrive at the sea restaurant Balati. Well, Nami. You stay here and take care of Kaya, you soap and I will go to the deck to have a look. Since crossing over, Liu Olan has been obsessed with visiting the attractions in the world of One Piece. There are many scenes, watching them in comics and watching them live, that is not the same concept Tilda. Liu Olan really wants to see this magical sea restaurant. If I remember correctly, when the plot reaches this point, there will also be a showdown between the world's number one swordsman and the future's number one swordsman. As a person who likes to eat melon Tilda, how could such a thing be missed? Liu Olan and you soap came to the deck and Zora was looking forward at the bow, and Luffy was in his special seat. Look, is there a big fish out there? Luffy stood up suddenly and pointed into the distance. Big fish? Zora frowned, and then said with a look of disgust, Idiot, that's a fish-shaped boat. Yes, that is the destination of our trip, the sea restaurant Barati. Liu Olan walked to Zora and said, Wow, really? Hearing this, Luffy was so excited that he raised his hands high. I can finally taste the delicacy here. Hey, hey, don't forget, we are here to find the chef. So don't forget about business. Mother Siro began to worry about her silly son again. Ten minutes later, Going Merry continued to approach Barati. Around Barati, there are many other boats, which come to eat. However, when we approached, the fog dissipated a little, and one ship seemed out of place. It was a dilapidated ship, but a big one. Although smaller than Going Merry, it has four masts. It needs so much power, it looks like a ship made for war. This is. Seeing this ship, 
Liu Olan recalled it in his mind, and immediately understood, this is the warship of Creek, the overlord of the East Blue. According to the original plot, this ship arrived after the arrival of the Straw Hat Pirates. Now, the Straw Hats have been delayed for a few days in Sirob Village, but the new going merry is much faster than the original. This makes the time on the road slowly saved, but seeing Crick's warship, Liu Olan determined that the current timeline is still slower than the original plot. Usopp's eyes widened. Are this ship dot 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 why does it look like a piece of shit? Zora nodded. Looks like he survived a severe storm. It's not as beautiful as our boat anyway. Luffy chuckled while talking. Suddenly, brush exclamation mark. Above the surface of the sea, a beam of sword energy soared into the sky. Boom exclamation mark. The moment the sword energy passed over the creek warship, the warship burst like a watermelon that had been hit. Exclamation mark. Chapter 54 Hey, the strongest, come and fight with me, please subscribe, oh, the sudden appearance directly caused Luffy and Jusope, two guys who had never seen the world, to open their mouths wide in shock, and their eyeballs were about to pop out Tilda, Zora is slightly better, but his face is also stiff and sweating Tilda, good, so strong, although he didn't see who was making the attack, just relying on this sword energy, a fool could guess that the other party was a super powerful swordsman, yes, the person is coming. Liu Olan recalled the plot. There is no doubt that the man with Renegan is coming. What? Help. On the tattered and exploded pirate ship, horrified shouts continued. And on the deck of a sea restaurant Balati, a large number of people rushed out at this time. There are diners Tilda. There is a cook Tilda. There is Marine Tilda. And Pirate Creek. As soon as Crick rushed out, he saw that his only remaining main ship was blown into a rotten watermelon. His five senses were released all of a sudden, and he yelled angrily, What's going on? Captain Creek. Our main ship has been cut off. On the fragmented hull, there were pirates responding to Crick. Are you kidding? Can such a huge ship be cut off? What the hell happened? I don't know. I feel that the ammunition depot on the ship may have exploded. Even if the ammunition depot explodes, it won't have such a thorough effect, right? The chefs and the guests were all shocked and speculated wildly. At this time, Berati's boss, Zip, rushed out and yelled at the chef, Quick, move our boat, otherwise we will be involved too. Others don't know this terrifying sword chi. But Zeppu is an existence who has been in the Grand Line and can retreat unscathed. He could tell at a glance, this is the number one in the world. At this time Tilda, in the gaps between the fragmented hulls, the view is unobstructed. On the sea in the distance, a miniature sailboat that looks like a western coffin appeared in front of everyone. In the shallow cabin, a man with eagle-like eyes was sitting there. Black top hat, burgundy pattern shirt, black windbreaker, black boots, a gentleman's aura Tilda. On his chest, hung a pendant with a small cross knife, and behind him, was carrying the strongest black knife in the world e exclamation mark 820 r underscore n on the broken ship board someone from overseas screamed in terror it's him it's him he's coming captain crick it's that man the man who single-handedly defeated our entire fleet is here he has been chasing here he must have come to kill us the surviving pirates of the creek fleet had just escaped from the brink of starvation but in a blink of an eye they encountered this god of death. Collapsed. They are totally broken. Arsehole. Crick's face no longer has the arrogance. He treated the chefs just now, replaced by sweat oozing, frightened and sluggish Tilda. As the captain of fifty pirate ships, Crick was eager to enter the Grand Line just a few days ago. But as soon as he entered, he met this man in front of him. Swipe swipe. Crick saw the shadows of swords and swords all over the sky, and the sword energy split the waves. In the blink of an eye, the big fleet he was so proud of turned into pieces on the sea Tilda. If it wasn't for a storm that happened to come at that time, his life would have been lost at that time. But now, hot man here he comes. Crook didn't even have the slightest thought of trying to resist, his hands and feet were cold. Not far behind him, a curly-haired chef in a tuxedo with a cigarette in the corner of his mouth subconsciously said, This is the man who wiped out fifty warships by himself? The other chef next to him also said in confusion, He seems to be ordinary. Besides, he doesn't look like he has any special weapons. No. Isn't his weapon on his back? Zip said solemnly. Hearing this, the chef who was confused just now opened his mouth wide. What? Could it be that he chopped off fifty warships with that knife? Question mark. Yes. Zeppi nodded seriously, then clasped his hands in front of him, and said in an unquestionable tone, Hawkeye is synonymous with Swordmaster, he is the number one in the world today. Great swordsman. Ah, what kind of hatred do we have with you? Why are you chasing us all over the world? At this time, a pirate seemed to have collapsed and he yelled at Hawkeye like crazy in despair. Hawkeye didn't look sideways, but tilted his head slightly, and said calmly, A-J-E, to pass the time. What? Damn it. It apostrophe s dot 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 it's saying that it's killing time. The collapsed pirate seemed to have forgotten his fear, pulled out the double guns that had accompanied him for many years, and shot wildly at Hawkeye. All the bullets in the two guns were fired in one go. Um, the sharp eyes are slightly condensed Tilda. Hawkeye casually grabbed the hilt of Hideo's knife behind him, 
and waved his hand casually tilde, rush, under the guidance of Hydra, all the bullets scattered towards the sea, ah, no, missed, the remaining pirates all stared in shock, this was the first time they saw Hawkeye make a move, when they met on the Grand Line before, they didn't see Hawkeye's attack at all, and then their battleships exploded one after another, now that they saw Hawkeye make a move with their own eyes, they realized how terrifying this man was, there are also some pirates who seem to be infected by the pirate just now, and want to fight in the desperate situation, they picked up their guns, intending to go all out, but at this moment, an uninvited guest appeared among them, it's useless, no matter how many times you hit it, it's impossible to hit it, he used the blade to change the trajectory of the shot, Zora stood on a floating fragment of the hull and said in a deep voice, hey, who are you, the pirate who was the first to shoot faced the uninvited guest and roared fiercely, but Zora ignored him, and continued to talk to himself, I've never seen such a gentle sword, eagle-eyed brows moved, he said lightly, a sword that doesn't kiss you isn't strong, it should have cut off the ship with that sword, sweeping his eyes over the fragments of the hull on the sea, Zora sighed under pressure, it really is the strongest, hey, 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 the green-haired swordsman, he, isn't he the famous pirate hunter in East Blue, it's him, pirate hunter Rora Noah Zora, no way, of course it's him, how did he appear here, when one of the pirates recognized Zora's identity, the other pirates also recognized Zora one by one, the curly-browed chef on the deck moved his face slightly, is that guy the pirate hunter that people often mention? The sea restaurant has customers all over East Blue, so there are often people chatting about the legend of Zora while eating. The chefs here have all heard the name Zora. Ignoring the yelling from the people around him, Zora faced Hawkeye and said, When I first went out to sea, my wish was to meet you for a while. Oh? Meet me for a while? Hearing this, Hawkeye still didn't look him in the eye, but asked calmly, Then, what is your purpose? Hey! the strongest, aren't you free, come and fight with me, Zora didn't waste any extra nonsense, and directly stated his intentions, but when these words came out, the whole world suddenly became quiet, what, dash, the people around, whether they are pirates, chefs, or marines, one by one, all of them were unbelievably wide-eyed and dumbfounded, come, come come fight me, question mark, hiss, everyone gasped in unison tilde, the few pirates who dared to attack in the creek fleet were driven to a dead end anyway, and they fought hard before dying, but what about this man, question mark, he even offered to fight Hawkeye, crazy, this guy is truly insane, on the deck of going merry, what, you soap's eyes widened in horror, and his limbs flailed wildly, wh dot 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 why is that green haired bastard there, and him, what did he just say, crazy, we will be implicated by him tilde, you soap was already incoherent, shouted the original lie, but he yelled for a while, only to find that neither Luffy nor Liu Olan was indifferent, he yelled, hey hey, are you too stupid, why don't you stop him, Liu Olan patted you soap on the shoulder and said with a smile, you know, what is the scariest thing, die, without any hesitation, you soap replied, yeah, death is scary, Liu Olan nodded, agreeing with this point of view, but then, he looked in Zora's direction and said with emotion, but for everyone, there are always some things that are above death, being able to fight Hawkeye is more important than his life for Zora, important, you soap shook his head again and again, no dot 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 impossible, is there anything more important than being alive, don't be so quick to say number, believe me, once something like that happens to you, so will you, some words don't need to be so clear, because things are often recognized after they happen, just like you soap who is as timid as a mouse tilde, when he starts to realize that he is one of the partners of this team, then when the partner encounters real danger of life, he will turn into the darling of God and turn the tide. But this, for the current Usopp, he obviously wouldn't believe it. Seeing that Liu Olan was also crazy, Usopp yelled at Luffy again, Hey, hey, Luffy, you are the captain, your words must be useful, call him back quickly. He will die, good guy, think Luffy is the captain now. However, Luffy also looked in Zora's direction with a calm expression, and said, Zora, his dream is to become the world's number one swordsman. Now the world's number one swordsman is right in front of us. Is there any reason to stop him from challenging his dream? Lol. Luffy, who usually seems out of tune, always sees things more thoroughly than anyone else when it matters. It is probably because of this reason that he is born with a leadership temperament that attracts his partners. Are you both crazy? You soap sat on the ground with his buttocks. His heart felt cold tilde. Coffin sailboat. Listening to Zora's invitation to fight, Hawkeye finally stopped staring at him as before. That's not to say that Zora had his attention but because of his personal character, although he has been sitting firmly on the throne of the world's number one swordsman all year round, he will never refuse the challenge of any swordsman. Even a fledgling rookie, as long as he is a swordsman, he will fight. Slowly getting up, staring at Zoro with sharp eagle eyes, the pathetic weak, the coffin boat under his feet moved automatically without wind, as if it was finding its own way, it actually docked beside the large piece of hull where Zoro was. Hawkeye jumped lightly and landed lightly. He stood there with his hands in his arms, like a mountain peak, 
giving people the feeling of the peak. If you are also considered a swordsman, then you don't need to fight. The disparity in strength between you and me must be obvious at a glance. Hawkeye stood proudly, staring at Zoro with a gaze that defy the world. Does the courage to dare to challenge me come from your ambition? Or from ignorance? This is my dream, and it is also in agreement with a close friend. Zoro didn't talk nonsense, put his right hand on the hilt of Hidao Yiwin's sword, and slowly pulled it out. He looked at Hawkeye and said honestly, to be honest, I didn't expect to meet you so soon. Are you still determined to fight? It's no good. Hawkeye looked at Zora, and seemed to have a good eye for this young man Tilda. After waiting for about three seconds, seeing that Zora's fighting spirit had not weakened in any way, Hawkeye understood Zora's determination to challenge. He took off the cross pendant from his neck, flicked it lightly, and a miniature knife appeared in his hand. Hey, what do you mean? Zora's complexion became unwell, and he asked in a cold voice. Hawkeye replied calmly, you are just a well-known swordsman. I am not the kind of stupid beast who will do everything in his power to catch a rabbit. As he said that, Hawkeye raised the knife in his hand. I'm sorry, this is already the smallest knife I can find. Hateful. There must be a limit to underestimating people. These words greatly stimulated Zora's nerves. The corners of his mouth twitched, and he was about to get angry. But suddenly, the figure of Sasaki Kojiro appeared in his mind every time he fought with him. Although Sasaki Kojiro never said it but every time his attitude towards the battle is to go all out. The lion fights the rabbit with all its strength. This is the true portrayal of Sasaki Kojiro's battle. Zora has also been deeply influenced by this fighting attitude during his long-term practice. The next moment, Zora calmed down. Oh? You actually adjusted your mentality so quickly? Sensing Zora's emotional changes, Hawkeye's eyes showed a touch of surprise, and even a hint of appreciation. Zora stared at Hawkeye earnestly. I learned one thing in the process of practicing with my teacher. What's the matter? Hawkeye asked lightly, that's the attitude towards fighting. As he spoke, he Dao pointed forward, here we come. Chapter 55 Hawkeye, who said you lost? Please subscribe, Rush. Zora slashed out with one knife, there is no extra bells and whistles, but this knife is full of thickness. When Hawkeye casually handed the knife forward, and exchanged blows, Rush, Zora strikes again Tilda. When Hawkeye still blocked it casually, swipe swipe, Zora kept slashing and the accuracy of the knife has never changed at all. Dang 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 dang. The cross knife is like a fetish in Hawkeye's hands, accurately blocking every slash of Sauron. However, unlike the initial ignorance, Hawkeye's attitude towards Zoro has changed a little bit. Of course, it's just a little bit. Your shooting accuracy has not changed at all. It seems that you have a good master. While fighting, Hawkeye commented. Yes, my masters are very good. Both Koshiro and Sasaki Kojiro have far-reaching significance to Zoro's kendo. Masters? Interesting. Hearing this, the corners of Hawkeye's mouth slightly raised, and then he said fiercely, but, is this all your ability? Controlling the cross knife in one hand, Hawkeye raised the other hand leisurely, and pinched Zoro's index finger and thumb together. Hateful. Although Zoro tried his best to control his mind. But I have to say, Facing a guy like Hawkeye who wants to kill but can't do anything is really exciting. One sword style wooden gillum pile. Zoro was furious, and the word he dow in his hand suddenly changed its direction, turned to raising his hands, and slashed at Hawkeye from top to bottom. This is a move that Zoro imitated during the training of splitting wooden gillum piles. Steady, accurate, ruthless. Hit all the strength on the point of the blade, chopping to the point on the head of the opponent wooden gillum pile. Oh? Nice moves. Hawkeye knows how to do it. And Dei I can see that this trick is not an ordinary coquettish thing Tilda, only, but that's all, youngster, let me teach you how wide this world is Tilda. Hawkeye stood where he was, and only moved forward with the cross knife in his hand, when, the sword of the cross knife is precisely on Zora's blade, nah. Nanny, feeling the indescribable blocking force, Zora's pupils opened wide, hey hey hey, impossible, with such a small knife, all the attacks of the pirate hunters were wiped out, is this the strength of the world's number one swordsman, too strong. He didn't even use that big knife. The people present were all shocked by Hawkeye's strength. Originally everyone only knew that Hawkeye was very strong Tilda, but when I saw it with my own eyes, I realized that Hawkeye was no longer very strong, but ridiculously strong. This knife seems to be just a simple strike with a weapon, but only Zoro himself understands how terrifying Hawkeye's knife is. His one knife style wooden gillum pile hits all the power on one point of the blade, and smashes all the enemies in front of him with a single-handedly powerful spirit. Two, the location where Hawkeye's cross knife hit was exactly the point on the edge of the blade that Zora hit. Zora's knife was so fast that ordinary people couldn't react at all. But Hawkeye not only quickly found Zora's power gathering point in such a short time, but also hit it with ease. And, judging from his appearance, he simply hit at Tilda. For the first time since the start of the war, Zora has self doubt in his heart. Gap, is it really that big? F, I cannot accept. What? Underscore, power surged from his arms, and Zora let out an explosive roar. He pushed hard 
pushing himself and Hawkeye two steps away. This distance is exactly three meters tilde. What? Looks like there's still a whole card. Hawkeye glanced at Zora lightly, looking forward to it. After all, he is so boring Tilda. I was so bored that I was woken up by the Creek Grand Fleet just because I was sleeping, so I cut up all the pirate ships in the Creek Fleet for fun. Now seeing that Zora still has a hand, of course it will be very interesting. Yes. The next move is a secret technique passed down from my master. If you still use this knife, you may die. Zora looked at Hawkeye seriously. While speaking, he held the hilt of Hidao Yiwin's sword with one hand, and the tip of the sword pointed downward obliquely. Then, Hold the hilt of the sword with both hands and pull it to the side of the right face. Cheat. I like it. What could be more interesting to a true great swordsman than the collision of swordsmanship? The secret technique inherited from the master, that is the true portrayal of the other master's kendo. It is good. Very good. Hawkeye picked up the cross knife and posed. From ignoring just now to putting on a stance now. Hawkeye has paid more attention to it than before. Dell. Let's take it seriously Tilda. Seeing that Hawkeye was still fighting with a knife, Zora stopped reminding him. When he moved his feet. The word he down in his hand was split forward, brush, slash, brush, right side chop, brush, slash left, a cut based on the real world tilde. In addition, it is fast enough to ignore the concepts of time and space, and overlap the left and right cuts at the same time. From the three sides approaching the blade almost at the same time, it has completely surpassed various elements such as speed, precision, and false moves, and is almost comparable to the existence of magic. This is Sasaki Kojiro's ultimate must kill. Swallow return. Um, when faced with Zoro's trick, Hawkeye's face suddenly changed. Pfft. He is the world's greatest swordsman Tilda. Whether it is the practice of armament Haki or observation Haki, they are all at the top of the pyramid in this world Tilda. He was able to easily deal with Zoro's full attack with a cross knife, and it was also because of the super powerful observation Haki. However, when he faced this move, his expression became very ugly Tilda. Observation Haki played to ultimate at this moment. Somehow, he seemed to have a premonition that his head was about to be chopped off. Under this crazy warning, Hawkeye immediately switched from offense to defense without hesitation. But in this way, a bigger shock came. Hawkeye's unbelievable discovery Tilda. His observation Haki was fully locked all the opponent's attack tracks Tilda. But dot 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 so what? Because no matter what, he couldn't defend these three swords at the same time. At least one knife will surely land on his neck. How is this possible? Shouting in shock, Hawkeye didn't have time to think about it, and casually gave up the cross knife in his hand and pulled out the black sword in an instant. With unparalleled speed and strength, forcibly suppressed the past. Boom. Dash. The terrifying sword intent suddenly exploded at this moment, like a hundred thousand shells exploding at the same time. In just the moment of the exchange of blows, Hawkeye had already appeared more than ten meters away, and Zora was also instantly blown away by this terrifying wave of sword intent. Boom. Dash. Zora fell to the ground, as if his internal organs were displaced by the sword energy. But in his hand, he still firmly grasped the word Hidao. It's a knife, but it's not just a knife. It is the ideal that Qina pinned on him here. He grabbed the knife, and even though his body was bruised and bruised, he still used the knife to force himself to stand up, as expected. He is indeed the strongest. Looking at Hawkeye on the opposite side, Zora realized the terrible gap in hard power. Hearing Zora's praise, Hawkeye's face twitched slightly. This is the first time since he rose to fame. He blushed when he heard other people's praise Tilda. He touched his left neck with his right hand tilde. Hash B. A tiny scratch hurts slightly. This was caused by Zora's blow just now. If it wasn't for the fact that the opponent hadn't mastered armament Haki and observation Haki, then the consequences of this blow would not only have left this shallow scratch on his neck. Yan returned to the field, invincible. It's not just talking tilde. Although Hawkeye changed to Hideo Yi in time, it was another spot change. After all, and he still couldn't completely crack Zora's swallow return secret skill. Of course. This is not to say that only a long sword can crack Yan Fan Tilda, quite the opposite. If there is no absolute strength, even if the sword is long, in front of Yan Hui, it will still be the end of the first bid. If Hawkeye uses the secret skill of swallowing return at this time, and Zora defends with a black sword, even if Hawkeye uses the cross knife in his hand, as long as he gets close, Zora will die. Hawkeye knew very well that he was able to forcibly turn things around just now because the powerful Haki was released suddenly, which affected Zora's moves and gave him a chance to retreat. Although he won this duel, in Hawkeye's eyes, he actually lost. He slowly inserted the black sword back into the scabbard behind him, and then picked up the cross knife that he had thrown on the ground just now. Looking at Zora, swordsman, what is your name? Roranoa, Zora. Seeing Hawkeye put away the knife, Zora also inserted the word head out into the scabbard, although he was seriously injured at this time. He still stood forcibly. Roranoa, Zora, good. Thinking carefully about the name, Hawkeye remembered the name deeply in his mind, and he said again, 
During the battle just now, you said that you learned an attitude towards fighting while practicing with your teacher. What kind of attitude is that? Zora heard the words, and the voice of Sasaki Kojiro appeared unconsciously in his mind. He said sincerely, the lion fights the rabbit with all his strength. The lion fights the rabbit with all its strength. Hawkeye's sharp eyes reveal a complicated look Tilda. Once upon a time Tilda, when he was a hot-blooded young swordsman, why wasn't he a lion fights a rabbit with all his strength person? Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. But now, I've been sitting on the throne of the world's number one swordsman for a long time, and I'm bored. When meeting a rookie, he can't help but underestimate the enemy. However, Zora's sentence a lion fights a rabbit with all its strength can be said to be Kylie Oliuro's slap in the face. Wanted to teach rookie swordsman from East Blue a lesson with a cross knife, Result Tilda Quang hurriedly discarded the cross knife, even after pulling out the black knife ye, still, I was left with a trace of scars Tilda. In terms of strength comparison, if Zora is a rabbit, then his mehook is a lion. No, to be precise, it is a more ferocious and powerful beast than a lion. But even so, he still lost the trick just now. What a slap in the face Tilda. Bring it on. At this moment, Zora suddenly opened his arms and pointed his chest to Hawkeye. Hawkeye wondered, what? The challenge to the world's number one swordsman, since I lost, the price should be my life. In the face of life and death, Zora is very calm. The only thing I feel guilty about is that I failed to fulfill the promise to Qina. Losing? Who said you lost? Hearing this, Hawkeye shook his head slightly. Didn't Zora lose? It must be. He is almost unable to stand up, so is there any need to ask? I haven't been hit by Hawkeye just now. I'm afraid it's because of Hawkeye's mercy. But why did Hawkeye say that? I don't know. I'm confused too. Hearing Hawkeye's rhetorical question, all the Melanitas around showed black question mark faces. This is not lost what is it? MNMM. Do you still want to say that you lost? What do you mean? Zora stared slightly. Hawkeye said, a duel between swordsmen, if you only look at the result, it will be meaningless. What did you call that move just now? Swallow back. Zora said, it is good. Hawkeye nodded. He was still thinking about Yan Fan's move and his mind. After a while, he solemnly said to Zora, I lost this battle. What? Hey hey hey, am I hallucinating? No dot 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 no 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 way. Hawkeye said he lost dot 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 lost. My god, this is the world's number one swordsman. Everyone was stunned by Hawkeye's words. In the restaurant on the sea, there was a person who happened to be a reporter from the news agency. He was holding a video phone bug, and was frantically filming. Big news. Big news. Tomorrow, the most beautiful boy in the news agency in the world must be me. What are you saying? Zora is furious. A scholar can be killed but not humiliated. Can such things as victory or defeat be given away casually? Question mark. Hawkeye was still calm, and he pointed to the scratches on his neck with his fingers. Here, everything has been proven. Hiss. Hawkeye is injured. It's the neck. This is the key point. No wonder Hawkeye said he lost. It seems that he suffered internal injuries. Maybe it's true. Then let's put it this way. Isn't the name of the world's number one swordsman just? A new world's number one swordsman has been born. When seeing Hawkeye injured, People couldn't calm down anymore, although everyone thinks that Zora lost. Hawkeye himself said that he lost. How the hell does this count? Will the title of the world's number one swordsman change hands? The reporter who was the most excited was about to lose. He held up the video phone in his hand and quickly took pictures one after another. However, there are some things that others don't know, but Zora knows. Bastard, that wound was left on purpose by yourself. Zora was furious, and he glared at Hawkeye. You are such a powerful guy. The power of releasing Haki can't be only a little bit like just now. If your Haki is a little bigger, at this point, my moves will be further affected, and it is impossible to leave a wound on your neck. Something like Haki Tilda. Although Zora doesn't have it, Luffy does. Zora sparred with Luffy when he was free. Although the Haki I felt from Hawkeye just now is stronger than Luffy's Haki, but dot 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 not unreasonably strong. And this, is the biggest unreasonable. Hearing this, Hawkeye said in a deep voice, a little bigger, and you will die. Ha ha, Zora smiled wryly Tilda. Do I still need an opponent to consider my life or death? Is the difference really that big? And at this moment, I continued, Rora Noah Zora, the you are right now. You still can't bear the consequences of being the world's number one swordsman. Live well and continue to grow savagely. I will be waiting for you on the throne of the world's number one swordsman. Chapter 56 I'll give you another kendo manga. You seriously understand it? Please subscribe. The coffin sailboat departs. Come board. Return with pleasure. This trip to East Blue, to meet a swordsman like Zora, is a worthwhile trip for Hawkeye Tilda. In the world of pirates, there are many powerful swordsmen Tilda. Some join the Imperial group, and some formed forces. But only Hawkeye is a very special one. He is indifferent to fame and wealth, and his only hobby is to study the way of swordsmanship. As a result, he gradually felt the invincible loneliness on his way of swordsmanship. Originally, Hong Fu could compete with him in swordsmanship. But since Hong Fu broke his left arm, Hawkeye no longer wanted to compete with Hongfa in swordsmanship. Now that such a seed is suddenly found in East Blue, how can Hawkeye not be excited? Although there is a teacher behind Zora, Hawkeye didn't think about it. After all, 
a strong man who can teach a swordsman like Zora and also has the secret skill of Swallow Return should have been famous for a long time. But in this sea, Hawkeye has never heard of such a person. That means there are only two possibilities Tilda. One, this person is indifferent to fame and fortune, and is a hermit. The other is that this person has reached the end of his life when he can no longer compete for hegemony, and even the secret skill of Yan Fan may only be realized after he retired from injury. No matter what the situation is, Hawkeye doesn't want to disturb others. Ongoing Mary Tilda. Liu Olan was slightly taken aback. When Zora was talking to Hawkeye just now, he seemed to vaguely heard the move that Zora used before was called. Yan Fan? Isn't that move Sasaki Kojiro's move? Or did I hear it wrong? It's actually boredom? 263. Or is it swallowing rice? Exclamation mark. Suddenly, Liu Olan remembered. Before Zora came to him and said he wanted to read manga, it seems that he was given biography of Sasaki Kojiro. No way. Although the use of Yan Fan is indeed explained in the manga, but can you learn such a magical skill just by reading manga? This Nima, isn't it too ridiculous? No, I have a chance to ask Sue. What are you still doing in a daze? Kill him. At this time, Creek on the deck of the sea restaurant Barati shouted orders to the group of pirates. Ah. Yes. This guy is a pirate hunter. Kill him. He beat Hawkeye. We just need to kill him, and we win Hawkeye. Come on, brothers. Crick's men rush towards the seriously injured Zora howling. It's not a glorious thing to sneak attack when others are weak. A figure landed behind Zora. It was Liu Olan impressively. Damn, meddlesome brat. I'll kill you. Shot. The guns in the hands of the pirates immediately greeted Liu Olan. Bang 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 bang. Dot. The bullets sprayed like crazy like they don't want money. Liu Olan shot like a phantom tilde. In the blink of an eye, all the flying bullets were caught by Liu Olan tilde. Nanny, he. He 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 catches the bullet with his bare hands. Damn it. The pirates who were shooting just a moment ago suddenly widened their eyes in horror. Mad Tilda, I can catch Hyoyan Kthilu, but am I afraid of mere bullets? Facing these surprised pirates, Liu Lan said, Never seen the world Tilda. He stretched out his hand and pointed to the side sea and sky of the pirates. I told you, pay attention to the side too. The pirates subconsciously turned their heads to look, and immediately saw a noodle stretching across the sea and sky. Do not, that's Luffy's leg. Rubber jet whip. Crack, crack, crack. Accompanied by a burst of intensive and continuous whipping sounds, these pirates all screamed and were kicked into the sea unconsciously. Nice job, Luffy. Liu Olan turned around and supported Zora, ignoring those pirates. As for the back, it is safe to leave it to Luffy. How can you hold on? Liu Olan pinched Zora's body, fearing that the eagle-eyed Haki might be shocked Tilda. But Liu Olan is not worried about Zora's life. After all, in the original plot, Zora has encountered more serious injuries than this several times, and he can come back alive and kicking every time. Of course I can hold on. Zora is very strong. He coughed twice, and looked at Liu Olan. Is my performance just passable? After all, it was Liu Olan who gave him the manga, which gave him the strength to fight Hawkeye in Zora's heart. He was still very grateful to Liu Olan. Based on the fact that you haven't mastered Haki yet, you can force Hawkeye to pull out the black sword Yaya to deal with your offensive which is enough to make all swordsmen feel ashamed. For this point, Liu Ogang, who has read the original plot, has the most say. A swordsman without Haki versus a swordsman with Haki. What is the real battle like? This can refer to the Hawkeye battles or in the original plot tilde. That's a completely one-sided slap. Suddenly thinking of Yan Fan, Liu Olan asked, Did you use Sasaki Kojiro's Yan Fan just now? Sure enough tilde. The abilities learned from Liu Olan's comic books cannot escape Liu Olan's eyes. It seems that Luffy is right. Liu Olan knows everything about us in the comic book. Thinking of this, Zora nodded. Yes, thank you for arranging such a good teacher as Sasaki Kojiro for me. Fortunately, I lived up to your wishes and learned Yanfan. Why are you thanking me? I just spent a comic book for you to read. But who knew that you could comprehend the secret skill of Yanfan just by reading those color pages? Please, this is your own talent. Okay Tilda, figure. Now that you've said that, wouldn't it be hypocritical for me not to acknowledge your gratitude? Liu Olan nodded without blushing. Well. It's good that you know. Since you have already learned Yan Fan, then that, biography of Sasaki Kojiro, is of no more use to you. I will find you a suitable kendo manga later, and you should study it carefully. Since you're so awesome, you can learn swordsmanship by reading comics. Then I will pick another one for you Tilda. If you can still learn swordsmanship by reading comics, then I would like to call you Longitan. When Zora heard it, his eyes lit up immediately. After the battle with Hawkeye, Zora desperately wants to become stronger. In the words of Hawkeye, it is barbaric growth. A copy of biography of Sasaki Kojiro, raised his strength to the point where Hawkeye thought he had lost. If there is another comic tilde, hiss. Just thinking about it makes Zora feel excited. Can't wait to read the manga now. He grabbed Liu Olan's hand excitedly. Okay. I will definitely understand it. Amount tilde. Liu Olan unobtrusively pulled out the hand held by Zora tilde. It's milk drops. I didn't feel anything when I was caught by Nami before. But now I'm caught by Zora, 
I really have goosebumps all over the floor. On the deck of the sea restaurant Barati Tilda. Hey, hey, those young people are too strong. That pirate hunter single-handedly pushed back the world's number one swordsman. The guy next to the pirate hunter just caught the bullet with his bare hands. This boy with a Raymond body is not easy. He has managed all the hundreds of pirates in Creek Pirates by himself. Just before the Straw Hat Pirates arrived, Creek had issued an ultimatum to everyone in Barati. Tell them, this sea restaurant is taken by him, Creek. Originally, the chefs were all ready to take the guys and fight the pirates desperately, but who knew, in the blink of an eye, only Creek was left as the bear commander of the Creek Pirates. Oh, no, there is also a captain named Ajin. Ha ha, now the crisis in the restaurant is over. A chef excitedly raised his fork and shouted. That's right, Creek Pirates are over. We're safe. The chefs cheered one by one. On the other side, Creek, who was also standing on Balati's deck, was already so dark that his face was turning purple. A bunch of idiots. It's too early to rejoice. As long as Lozi is still here, your ship can't escape. Crick took a step forward, and the powerful aura immediately forced the chefs to retreat again and again. He swept across the faces of the chefs ferociously, then turned his head to look at Going Merry, and sneered, HMPH. But Lozi has changed his mind now. Their ship is more suitable to be my main ship. As he said that, Creek stepped on the edge of the deck and his figure jumped up suddenly, boom, he landed on a piece of driftwood, stretched out his arm, and his exclusive weapon, the great gun, landed in his hand, this is a long gun, but there is a shield with various hidden weapons hidden a little bit below the tip of the gun, at this time, it is suitable to be used as a paddle, he paddled the driftwood, and going merry paddled across, hey, luffy, Luo Lan, that bastard is coming towards our boat, on the deck, Usopp cried out nervously when he saw this scene, he took out his slingshot and shot at Creek. When Creek waved the big gun in his hand casually, and Usopp's attack was wiped out. Fool. When I, Creek, set my sights on your ship, your ship is already mine. Creek sneered, and the speed of paddling increased. Looking at this scene, Liu Olan couldn't help feeling extremely funny Tilda. He shouted teasingly, Hey, that rower, you want to snatch our boat? Have you asked our captain? Creek glanced at Liu Olan, and said disdainfully, who is your captain? Tell him to get acquainted and leave on his own initiative, lest I kill you. Hearing this, Luo Lan took Luffy who had just come over with his arm, and said, Luffy, he asked you to get acquainted. Ah, it really pissed me off. As soon as Luffy pressed his legs, the airflow rushed towards his whole body along his feet. The next moment, with a swish, he bounced into the air. Attack from the air. Crick looked up at Luffy, with a mocking look on his face. Stupid, although the air has an excellent attack angle, people are also excellent targets in the air. Kakaka Tilda. Crick arched his body backwards, a large number of guns shot out of his body instantly, and shot crazily at Luffy in the air. Puff Tilda. Luffy bit his thumb and blew hard, his whole arm turned into a giant bone balloon. Ah! What's that? Mom, have you seen a ghost? I know. He must have eaten the legendary devil fruit. It's terrible. Amid the exclamation of the crowd, Luffy urged armament Haki again. However, with his current level of armament Haki, he still can't cover the entire bone balloon, but only covers the frontmost pad with armament Haki. The fist as big as a mountain bag, under Luffy's forceful downward swing, rushed towards Creek with a destructive momentum. Bang 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 bang. Those bullets struggled powerlessly in front of this terrifying fist like a jumping clown, and scattered indiscriminately. Nanny? Question mark. Bullet is useless? Crick had never seen such an exaggerated existence before, and his face suddenly changed. Seeing the giant's fist fall, he raised his big gun in a desperate fight. Boom. 3.8 fists fell. The crusher creek reached the sea in an instant, and then blasted into the sea. Luffy, hand, Liu Olan shouted. Whoosh! Luffy's other hand stretched instantly, and it came to Liu Olan. Liu Olan grabbed Luffy's wrist, causing Luffy to exert more force, and then retracted with a swipe. Looking at the surface of the sea, where is the slightest shadow of creek? Captain, Arjun yelled and jumped into the sea without hesitation. Poor foolish and loyal guy, there is no way to save him. Liu Olan glanced at Arjun who was diving and complained lightly. Crick's whole body is covered with metal armor and weapons. Once dropped into the water, it will be heavier than demon fruit power tilde. What's more, he was punched down by Luffy, and he has a huge initial speed tilde. Even if Arjun is the swimming champion of pirate world, it is absolutely impossible to catch up with Crick's sinking speed. With the sinking of Greek, the sea has finally calmed down tilde. I just wanted to have a meal, so I hired a chef by the way tilde. I didn't he expect that there would be so many pre-dinner activities tilde. Not only did the world's number one swordsman perform on stage in person, but also the overlord of East Blue bravely died. What did you say for this meal tilde? Worth a fair. Let's go. Let's try the food of Bharati. Good. I'm starving to death. Chapter 57 Dad tricked his son, and Sanji went out. Please subscribe. See restaurant Balati tilde. Luffy, Zora, and Jusop are eagerly waiting for the food to be served. Kaya is inconvenient to travel 
and Nami stays there to take care of Kaya. As for Liu Lan, he's on the back deck of Barati's crunch tilde. The quarter deck door opened and Zap stepped out. Grandpa, hello. Liu Olan leaned on the boat, holding a chicken leg that was just taken from the kitchen in his hand, and was eating deliciously. Boy, do you need me? Although he knew that the young man in front of him was very powerful, but at Zapu's age, he had already seen through life and death. There will be no such situation as nodding and bowing to the strong. Liu Olan smiled and said, Yes, I will order directly. I am looking for a partner who can be a cook on behalf of our captain. If the original plot is followed, Liu Olan obviously won't do anything unnecessary. But now the plot is not right, leading to the disappearance of the prefetter between Luffy and Sanji. Then it's hard to say whether Sanji can get on the boat or not Tilda. There is no other way, Liu Olan has no choice but to be a worrying mother to straighten out Sanji's line Tilda. So, you are here to ask someone to come? Zeppi modeled his twisted beard, but he didn't really object. After all, if it weren't for the young man in front of him and his partners, Barati might have fallen into Crick's hands now. As for those chefs, they may have become corpses. Now people just want a chef as a partner, that's perfectly fine. TB, Zeppu does have a good candidate in mind. But he couldn't just throw this guy out irresponsibly. He tentatively asked Liu Lan, anyone interested? Liu Lan didn't write any ink, and said directly, yes, that brother with curly eyebrows is very good. Oh Tilda, that's what a hero sees alike. Hearing that the other party wanted Sanji, Zeppu was very happy. It just so happened that the candidate he had in mind was also Sanji. In fact, from his perspective, O9 can see that the Straw Hats and the others are a good team and have a good sense of right and wrong. It is indeed a good fit for Sanji to join. Only, if the other party gives it as soon as they ask for it, does it seem that our Sanji is too cheap? After thinking about it, Zipu asked, I treat that guy as my own son, if you want him, you have to give me a reason that can convince me. Liu Olan gnawed two bites of the chicken leg, swallowed it, leaned close to Zipu's ear, and whispered, get on our boat, and you can find the Blue Sea in the future. Hearing this, Zeppi's legs trembled and he almost fell to the ground. How many years have not heard this word in other people's mouth? This word seems to bring Zeppi back to ten years ago in an instant. Ten years ago, why would the feared big pirate Redfoot Zeppi break his own leg to save that little ghost who never talked to each other? The reason, I'm afraid no one will believe it, is because the kid named Sanji said I must find the blue ocean at that time. Blue Sea Tilda. That is the legend in the hearts of all chefs. It is said that there are fish and various ingredients from the four major oceans gathered there. It is a chef's paradise. But few people believe such a thing. However, Sanji and Zeppu happen to be two of the very few people who believe in Blue Ocean. Since Zeppu and Sanji escaped from death, Zeppu has opened the sea restaurant Barati here. But in fact, more than anyone else, he wanted Sanji to leave the little place of East Blue. He himself will definitely not be able to find the Blue Ocean again in his life. But Sanji is still young. Youth is hope. If Sanji can embark on a journey to find the Blue Ocean, then not only for his own dream, but also for his old Zeppu's dream. Boy, why do you know that Sanji yearns for the blue ocean? There was a tremor in Zeppu's voice. Liu Lan shrugged. If I say I guessed it, would you believe it? Guess? I believe you ghost. Well, when I passed by your kitchen just now, I saw Sanji cooking. Let's put it this way, the chefs in your entire kitchen regard cooking as a job. Although they take it seriously, they lack soul. And Sanji, he enjoys cooking. I dare say that if you don't have a yearning for the blue ocean, it is impossible to treat cooking as an enjoyment. Liu Lan explained carefully, nonsense. What? It's damn persuasive. Zeppia was shocked. He took a deep look at Liu Lan. Boy, you know how to cook. Afterwards, he waved his big hand boldly. Sanji, take it away. Is that a promise? Liu Lan was also taken aback, and asked suspiciously, you didn't intend to ask me why I said our boat could find the blue ocean? Ha ha ha. Not only did I want to ask, but I also wanted to refute. Zeppia laughed out loud. He snatched the chicken leg from Liu Lan took a bite, and said with a big laugh, but when you said what you said just now, I know whether you can really find out what Lan Hai has already done. It doesn't matter anymore, because I believe that if a person who knows how to cook becomes a chef's partner, he will definitely do his best to help his partner find the blue ocean. Even if he really can't find it, what's the matter? At least, you guys have worked hard together. That's it. Zeppia has already confirmed that he is very relieved to hand over Sanji to Liu Lan and his group. Liu Lan nodded, okay, now that we have reached an agreement. There is no need to say more. However, I can see that Sanji has a deep affection for your father and son, and I am afraid that he did not agree to leave easily. Father-son relationship. Hearing Liu Olan's words, Zeppia was deeply moved Tilda. Yes Tilda, although he has never been called that in name. But whether it is him or Sanji, why don't they treat each other as their own sons and seals? If Sanji was asked to leave suddenly, that guy would be beaten to death and would not leave. After thinking about it, Zeppia pondered for a while. I'll figure out a solution for this matter, you go back to your partner first, and later just play by ear and cooperate with me. It is good, since Lozi wants to bully his son, then it is likely to happen. Back at the restaurant, 
Liu Lan saw that the three of Luffy had already eaten. There are three dishes on the table, one meat and two vegetables. Where have you been? Leo Lan, the food will be eaten by Usopp. Luffy slurred while stuffing meat into his mouth. Usopp's eyes widened. You obviously eat the most, right? Oh, that's my memory. The food will be eaten by Zora. Luffy poured dirty water on Zora again. Leo Lan was also speechless. With Zora's serious injury now, he might not be able to eat for a while. Anyway, Zora can't resist now, so Luffy just cheats. Emerald Jade Roast. With a clear announcement of the name of the dish, Sanji made his debut tilde in front of a lady in Luffy. He first bowed obsequiously, then came to the four of the straw hats and threw down the plate. Everyone, are you satisfied with the food? Sanji himself is also a very high-spirited person, and generally disdains to talk to men. But today I saw Zora's spirit, Luffy's strength, and Liu Ogang's shackles of handing over his back to Luffy. He is really envious. Delicious. So delicious. Luffy picked up the plate that just arrived, and stuffed the jade jade roast into his mouth. Regardless of the temperature just out of the pot tilde. Hey hey hey, leave me one. Usopp was in a hurry, so he stood up and went to grab it. But at this moment, a big hand suddenly grabbed the plate and snatched it away. Wow, the plate was thrown on the ground together with the emerald jade inside. Smelly old man, what are you doing? While Luffy and Usopp were still in a daze, Sanji went berserk. He growled at Zap. Smelly brat, what's going on with you recently? Is the food that people can eat? If you use such food to fool customers, this store will be closed down by you sooner or later. Zeppi also has a very bad temper, and he lashed out at Sanji angrily. Are you kidding? Sanji looked at Zap in disbelief, said that my cooking is poor. Nonsense. You don't believe it? Ask someone else. Seeing Sanji's retort, Zippo said angrily, don't ask. I've discovered this problem a few days ago. It's just because of the boss's face. I didn't say it. Now that the boss has said it, I'll pretend it too. Indeed, Sanji cooked for everyone the day before yesterday, and I had diarrhea after eating it. What a jerk. A bastard like this is not worthy of being a cook. I never want to eat poison made by Sanji again. Dogs don't even eat Sanji's food. The chefs yelled out of righteous indignation. The expressions on their faces seemed to be the only way to relieve their hatred by giving Sanji to Shentang Tilda. Dot. Luffy and Jusop are dumbfounded Tilda. Liu Olan was also shocked. I'll go Tilda. Is this the way the old man thinks? It's really simple and rude. Impossible. You are lying to me. Facing the accusations and denials of so many people at once, Sanji suddenly doubted his life. Lied to you? Chef Paddy walked to the table of the straw hat group, picked up a plate of leftovers and threw it on the ground. Look, is this for people to eat? It's like pig food. That's right. This plate is also pig food. Only pigs can eat it. Chef Carly also picked up another plate of leftovers and threw it on the ground. Pig. Luffy and Jusope look at each other with blank faces tilde. Why does it sound wrong? Liu Olan's stomach hurts from laughing. Fortunately, I came late. I didn't catch up to eat a bite. I didn't eat either. Zora, who was lying on the table as if he had passed out, lifted up his speech weakly. Seeing that everyone didn't seem to be joking, Sanji was completely dumbfounded. He squatted down, looked at the rice and food scattered on the ground, and said in a choked voice, Smelly old man, the rules in the store are not to waste food this is what you said. What a precious thing that is. You're right. Food must not be wasted in my store. But, it doesn't include pig food. Zepu said mercilessly. Pig food. The fruit of my hard work is called pig food. What a blow to a chef. What's more, the person who takes the lead is the most important person in his life. Tears tilde. Rolling out from the eye socket tilde. Tick 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 tilde. Tears dripped on the ground, mixed with a scattered food. Sanji knelt down on the ground, took a handful with his hands put it in his mouth and started chewing. Look, the rice I cook is not pig food, it's delicious, they're really delicious. While eating, Sanji picked up a piece of meat and handed it to Zepu. Stinky old man, try it, it's really delicious. Don't give me pig food. The wooden stick under the broken leg kicked the flesh out of Sanji's hand. How hard Zepu kicked, how much his heart hurt. Seeing Sanji crying so sad, he was more painful than Sanji. No, no, they are not pig food 727, they are delicious, if you don't believe me. Try it. Sanji picked up another piece of material and handed it to the surrounding diners, hoping they could prove it for himself. But the diners looked at Sanji at this time, as if they were looking at a fool. How could they dare to eat what he was holding? What's more, there is still dust on the ground. Look, no one wants to eat your pig food. Sanji, from today, you are fired from my job. Zap announced loudly. At this moment, a big mouth suddenly poked over and directly ate the material in Sanji's hand. Wow, it's so delicious. Luffy's taste buds were wide open and he picked up another piece of meat on the ground and stuffed it into his mouth. Wow, it's delicious. It's so delicious. Usopp also came over. He knelt down, carefully picked up a piece, and ate it. That's right. It's still the same taste as before Tilda. Delicious. What's the matter with these people? How can they say they are pig food? Hey, hello. Are you two pigs? Why do you like to eat pig food? Paddy looked at Luffy and Usopp in disbelief. Luffy was instantly furious. Bastard. If you say that Sanji's food is pig food, 
I'll be rude to you. Roll up your sleeves. Luffy is going to fight. Paddy shrank his neck and quickly hid behind Zap. What are you kidding Tilda? This guy is the one who can kill Creek with one punch. I'm just acting. I don't want to be punched to death by him Tilda. Zeppi looked at Liu Lan, although he didn't wink. Liu Lan understood immediately. He hugged Luffy. Forget it, Luffy. Forget it. Maybe everyone has different tastes. It's not worth fighting. But he said we are pigs. You so protested. Liu Lan pouted. Then you go up and do it with them. I must have misheard just now you soap immediately faltered. Afterwards, Liu Lan looked at Zpu. Hey, do you want this person? Zeppi replied simply. Nonsense. Is there even a need to ask? Keep him and let us eat pig food. Paddy agreed. But seeing Luffy's gaze, he shrunk his neck again. Liu Lan snorted coldly. Okay. Don't you want it? We want it. It happens that Luffy and Jusope like to eat pig food. So we will take him away. Then. He asked Luffy. Luffy. What do you think? We are just looking for a chef. What do you think of Sanji? Luffy didn't answer directly. But walked up to Sanji and said seriously. You can be our partner. Chapter 58 Pirates Read Comics. This is not a plaything. Please subscribe. Be our partner. Luffy said seriously to Sanji. Hearing what Luffy said. The big stone in Zeppi's heart was completely let go. Smelly brat. Go and find the blue ocean of your dreams. My old man, I will bless you here. However, just when Zeppi and Liu Lan thought it was done, Sanji stood up and walked towards the kitchen. Immediately, Zeppi was furious. Bastard. Where are you going? I go to the kitchen and cook for the guests. The voice was very calm. Not at all like someone who had just cried. Boom. Zap's wooden stick kicked him tilde. Sanji didn't dodge and was kicked hard back onto the restaurant floor. Listen to me. You are fired from here. There is no need for a pig chef like you anymore. Zap stood in the way to the kitchen, his eyes blazing. Sanji sat up from the ground and wiped the blood from his nose. He couldn't help laughing. Stinky old man. Your strength is far worse than before. Saying that. Sanji got up and walked towards the kitchen again. Boom. Zeppu kicks again. Sanji's mouth Kakazu is swollen tilde. But he still got up without knowing it, and continued to walk towards the kitchen. Don't do it again, Sanji. Even a reckless man like Paddy couldn't help gritting his back molars at this moment. Carl yelled loudly, idiot. Give up the idea of continuing to be a cook on this ship. Enough, Sanji. No matter how many times you get up, the boss will never want you again. Don't be foolishly beaten again. Get out. The chefs yelled. Hey hey hey. We can't sit idly by. He's going to die. With a terrified expression on you soap's face. He turned his head to look at Luffy and Liu Olan. Hoping that the two of them would make a move. Liu Olan will definitely not make a move. Because he knows the inside story. However. Facing such a scene. Liu Olan was also very moved. This pair of father and son is really more stubborn than the other. Luffy stood behind Sanji. He looked at the back of Sanji staggering up. But just looking at. Luffy is simple. But he is not stupid. Especially on some things. He has his own unique and charming insights. He didn't try to persuade anything. Just looked at Sanji silently. He. Knows best what is called respect. Respect other people's choices. That's Luffy. Exclamation mark dot. Sanji got up again and again. And was kicked back again and again tilde. When Sanji came again. Paddy couldn't bear it anymore. He grabbed Zeppu and said. Old dot 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 boss. Enough is enough. Yeah. Sanji is dying. Carl Nirvana also took a deep breath and reminded, stubborn brat. Zeppu clenched his fists tightly, his chest rose and fell because of his constant anger. Seeing Sanji coming again, Zeppu went straight to the back kitchen. Sanji stopped. He didn't understand what Zeppu was doing tilde. A moment later, Zap returned from the back kitchen, still holding a torch. Without further ado, he directly lit the curtain on one side. Ah. Boss. What are you doing? Boss. Don't. This store is all your heart and soul. The chefs are in a shortage and everyone is shouting. But Zeppu has the absolute right to speak in this store, and no one dares to stop him from doing what he wants to do. With such a pig food chef in our store, sooner or later we will close down. Why don't we let this store disappear completely now? The decisive words came out of Zap's mouth, and he went on to light the second curtain. Then Tilda, the third, the cooks are all desperate Tilda. Stop. Seeing that Zeppu's life's hard work is about to be ruined, Sanji can't continue to be stubborn. He rushed over, grabbed Zap's arm, and cried. I'm going. I'm going exclamation mark tilde. Okay. Okay. Boss. Sanji promised to leave. Let's go. Hurry up and put out the fire. It's too late. The chefs looked at Zeppu anxiously, waiting for his order. Zeppu didn't give an order, but looked at Sanji who was hugging his thigh, and asked sharply, Smelly brat, are you really going to get out of here? Seriously. I must go. Put out the fire. Stinky old man. This store is all your hard work. Things have come to this point. Sanji has to compromise. Zap swung Sanji away, and ordered. Fire. An hour later, on Balati's deck Tilda, Liu Olan, Luffy, Zora, and Jusop are standing here. Is it out yet? Luffy picked his nostrils and sat on the ground a little bored. Come on, don't people have to pack their things? While talking, Jusop looked towards the entrance of Barati restaurant, and suddenly, his eyes lit up, 
Here we come. The other three looked over immediately. I saw a young man in a black suit stepping out from the front of the restaurant. Alone, the cigarette at the corner of his mouth seemed to be his only luggage. He walked out silently, completely ignoring the chefs standing on both sides of the deck. Of course, the chefs hugged their hands one by one, raised their heads proudly, and didn't mean to talk to Sanji Tilda. Aren't you going to say goodbye to Zepu? Liu Olan reminded. Let's say hello before we go. Luffy also said. Sanji didn't look back, just spread his hands and said calmly, it's okay, let's go. 17. Saying that, Sanji stepped towards the string bridge leading to going merry. Hello, Sanji. But at this moment, a rough voice came from behind. Don't catch a cold. The pupils that were originally full of indifference and aloofness suddenly widened. Sanji trembled involuntarily as if he had been electrocuted. Pfft. He called me Sanji. For so many years, the stinky old man has always called me a stinky brat. Only Sanji understands that the sound of Sanji expresses that Zeppi recognizes that he has grown up. This don't catch a cold is full of father's love. Tears Tilda instantly broke down the embankment. Boss Zap. Sanji turned around abruptly, kneeling on the ground with a swipe. For so long. I have caused you trouble. Your great kindness. I will never forget it. Saying that, Sanji's head hit the floor heavily. A -a 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 Damn it, we will be very sad if you are like this. It's too much. Why do you let me live in Benbu? I didn't shed tears. The sun must be blown by the sea breeze. When Sanji knelt down, the chefs couldn't pretend at once Tilda. One by one cried out loudly. Seeing the reactions of the chefs, Sanji was very touched Tilda. I knew it. I knew it. Boss Zap, do you think I can't see it? Is it because of a blue sea dream in my heart? But isn't your dream also a blue ocean? Just tell me, let me take your dream to find the blue sea, and I will definitely promise you to go to sea. But I have to use such a bad method Tilda. Sanji looked up and gave Zeppi a deep look. He knew that this stubborn old man would not admit it Tilda. Needless to say, Sanji stood up and stepped onto the string bridge. He he Tilda, aren't you the same Tilda? As if by telepathy, Zeppi looked at Sanji's back with a faint smile on his mouth. You obviously want to look for the blue sea? right? He insisted on staying because he wanted to repay me. If you don't use this method, you re still burning fire in the back kitchen. But, have you finally stopped calling me a stinky old man? MMM Tilda, the kid has grown up. Looking at the going merry sailing, the corners of Zeppi's eyes are moist with relief Tilda. The sea Tilda, going merry rides the wind and waves Tilda. With the current scale of the merry, as long as there is no storm, East Blue is like walking on flat ground. In the cabin Tilda, this is a soup that has just been made to regulate the spleen and stomach. It is specially made for Miss Kaya. It can help nourish the weak body Tilda. Sanji stood at the head of Kaya's bed with a flattering face, and served the hot soup in a gentlemanly manner. Thank you. Nami took the hot soup, scooped it up with a small spoon, blew it gently, and then fed it to Kaya. Wow, Nami-chan is so caring Tilda. Kaya-chan is also very gentle and cute. Not long after he got on the boat. Sanji already decided that getting on the boat was the best decision he ever made in his life. Creaking, at this moment, the small door of the room opened. Is Kaya better? With Sanji's well-crafted food, it should help. Liu Olan came in through the small door. Well, the food made by Mr. Sanji is really delicious. Kaya drank the soup that Nami handed to her mouth, and praised gratefully. Ah ha Tilda, as long as Kaya-chan likes it, I will make it for you every day. Sanji smiled sheepishly. Then, he looked at the small door where Liu Olan came in just now and asked curiously, what's the place over there? Oh, it's my room, Liu Osui said. He was in the studio just now, from the studio to his bedroom, and from his bedroom to Nami's bedroom. Now Kaya is in Nami's bedroom. Nani, hearing this, Sanji's face was full of shock. He quickly ran to the small door, and then looked inside Tilda. That's right, a man's bedroom. What's wrong, Sanji? Seeing Sanji's I can't accept it look, Liu Olan instantly understood his pain but still asked teasingly, apostrophe vertical barak, why is your bedroom connected to Nami-chan's bedroom, there's only a small door in the blink of an eye, just like Liu Olan's aura, Sanji really broke his heart, ha ha, simply, Liu Olan added fuel to the fire and said, oh, that small door is not locked yet, as soon as these words came out, Sanji looked at the handle of the small door tilde, hiss, actually, unexpectedly, there is really no lock, ah, uh, who the hell designed this broken ship, I'm applying for a redesign, the previous designer was too brainless, Sanji screamed hysterically, well, that was designed by me, Nami blew on the spoon in his hand, fed Kaya, and answered, ah Tilda, this time, Sanji was stunned, in the next moment, he turned into the face of brother pig, so it was designed by the beautiful Nami Chan, no wonder it is so ingenious Tilda, puff, Liu Olan almost sprayed Sanji's face with an old mouthful, number 7, Peking opera actors can change faces without you Tilda. Sanji felt heartache and couldn't breathe. After a while, he regained his strength. It doesn't matter even if your rooms are connected together. I want to conquer the adventures of a boat full of beauties with delicious food. Look good Tilda. Sanji confidently took out another small pot from the tray. He walked up to Nami, and the gentleman bowed. Beautiful Miss Nami, this is the sea orchid tea you requested. It has been prepared for you. It is good for beauty, refreshment, 
and brain. Helpful. Wow, that's great. Seeing this tea, Nami was very happy. Nami-chan likes it. It's so good Tilda. Sanji is so happy. Hey, you won the first step. However, at this time, Nami got up and brought the pot of tea, then walked up to Liu Olan, and handed it to Liu Olan. You draw so many comics every day, you need to protect your eyes. This pot of tea. Good for you. By the way, Mr. Sanji did this. Thank him very much. Puff of the king, who put a knife in the heart of my Sanji. With this knife down, Sanji can hardly stand Tilda. Just now the heartache can be relieved, but now I can't bear it. Sanji, where are you going? Liu Ogang asked. I'm going dot 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 on the deck dot 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 to blow some air. If he stays here any longer, he really won't be able to bear it anymore Tilda. Oh, yes. Thanks for the tea. Puff. Sanji spurted out a mouthful of old blood Tilda. Thank you mum. On the deck, Sanji stood by the railing, blowing the sea breeze Tilda. It was just a small episode just now. Since boarding the boat yesterday, Sanji still recognizes this group of guys very much. Especially when he introduced himself and said that his ideal is to find the blue ocean. No one laughed at him. This was completely unimaginable in the past. Although Liu Olan makes him jealous, Sanji has to admit that Liu Olan is his most recognized partner. Because when he talked about Lan Hai, Liu Olan seemed to be very sure about Lan Hai and had a unique opinion. I even used a paintbrush to outline a concept map of the blue ocean for Sanji Tilda. Just that one picture. Sanji was conquered by Liu Lan. Certainly, I can't forgive the small door in the bedroom Tilda. Hut Hilda, Luffy. After blowing for a while and adjusting his mood, Sanji was about to go back, but suddenly he saw Luffy sitting on a sheep at the bow. Finding that Luffy didn't seem to hear him, he walked along the sheep's neck. Coming behind Luffy, Sanji was surprised to find that this girl is actually reading manga. Pirates read comics. This is not playful. Chapter 59 Sanji Here comes an adult manga. Please subscribe. Luffy was originally in the reading room reading comics. But because Zoro was seriously injured in bed now, he felt that it would be boring to stay alone in the reading room, so he simply ran to his special seat. Just after he came out of Zantong world, he suddenly noticed movement behind him. Luffy turned her head, and immediately saw a curious curly brow face. Hey Tilda, Sanji. Seeing Sanji, Luffy remembered the codfish porridge that he ate this morning, it was really delicious. Luffy, are you reading comics? Question mark. Even after confirming that Luffy is holding a comic book, Sanji still can't believe it. Question mark. Luffy tilted his head, and three question marks popped out of nowhere. He thought about it, and then it exploded. Sanji had only been on the boat for a day, so he explained, Oh, this is not an ordinary cartoon, this is a cartoon drawn by Liu Lan. What? Not an ordinary comic. Hearing this, Sanji was taken aback for a moment, but then he suddenly realized something, and suddenly there was a look in his eyes that men could understand. He approached Luffy and winked at him, You look like a decent guy, but you're so flirtatious in secret. Show? This time, Luffy was totally stunned. Why am I so flirtatious? What are you talking about, Sanji? Hey, still pretending. Sanji chuckled, you've read the manga, so pretend. But speaking of it, that Liu Olan guy actually draws adult cartoons? Ah. Damn it, I have to get along with him. Sanji has never bent down for five buckets of rice tilde. But if these five buckets of rice are exchanged for five adult manga books, don't he talk about bending your waist. I'll show you all the craft paper tilde. Adult comics. Luffy frowned in surprise. His knowledge in this area is zero, almost nothing. The enemies to be faced in this comic are all adults, so it should be a comic for adults Tilda. After thinking about it, he nodded, yes. The adult comics drawn by Liu Olan are not only beautiful, but also can enter the world in the comics. Nani, Sanji showed an unbelievable look. What are you talking about? Entering the comic world? How is this possible? Luffy explained, it's true. Liu Olan is a manga fruit capable person. Each of his manga has an independent world, as long as it suits you. You can enter the manga world. Manga fruit 477 ability. Are ah, this? If that's the case, it's reasonable Tilda. Although Sanji had never eaten devil fruit, he came from Vince Moke's family and was later raised by Zepu. He still knows something about devil fruit. Thinking of this, Sanji couldn't help but look forward to it. It's actually an adult manga that can enter it. This is really too strong. Luffy nodded. Not only can you enter, but you can also fight in it. Hiss. Can you still fight? Question mark. The color Kappa's face was immediately attached to Sanji's and he elbowed Luffy. Is it so cool? Luffy said, of course, I feel that the time I enter the comic world every day is my happiest time. It's so cool inside. This. 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 Is it that cool already? Show. It's still you who are showing off. Sanji couldn't wait any longer, jumped back to the deck, and ran to the cabin without looking back. Liu Olan, my dear father, here I come. Not long after, Sanji came to Liu Olan's studio. Huh? It's Sanji your tea is really good. Liu Olan picked up the teacup in his hand and gestured to Sanji. It's easy to talk about. From now on, I will make your tea with Sanji. I like my tea, and I also like your comics. Question mark. What's going on? 
Did you want to fight me desperately if you didn't cry just now? Why do you want to pack my tea in a blink of an eye? I said, if you are like this, I dare not drink Tilda. Sanji looked at the bookshelves around the studio, and his eyes were filled with gold. Oh my god Tilda, so much. Is it all adult comics? Question mark. I am so happy. You dot 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 you don't want comics, do you? Looking at Sanji's appearance, anyone would have guessed it. But, it's just a comic, as for it. Those who didn't he know thought that you saw a group of beauties without clothes. Quick. Quick, pick me a wonderful one. Sanji rubbed his hands together and said impatiently, I wipe. Wonderful, which of my comics is not wonderful? Question mark. After thinking about it, Luo Lan walked to the bookshelf, took a random book and handed it to Sanji. Guy Royal Biography? After reading the title of the comic book, Sanji frowned. Why is this a man? What's wrong with a man? This manga is wonderful. The man who almost kicked the finale with one kick is guaranteed to be exciting. Hiss. I see. Hearing what Luo Lan said. Sanji seemed to have realized. Yes Tilda, if the main character is a man, that's great. However, he felt that one book was not enough, so he rubbed his hands together. One more book. Still coming? How about a Kakashi biography? So Liu Olan went to look through the bookshelves. Suddenly, I found a book. Spirit of Halberdita. What? Correct. Sanji is a chef. Isn't this manga perfect for him? Although I don't know which one is better, the cooking skills in the spirit of eating halberds and Sanji's cooking skills. But, chef number one, the collision of cooking skills can achieve the effect of one plus one, greater than two, even more than ten. It is very possible, if Sanji can learn from the cooking skills in this manga, he can take his already powerful cooking skills to the next level. Wouldn't us straw hat pirates have fun? Thinking of this, Luo Lan took out this book, Spirit of the Halberd Eater, and handed it to Sanji. Here, this book is even more exciting. Hiss. Just looking at so many beautiful on the cover makes Sanji feel elated. Ha ha, Liu O Lan, you really understand me. Excitedly picked up, Spirit of Halberdita, and, Guy Emperor Biography, Sanji couldn't wait to run away. It seems that I got the right book, Spirit of Halberdita. Feeling Sanji's heartfelt excitement and joy, Liu O Lan couldn't help but secretly thought, sure enough, he is a man who integrates cooking skills into his life tilde. It's so rare to be so happy after reading a comic about cooking. After getting the manga, Sanji ran straight back to his room. To see this kind of thing, of course you have to hide to watch tilde, who would be like that idiot Luffy, sitting on the bow of the boat and looking at it openly. Then he threw Guy Emperor's Legend on the cabinet, and Sanji opened Spirit of Halberd Eater. Campus scene, is there also a cooking test? Ha ha. I like this kind of plot mode. Sanji started watching. There will be beauties appearing soon. Sanji is excited. Not a moment tilde. The surrounding scene changed. And he was already in a bustling city. Oh? Really came in. Looking at the surrounding scene, Sanji became more and more excited. Since it's the world of adult comics, then I don't have to think so much, do I? As he spoke, Sanji looked at a beautiful woman walking towards him, and directly pressed his hand on the wall of the street to stop the beautiful woman. Beauty, do you want to date? Handsomely took out the cigarette from his mouth, Sanji exhaled a puff of smoke ring. He is indeed quite charming Tilda. Ah! Rogue, snapped. With a clear slap, the beautiful woman ran away in a hurry. Only Sanji with a confused face was left, imitating his hot face Tilda. Wipe, is the plot that difficult? In Liu Olan's comic studio Tilda. Not long after Sanji left, Usopp came. How Zora's injury? Seeing Usopp coming, Liu Olan opened his mouth. Ajs, Usopp is mainly responsible for taking care of Zora these two days, which is quite hard work. The monster? It's only been a day, and the injury has healed a lot. Thinking of Zora's recovery, Usopp couldn't help complaining. Liu Olan agrees. Isn't it Tilda? That's Zora. It is said that Luffy has unlocked the blood lock, but why not Zora? Xiaokiang from Immune to Death. Are you here to read comics? Looking at Usopp, Liu Olan asked. After all, he is a manga studio here. What else can people do besides wanting a manga to pass the boring time on the boat? Oh. It was Zora who sent me to you. He said you said you were going to give him another kendo manga, Usopp said. Wipe. This Zora is still thinking about comics even when he is recovering from his injuries. Did he really think that if he could realize kendo in Sasaki Kojiro's manga, he could also realize it in other manga? But, if it's Zora, it might be Tilda. Liu Olan walked to the bookshelf, found there, Zaraki Kenpaki biography, that he planned to give to Zora before, and handed it to Usopp. Here, this is the book. Okay. I'll pass it to Zora. Usopp took the manga and was about to leave. Wait a moment. Liu Lan stopped him, and then picked out a manga at random. You also take a manga to read. I don't read manga. Usopp shook his head directly. Read comics. Captain Ben's mouth is a caricature. As long as you are happy, what comics can't be blown out for you? Okay Tilda. Sure enough, it is God Usopp, but he is different from others Tilda. You take it first, what if you want to see it? You still have to come to me, don't you? Liu Lan didn't talk nonsense and directly threw the comics to Usopp. Okay Tilda. Usopp reached out to catch it without arguing. Soon, he returned to Zora's room and put 
Zaraki Kanpaki Biography On Zoro's bedside, this is the cartoon you want. Zoro was in a state of taking a nap, but when he heard that Usopp had brought the manga, he swiped it and sat up. Ah, hey, be careful of your wound. Usopp was taken aback. T tilde, no rush for a comic book. Do you sit up in the midst of dying? If you hurt yourself, don't you have to lie in bed for a few more days? Zoro picked up the manga and glanced at the cover. The biography of Zaraki Kenpaki. His eyes moved from the title of the book to the man wearing a blindfold on the cover, and then he saw the sword in the man's hand tilde. Another kind of kendo. Good. Although Sasaki Kojiro's kendo is also powerful, he is more inclined to lay the foundation. Hammer to an impeccable foundation, then can use Yan Hui. As for the current manga, although Zoro hasn't started to read it yet, just from the man's wild or an on the cover, he can realize that this man's kendo must be that kind of domineering, incomparable swordsmanship. A. Who doesn't like bullying? Zoro couldn't wait to open the manga. Usopp on the side immediately grabbed Zoro. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Your damage is not good. When can you not read this manga? Zoro froze for a moment, then explained with a smile. It's okay, the physical condition of the real world will not be brought into the comic world. During the period of my recovery, I can just practice swordsmanship in the comic world. What? Usopp's face changed drastically and he quickly patted Zoro's forehead, it's strange, you don't have a fever, why are you talking nonsense, what nonsense, Zoro took Usopp's hand away, then looked at the book in Usopp's hand, and said, didn't Liu Olan give you a comic book, don't you know that you can enter the comic world, nanny, into dot 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 to the world of manga, Usopp was shocked, no way Tilda, there is such a thing, question mark, and many more, he suddenly thought of something, since he got on the ship, no matter Luffy, Zoro or Nami, they are often immersed in the state of reading manga. At that time, Usopp thought these guys were really weird. They all like to read comics tilde. Hearing Zoro say that now, he suddenly realized. Wipe. It turns out that you can enter the world of comics. No wonder. No way. Looking at your expression, it seems that you really don't know. At this time, Zoro discovered Usopp's anomaly. Ahaha. How is it possible? I am a big pirate with 80 million people under my command. How could I not know about this kind of thing tilde? Usopp scratched his head in embarrassment. Oh. That's right, Zoro nodded with dignity, and then asked, What ability did you get from the comics? Can you still get abilities? Usopp's eyes widened, his breathing involuntarily increased. Yeah, the comics given by Liu Olan are not random. He gives corresponding comics according to each person's characteristics, so that each of us can improve our strength in it, said Zoro. Hiss, there is such a thing. Why pit? How much did I miss? Then what? I suddenly thought of writing a letter to my 80 million subordinates to report their safety, so I left first. You read the comics Tilda. Usopp grabbed the comic book in his hand and hurried out. It's a milk drop Tilda. I haven't asked Liu Olan for comics after being on the ship for so many days. It's blown up. It's blown up. Chapter 60 The first time offering a reward of over 100 million is the most basic respect. Please subscribe. After the Straw Hat Pirates left Brati, rumors spread about the duel between Hawkeye and Zora Tilda. Dracul Mihook fought the fledgling green-haired swordsman in East Blue, and the green-haired swordsman was gloriously defeated. Hawkeye, the world's number one swordsman defeated a non-famous swordsman in a certain place in East Blue, but thought he was the loser, showing his demeanor as a king. Shocked, the world's number one swordsman, Hawkeye, was defeated by the East Blue bounty hunter, and fled back to New World in shame. Who is it? Can make the world's number one swordsman travel thousands of miles to go to East Blue to fight with him? On the history of the mysterious new swordsman's sword learning, please pay attention to the follow-up report of Harlow News Agency. The weakest see? Big mistake. Even if Hawkeye, the world's number one swordsman, goes to East Blue, he can only return with a feather. The young swordsman nearly cut off his head by letting Hawkeye blow blood with his sword. All kinds of news spread like wildfire, and all kinds of rumors became more and more outrageous tilde. After all, it is the battle of the world's number one swordsman. News agencies don't need morals in order to adjust the flow. Anyway, how come the headline is so awesome tilde? New world, a certain island tilde, a huge pirate ship docked. On the mainmast, the pirate flag is waving in the wind. It is marked as a skull with two knives stuck in it. On the left eye of the skull, there are three bloodstains. As long as there are pirates in New World, there is no one who does not know this pirate flag. That is the red hair pirates representing one of the four emperors. It's been rumored that you were defeated by a green-haired little slut and almost had your head chopped off. Is this true? Redhead Shanks talks to the phone bug in his hand as he walks down the bridge. This phone bug has sharp eyes like an eagle. Apparently, on the other end of the phone bug is Mihook. The other carders of the red-haired regiment followed suit one after another, as if everyone was listening with pricked up. Yes, from the other end of the phone bug, came Hawkeye's calm and crisp answer. What? The rumor turned out to be true. I heard it's a young swordsman. When did such a young evildoer appear in this sea tilde? To be able to defeat the existence of the world's number one swordsman, age is not important anymore tilde. This is really nonsense. Hearing the confirmation from Hawkeye, all the carders of red-hair pirates opened their mouths wide open, their eyes full of horror. It was Shanks 
who showed a playful smile, and he laughed and teased, ha ha, that's really interesting, I just broke my arm. But you almost lost your head. I see if you still have the face to laugh at me in the future. Over the years, Redhead sometimes went to play with Hawkeye, and wanted to learn swordsmanship with him, but Hawkeye always refused. The reason is, he doesn't practice swords with disabled people. It's alright now Tilda. Yes, next time we meet, see how I laugh at you. Shut up, you trash who lost an arm. If I told you that although I lost this battle, I gained a lot, wouldn't you be unable to laugh? Hawkeye's disdainful voice came from the phone bug. Waste of waste. The carders of the red-haired regiment were dumbfounded Tilda. All right. I'm afraid this is the only one who dares to talk to Shanks like this Tilda. And Shanks won't be mad. Indeed, Shanks was not angry, but asked curiously. What? Let's hear it Tilda. I have come into contact with a whole new way of swordsmanship. Oh? As soon as the words came out, Shanks became interested too. Although he is a lazy person. He is also a very obsessed guy when it comes to Kendo. Otherwise, it would be impossible for him to have such a powerful swordsmanship. Forget it, it's meaningless to tell you this now. Suddenly, Mihook thought that Hawkeye had broken his arm, and immediately lost interest in chatting. Anyway, I'm going to retreat for a while. The move that the young swordsman beat me has left me with endless aftertaste. After I leave the customs, I am afraid there will be a big gap between your sword skills and mine. Although these words are arrogant, it also depends on who they are speaking from. Saying such words from the mouth of the world's number one swordsman, then, is not considered arrogance, but can only be regarded as explaining the facts that are about to happen. Hut Hilda, old Shanks blushed and smiled awkwardly, you bastard. If one day I meet the young swordsman you mentioned and beat him, wouldn't you be embarrassed? Beat him? He's just a kid who just went out to sea. Do you, old clapper, have a lot of face in beating him? Listen, what I'm talking about is his kendo and his ultimate move. How about it? When I get out of the test this time, I will reward you with a fight. Use his ultimate move with my strength, and let you see what is called surprise. After speaking, K.I. Hawk hung up the phone bug. Shanks put away the phone bug and said to himself, this bastard is still so arrogant Tilda. Yes, although he is the number one swordsman in the world, you are the strongest conqueror's harky, boss. Your strength itself is at the same level. How can you say that you are rewarded for a fight? Yasup folded his hands in front of his body, shrugged and said. Shanks shook his head. No, I didn't mean that when I said he was arrogant, but that he wanted to comprehend that young swordsman's kendo through a period of retreat, and even learned his killing moves. Lei Jilu didn't understand, and immediately said, he is the world's number one swordsman, and his talent for swordsmanship is unbelievable. If you want to learn other people's moves, isn't it difficult? Shanks curled his lips, a sword move that can almost cut off that guy's head. Don't you think it's not difficult? Oh Tilda, yup. After being explained by Shanks, all the carders around were suddenly enlightened. Yes Tilda. Even for this great swordsman who has been famous for a long time, it is almost impossible to break through Hawkeye's defense. Then, on the basis of breaking through Hawkeye's defense, he almost cut off his head. This kind of difficulty. Even if you think about it with your knees, you know it is harder than climbing to the sky. Then how difficult it is to learn this kind of sword move. Hiss. The guarders of red hair pirates didn't dare to think about it anymore when they thought of this. Dare to be so arrogant and say that you have to learn this trick I am afraid that in the whole world, only Mihook, an idiot, is qualified to say that Tilda. As he spoke, the redhead took a sip of wine. His character would never be provoked by Hawkeye Tilda. But I don't know why, when I saw that Hawkeye was about to improve again. Gux suddenly felt a sense of loneliness of being abandoned Tilda. No way Tilda. He wants to reward me for a fight Tilda. How can I fall behind? Retreat, right? I'm close too. I'd like to see what's so special about that young swordsman's ultimate move, that it can make a guy like you choose to retreat. For a while Tilda, the long lost young blood is burning in Shank's chest. Here comes the sword. After pouring the last sip of wine, Shanks stretched out his hand and yelled, Are you going to practice swords? Ben Beckman took Redhead's sword from the other hand and handed it to Redhead. Shanks nodded and said with emotion, Yes Tilda, I have no right to relax in this battle. Lao Lu echoed, Yes, after all, he is Hawkeye, and no one has the qualifications to relax. He he to be precise, my opponent in this battle is not Hawkeye, but that young swordsman. Shanks smiled, that's why he felt valued. The young swordsman ultimate move based on Hawkeye's strength can reflect the true power of that move. In this case, he, Shanks, really wants to win. Zero. Ask for flowers. Naval headquarters, Marin for Tilda. Marshal's office. I have verified the news from Hawkeye, and it is indeed true. Adjutant Stucky came in with a document. It turned out to be true. Sengok looked at this document, his brows were furrowed Tilda. This sea really cannot find peace for a moment Tilda. Recently, there have been frequent movements in four emperors which has already kept Sengoku busy. Unexpectedly, East Blue, which was originally the most peaceful place, suddenly rose up a strong man. It would be nice if it could be pulled into Marine. If it's a pirate, just thinking about it, Sengoku feels like his head is going to explode. Sengoku flipped back and didn't see the detailed introduction, 
So he asked immediately, did Hawkeye not provide the detailed information of this person? Amount tilde, adjutant Stucky showed embarrassment, don't talk about the information, I just wanted to ask the person's name, but Hawkeye just hung up the phone. This guy who does his own way, Sengoku snorted coldly, if it is another Shikai Bukai, maybe you can threaten it and let it cooperate. But only Hawkeye, if Marine wants to ask him to make a move, it depends on his mood tilde. Is there no other way to know the identity of this young swordsman? At this time, Vice Admiral, another senior member of Marine, looked at Stucky and asked. Yes, according to the investigation by East Blue's branch, this young swordsman's name is Rora Noazora and he was a bounty hunter in East Blue before. Bounty hunter, Sengoku's A's lit up. He was immediately overjoyed, since he can be a bounty hunter, he must be a young man who advocates justice. Very good, this person must be recruited into Marine. Stucky curled his lips and said with an ugly expression, but not long ago, he joined a pirate group. What? Sengoku just felt his blood pressure sword suddenly tilde. Oops, no, 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 no tilde. Sengoku patted his forehead and his eyes felt a little dark. Made. I'm really afraid of something Tilda. Marshall, don't get excited Tilda. Crane Vice Admiral came over and rubbed Sengoku, then looked at Stucky. What kind of pirates? Stucky replied, I don't know about this. I only know that it is a small pirate group, and it should have just been established. What a bunch of idiots. Hearing this, Sengoku blew his beard and stared angrily. Crane Vice Admiral needed Sengoku's shoulder. Calm down, let's issue reward order first. When such a person starts to emerge, his information will naturally be checked slowly. Right. Reward order. Thinking of this, Sengoku immediately ordered, Stucky, immediately issue reward order for Rora Noazora, a reward. But at this point, Sengoku immediately stopped. How much should the reward be? It would be inappropriate to lose someone who can defeat Hawkeye. But for a person who appeared out of nowhere, he couldn't offer a sky-high reward right away, right? Isn't that bullshit, Marshall? For a rookie like this, the first reward should be the lowest. But, since he can defeat Hawkeye, then offering a reward of over 100 million is the most basic respect. At least, it's respect for Hawkeye. Crane Vice Admiral can always solve Sengoku's problems at critical moments, she said. I suggest that the initial reward is 100 million belly. It is good. Taking a deep breath, Sengoku glanced at Stucky. Just do what Xio said. Yes, Stucky saluted and left. Chapter 61 Nami's Third Kula Card. Please subscribe. Time flies. A few days have passed Tilda. Going Mary is approaching the Jumida Islands Tilda. In the cabin, Nami was lying on the bed in her underwear, looking at the map. If the weather is normal, we should arrive at Gokosa village tomorrow. The feeling of returning to the village this time is completely different from before. In the past, when I went back to the village, I would secretly hide the stolen money first, and then put on a mask to transform myself into the running dog of the evil dragon Tilda. This time, Nami is going back with hope. That's right, she is the hope of the whole village. Dragon. The pain you left on everyone, I will give it back to you this time. Shaking the white jade hands vigorously, Nami muttered angrily to herself. Before she got the manga card Kaptasura, no matter how Liu Olan persuaded her, she would not want everyone to fight the dragon for her. But now, she already has two cloud cards tilde. Regarding the cognition of strength, the current Nami and the previous Nami are no longer in the same dimension. Not only her own strength, but also the strength of her partners. After the battle of Brati in the sea restaurant, Nami finally realized that the strength of her partners is far stronger than she imagined. In addition, she herself has strength now, so her self-confidence will naturally rise. Before that, she thought about repaying the money to peacefully resolve the issue of the May 47th attack on Kokosa village. But now, payback, still a ball. If you don't beat the evil dragon to death, how can you be worthy of those dead villagers? How can you live up to Bel Melant? She let go of her clenched fist and a burst of brilliance emerged Tilda. In Yunnan's palm, two cards with little Lily on them appeared. Power cards, fighting cards. The fighting card is the second cloud card that Nami encountered, and the process of conquering it is very simple. Nami borrowed from the way of conquering the small Sura in the manga. First exhaust the physical strength of the fighting card, and then use the force card to subdue it. But the reigning of the third cloud card was not smooth. The third card is the thunder card. In the original plot, little Sura subdued the Pei I with the help of Shadow Pei I and Leek Shilling. But Nami has nothing tilde. Li Pei I and Du Pei I can't help in subduing Li Pei I at all, and they can only rely on Nami himself. It has been many days, and Nami is still stuck here to conquer the Thunder card tilde. No. Tomorrow we will fight the evil dragon, and we must subdue it today. Gritting his teeth, Nami opened the manga. Soon, she came to the comic world. Boom, boom, boom. Once inside, Nami appears in a house. Outside the house, thunder and lightning flashed, and thunder continued to fall on the ground damaging the ground and public facilities. It's the Thunder card, we have to find a way to subdue it. Glilai, the spirit of order, flew to Nami's shoulder and reported the situation. Nami modeled Glilai's head, this was the dozens of times she heard Glilai say this. Because this is the scene every time I come in, 
So every time Kalilai's opening remarks are also this. Well, let's get a set of rubber clothes first to prevent the rain. This is how Nami borrowed from little Sura. Of course, that's all she can learn from. She doesn't have a shadow card, and she doesn't have leaks yelling tilde. MMMM. Actually I have Liu Olan, but this should be the test that Liu Olan gave me. If I don't pass my own efforts, how can I gain great strength tilde? I filled my mind with Liu Olan's thoughts. And Nami thought it was very sweet Tilda. She felt that Liu Olan could take out the abilities in the comic book at will. I didn't give it to her directly, but I was training her. But Lily's eyes widened when she heard Nami's words. Wow, Nami is so smart. Afterwards, the two came to a cosplay clothing store. Nami took a magic baby's rubber cos suit with ease and put it on. Nami is amazing. It's so easy to find a store with rubber clothes. But the admiration for Nami in Lily's eyes became stronger and stronger. That's not. I've been here dozens of times. Isn't it amazing? With the things in hand. Nami is ready to continue to try to capture the Thunder card, but just a few steps away, Nami stopped and stepped back. She stared at a cosplay rubber prop for a long time, and suddenly came up with a bold idea. Not long tilde, Nami appeared in the empty square. Tears shone in the sky, and thunder and lightning kept hitting the ground. Hey, you are P.I. Immediately bowed down to me. In the custom reopening remarks, Nami's purpose is to at least provoke P.I. and let her come over. According to the plot of Xiaosura and Lixia lying subduing the Thunder card, Nami knows that if he wants to subdue the Thunder card, he must first return the Thunder card to its original shape, and then trap it, so that it can be conquered. Hack. Dash. Come straight to Nami when you encounter Lightning Tilda. Nami didn't hesitate without any hesitation, and just ran away. Hack. Hack. Lightning is like a fighter jet plowing the ground, chasing Nami persistently. Nami used this strategy dozens of times before, she had no other way, she just wanted to see if she could consume the Lightning Beast's physical strength. But it turns out that Thunder Beast's physical strength seems to be endless. Wow, Mpei is so irritable. Nami has to figure out a way. Kalilai makes soy sauce every day. Listen, later, you do as I told you. This time you must get rid of the Thunder card. You will be like this later. Nami told Kalilai what she thought while running. After running for another 10 minutes, Nami came to a square fitness area. Here, a rubber pipe more than 10 meters long is being placed here. This is the rubber prop that Nami brought over just now. At this time, relying on the fitness facilities to fix him into the shape of a slide. Lightning followed closely behind, and Nami jumped directly into one end of the rubber pipe. Hack, thunder and lightning crashed down from the sky. What? Nami exclaimed and closed the end of the rubber pipe. Zizizi tilde. The electric current hit the rubber surface and immediately scattered into the sky and the earth. Ha ha! Exclamation mark. Feeling the situation after the lightning struck, Nami was overjoyed. She opened the rubber pipe and stuck out her tongue at the lightning in the sky. Rua tilde, idiot thunder beast. You can't hit me tilde! Exclamation mark. Another bolt of lightning struck down, thicker than the previous one. Nami is still the old way. Once the rubber pipe is closed, the lightning falls from the surface of the rubber pipe to the ground tilde. Then she poked her head out again and made faces at the thunder and lightning in the sky tilde. Hack, hack, hack. After a dozen or so operations in a row, Nami remained intact. The lightning strike in the sky seemed to have other ideas, and stopped chopping. But Nami's taunt remained the same. How stupid. Is your lightning power only this little, small dog thunder beast? Can you do it tilde? Boom. It seems to be stimulated. There is a sudden thunder in the sky tilde. The whole sky is shining with lightning tilde. The next moment, a group of bright lights broke through the clouds and came straight to Nami below. Such a large group of spherical lightning should come from the local area, right? Seeing such a shape of spherical lightning, Nami guessed in his heart that zero. Although the Ultralisk didn't change back to its original form. As long as the Ultralisk is locally in this ball of lightning, Nami has a way to deal with it. Nami, be careful. I can feel a strong Kula card aura from that ball of thunder and lightning light, and the main body of the thunder card must be inside. Kalilai reminded loudly. Great. Nami's heart skipped a beat, and the sarcasm became more intense. When the ball lightning approached, Nami didn't close the rubber pipe anymore, but turned around and ran away. Run towards the other end of the rubber pipe. Zizizizi. The ball lightning rushed into the rubber pipe, and with its speed, it could catch up with Nami's speed no matter what. But Thunder Beast overlooked one thing. Rubber pipes are insulated. After the spherical lightning rushed into the pipe, it immediately looked like a rubber ball, bouncing up and down in the rubber pipe. Clearly, Nami ran desperately. Over there, Lily received the order, flew to the rubber pipe, kicked out her little feet separately, and closed the rubber pipe on the side where the spherical lightning had just entered. Zizizi tilde. Ball lightning noticed the problem, paused for a moment, then accelerated sharply and chased after Nami. No way. Seeing lightning acceleration, Nami didn't care so much, just ran away. Whether it succeeds depends on fate. At the end of the rubber tunnel, Lily has already arrived here, and she kept calling, Come out, Nami, come out. Rush. When the familiar figure rushed out of the pipe, 
Lily closed the pipe with all her strength. Zizizi. Just a second later, the hiss of lightning hit the duck door. But Lily stepped back a little distance, watched worriedly for a while, and then cheered. It's a success. No, there are still two steps left. With a thought of Nami, power cards and fighting cards appeared in her hands. Two beams of light sank into Nami's body at the same time. Stupid thunder beast, I'm going to beat you back to your original form now, don't cry out for pain. As soon as the voice fell, Nami seemed to have turned into a different dimension Tyson, punching the rubber pipe tilde. Lightning is originally in the form of the element of thunder, and Nami is definitely not able to hit it with just fists. But now being locked in a rubber pipe, Nami's fists are really powerful tilde. Zizizi tilde. 5.0 soon. There was a roar of thunder and lightning from the rubber pipe, which was obviously painful from being beaten. Suddenly, Clilla shouted, I can feel the breath of the thunder beast. It has shown its original shape. Come on, Nami, now is the time. Nami spun the magic wand in his hand, and knocked it forward in style. Restore your original appearance. As the singing fell, the brilliance in the rubber pipe suddenly brightened. Less to the dim. Is it dot 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 is it done? Heart beating wildly, Nami waited for a few seconds before carefully opening the rubber tube. Inside, there was a card with Thunder Beast lying there quietly. Yeah. When Nami came out of the manga world, he already had three cloud cards in his hand tilde. Ha I'm so tired. Finally able to sleep well. With a thought, he took back the cloud card, Nami laid it on the bed, and placed a sky character. Crunch tilde. The small door connecting the rooms opened tilde. Nami. I have good news for you, Sai. Liu Olan's voice had just reached the normal level. But it suddenly turned into a gasping shock tilde. Chapter 62 It's bad. Nami took people to fight the dragon pirates. Please subscribe. It looks like I should be able to reach Kokosa village tomorrow. In the bedroom, Liu Olan looked at the nautical chart in his hand, and then looked at the time. At this time, Nami probably hasn't slept yet. Go find her to confirm, and tell her the good news by the way. After thinking for a while, Liu Olan walked towards the small indoor door. Nami. I have good news for sis. As soon as the door was pushed open, Liu Lan saw a scene that made his blood erupt tilde. What the hell? Take this to test the mango artist. Who can stand this girl tilde? Liu Lan. Seeing that Liu Lan actually came to find her, Nami was so happy tilde. She rushed over immediately and grabbed Liu Lan apostrophe s dot 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 arm tilde. What good news? As if afraid that Liu Lan would run away, Nami asked while dragging Liu Lan into the house. Are this being hugged by Nami like this? Liu Lan felt bad all over. He lowered his head subconsciously tilde, hiss, dash, forcibly swallowing a mouthful of saliva, Liu Lan said with some difficulty, phew, let me say, why are you dressed like this tilde, hot Hilda? Nami looked at himself curiously, and then there was confusion on his little face, I'm in my room, so what's the problem, amount tilde, this statement dot 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 seems to make sense tilde, however, this is too much of a test tilde, seeing Liu Lan's bewildered look. Nami was very happy tilde, he he tilde, just say you can't be indifferent to me. In fact, although this is an accidental event, Nami has been looking forward to such an accidental event for a long time. Ever since Liu Lan broke his guard on the small broken boat that day, Nami has identified Liu Lan. After getting along with each other these days, Nami recognized Liu Lan even more. Of course, she is also emotional. Girls can't completely stick to the pole. That would be too cheap. Conditions must be created so that boys can take the initiative. So Tilda. What good news is 09 tell me quickly. Holding Liu Olan's arm, Nami hopped her little feet continuously and asked urgently. Exclamation mark. When Nami jumped like this, Liu Olan felt like his heart was about to jump out. Tilda. Wipe. Eyes are jumping up and down. No, no, let's talk about it quickly. Otherwise, it is ready to be plugged in. Forcibly suppressing the backfire in his heart, Liu Olan raised his head and said, I just looked at the map and it seems to be close to the Jumida Islands. So I came to check with you, is it going to your hometown tomorrow? Are you avoiding your eyes on purpose? Big pigs trotters, still pretend. There is a sly look in Nami's eyes tilde. But she also understands that some things cannot be rushed. Can you bear it for a day? Can you bear it for a year? Immediately, Nami began to answer questions normally. Well, yes. Tomorrow I will arrive at Kokosa village. But when talking about Kokosa village, Nami thought of the tragic fate of the villagers being suppressed by Murlocs tilde. I thought of Bell Melant tilde. I just thought of how many years I have been running around in order to save existence, and even almost died a few times. A pang of sorrow welled up in my heart. Nami's nose was sour, and tears welled up. Hey tilde, why are you crying all of a sudden? Feeling the heat flowing from his arms, Liu Olan immediately understood what was going on. Poor Nabao. She should be caught in the memories of the past again Tilda. What's wrong with your nose? Liu Olan patted Nami's back lightly, but his hand almost slipped and fell to the ground. What? What a tough test after another. It's okay if Liu Olan didn't say it, but Nami cried even more when he said it. Woo, Liu Olan. She let go of Liu Olan's arm, and threw herself directly into Liu Olan's arms. 
tears streaming down her face. If she hadn't met this man in front of her, her future would still be in a haze Tilda. The hope of Cocosa Village is still unknown Tilda. Amount Tilda. Liu Olan didn't dare to move at all Tilda. He was afraid that if he couldn't bear it and really did something to create the next generation, he would be mad. Of course, wouldn't Liu Olan want to applaud someone as lovely as Nami? That is obviously impossible. However, Liu Olan is not a brainless stallion after all, and he doesn't want to hurt Nami because of his sudden movement. Some things, when it reaches that point, will naturally come to fruition Tilda. But if you don't reach that point, you will not be able to pass the test in your heart. The two have only known each other for a few days now Tilda. It's Nami's fault if something happened so soon. The palm that was intended to land on Nami's fair back instead landed on the back of Nami's head. Gently patted Nami, Liu Olan comforted, okay, don't cry, don't cry. Tomorrow you take the money and go to redeem the village from the evil dragon. If he dares not agree, us straw hat pirates will never forgive him. T. The little head shook Liu Olan's chest, and Nami cried and said, Liu Olan, I've already figured it out. Even if I gave the evil dragon money, with the character of the evil dragon, I can't guarantee that they will be the murlocs and pirates. The group will definitely abide by the agreement. Also, the evil committed by the murloc pirates is absolutely unforgivable. Clenching her small fists vigorously, Nami suddenly raised her head and looked up at Liu Olan, if you continue to ignore them, then Morganzi will be persecuted by them in the future. This time, I must destroy them. Little idiot, it's not you, it's us. Us straw hat pirates will definitely destroy the dragon pirates. The angle was just right. Liu Olan reached out and scratched Nami's cute nose twice. Not to mention, Liu Olan really likes this kind of feeling Tilda. It's us. The two tender arms subconsciously grasped Liu Olan's back even tighter. The next day, it was close to noon. Kokosa Village yes. A man in police uniform with a windmill in his hat was on patrol. His name is Ken Suk. He is the sheriff of the village and he is also the backbone of the village today. Now the village is living a dark life under the suppression of the dragon pirates. I don't know when this day is the end Tilda. Ken Suk sighed and walked to the port without knowing it. Due to the confinement of the dragon pirates, all the ships in the Chumida Islands were destroyed by the murlocs. In this way, it is impossible for anyone to escape the clutches of the murlocs. Um, what is that? Suddenly, Ken Suk stopped, raised his head, and looked at a huge monster in front of the port Tilda. It looks like... A ship? What? It seems that this is a ship. His eyes moved slowly, and then fell on the flag on the mast. Sea Pirate? Seeing the logo of the pirate flag, Ken Suk felt like buying and playing. This is really a leak in the house and it rains all night. Over there, the evil dragon pirate group is still raging the entire village of the Zumida Islands, and here is another pirate group. Have we people in the Midas Islands dug up the graves of pirates in our previous lives? Uncle Jian. A voice came from the direction of the bridge tilde. Ken Suk looked over and a familiar figure appeared in front of him. Nah, wrong. I can't show any kind of friendliness. Damn. So it's you, the damned pirate who betrayed the village. Ken Suk put on a fierce face, glanced at the huge pirate ship behind Nami, and taunted, as a member of the Dragon Pirates, you have also recruited other pirates, you are really a natural pirate stuff. Hey hey hey, what are you talking about? You soap yelled loudly. How dare you be so rude to the beautiful Miss Nami, it is unforgivable. Sanji also rushed forward acting like a flower protector from the beginning. Sanji, you soap. As soon as Liu Olan arrived on the deck, he saw the scene of swords being drawn and shouted. Then, he jumped down and explained, there is a misunderstanding here. Now that Liu Olan said so, both you soap and Sanji subconsciously stopped thinking about doing it. Luffy is the former captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. But everyone knows that when the Straw Hat Pirates were founded, Luffy met Liu Olan, and the two hit it off and formed the Straw Hat Pirates. It can be said that Liu Olan can also be regarded as a partner of the Straw Hat Pirates at the beginning of its establishment. What's more, because of the comics, anyone who has read the comics is deeply grateful to Liu Olan. Therefore, although Liu Olan has never talked about status, Liu Olan's status in everyone's hearts is recognized by the partners of the Straw Hat Pirates from the bottom of their hearts. At this time, Luffy also came, and he stared at Ken Suk's hat curiously. Huh? Why is there a windmill growing on his head? Okay Tilda. With such a second-rate captain on the booth, it's no wonder that everyone regards Liu Olan as the backbone from time to time Tilda. Although this question is very stupid, Nami smiled happily. She said, when I was young, every time Uncle Jian approached me, I would cry. Later, Uncle Jian stuck a windmill in his hat, and every time Uncle Jian approached me, I would laugh. Huh? So it's Nami's uncle. Luffy laughed and tried to reach out to model the windmill. But Ken Suk avoided it. Hey hey hey. Don't talk like we are very close. Nami, none of us will ever forgive you. Ken Suk continued to speak ferociously. Uncle Jian dot 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 I know that you may not believe me if I explain it to you. But I still want to tell you. I, is still the same Nami. Always has been. Nami smiled and didn't want to explain further. I have been a villain for so many years. And I don't care about being such a villain Tilda. Anyway Tilda. As long as the evil dragon pirates are eliminated. Everything will be revealed. At that time. 
everyone will understand her difficulties. Let's go, it should be in this direction. Zora took the map and headed somewhere. Stupid green algae head, there are only two paths, you can point to the wrong one. Sanji beat the map and pointed in another direction, this way. Ah ha ha ha. Usopp laughed heartlessly. Let's go. I want to beat the flying dragon. Luffy raised his arms high and rushed out in the first place. Beat the flying dragon? Hearing these words suddenly, Ken Suke's face turned livid with fright. I, me, me, am I hallucinating? The kid in the straw hat just said he wanted to beat the flying dragon? Question mark. They are a group of fighting scum, and they are going to deal with the evil dragon. Nami, what are you doing? Although he pretended to be ruthless, how could Ken Suke remain calm when he heard this kind of thing? Stupid Nami, don't do stupid things. That's what you heard. Nami looked back at Ken Suke, and showed a playful smile to this lovely elder Uncle Tilda. What? This smile. Dot. Jian's urine is stupid. Ever since Nami joined the Dragon Pirates, the villagers haven't seen a smile on her face. Not to mention such a heartfelt smile. But now, the smiling Nami is back. Destroy the dragon pirates. She dot 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 she come for real? Question mark. Realizing that the matter was serious, Ken Suke immediately tried to dissuade him. But the Straw Hat Pirates and their party have only 187 backs left. Damn. Just find a few helpers and want to fight desperately with the dragon pirates. Why is she acting so nonsense? Ken Suke didn't dare to delay any longer. He ran back to the village in one breath. Come out. Quick, get your weapons. Whether you are male, female, young or old, let Lozi get up. Ken Suke ran and shouted loudly. Soon, a large number of villagers took up weapons and came to the middle of the village. What's going on? Uncle Jian, is there a fight? If the Murlocs see it, it will be troublesome. Everyone asked in a hurry. Ken Suke took a deep breath. Nami is back. She came back. Why do we need weapons? Yeah, didn't you agree? Everyone pretends not to know so don't put pressure on her. Isn't she being chased by the pirate who stole money from her? Damn, after chasing here, let's scare these damned pirates away. Ken Suke took the water glass handed over by others, took a quick sip, and quickly explained, no, 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 Nami Nami, she, she took a few people to fight the dragon pirates. Already? What? Dash, hey, hello, did you say something wrong, or did I not hear you clearly? She, isn't she saving money silently? Why is she so impulsive all of a sudden? If you only bring a few people with you, you're going to fight the murlocs. She dot 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 why is she so stupid? The faces of the villagers changed drastically. Everyone knows how scary murlocs are Tilda. With just a few humans, it is estimated that even the murlocs would not have enough teeth. No, hasn't she already saved so much money? Why is she rushing so far? A villager asked with an unwilling face. Ken Suke shook his head, I don't know. But with Nami's character, if she hadn't really fallen and had to turn her face, she would definitely focus on being safe. In that case, it seems that the dragon pirates must have done something to make Nami completely lose confidence. The village doctor Dr. Nagao rubbed his chin and analyzed seriously. No matter what, Nami has silently contributed to all of us for so many years. Now, since she has decided to resist, we must not hold her back. Ken Suke took out the knife he had treasured for many years, pulled it out forcefully and yelled at everyone. Yes, we have to help Nami. Fight with Murlocs. There is no way out. Anyway, I'm going to die anyway. Fight. All of a sudden, the villagers of Koka village, led by Zao, headed for the territory of the Dragon Pirates. Chapter 63 Liu Olan. Damn, isn't this a cloud card? Please subscribe. Dragon Park Tilda. Located on the seashore to the southwest of Kokosa village, this place was originally a deserted island. But since the Dragon Pirates came, they established a base here and became a paradise for Murlocs. At the same time, because of the arrival of the dragon pirates, all the humans in the Mida Islands have become their slaves. Boss, that guy Nami has been out for a long time, right? She shouldn't take the opportunity to sneak away. By the water pool of Elong Park, a muscular cartilage Murloc was talking. He is Kruby, the carder of the dragon pirates. On the recliner in front of him, the leader of the dragon pirates, the leader of the dragon pirates, was lying and basking in the sun. Don't worry, Nami, it's impossible to ignore the villagers of Kokosha village, as long as the villagers are still there. She will foolishly save money to redeem the village. The Kruby's slander. The dragon doesn't care at all. Pick up a fruit and put it in your mouth Tilda. Click. Crunchy. Crow Obi patted his head, showing a thoughtful look. But I always feel that Nami is too smart. She seems to be planning something. Okay, you have nothing to do every day, and you always doubt what she is doing. She has been trapped by me in her life. While the dragon is a refined racist, Nami's flight Poseidon is all he needs. So without absolute evidence, it is impossible for him to deal with the only human being in the entire dragon pirates. Can. Dot. Boom. Just when Groovy was about to say something, suddenly a loud roar sounded. Immediately afterwards, gravel splashed, rumbling and falling in the dragon park. Those pirates who were basking comfortably in the sun all awoke up suddenly at this moment, 
and looked over in unison, FK, I saw that the gate of the evil dragon park was gone at this time, and even the walls on both sides of the gate were bursting tilde, waha, who is the evil dragon, come out for me, a boy in a straw hat stepped in while rubbing his fists, question mark, a human, when they saw the intruder clearly, all the murlocs showed dumb faces tilde, how dare a human come to the murlocs territory to provoke, question mark, is this mother out of her mind, hey, boy, are you looking for me, the evil dragon lay still, holding his hands under his head as a pillow, and looked at Luffy with a playful expression, in his eyes, let alone a human being tilde, even if a village of humans comes, he doesn't care at all, well, so you are evil, Luffy stood where he was and started picking his booger, it's me, how, huh? looking at the guy in front of him, the evil dragon became more and more interesting, very arrogant, boy, you are so arrogant now, you will cry later and you will be very hungry, very good, the target person is here, Luffy flicked the booger into the pool, and said to himself, it's not me looking for you, but Nami looking for you, Nami? Question mark. Surprised expressions appeared on the faces of the Murlocs. Good guy. Wouldn't it really be what Kruby said? At this time, the whole group of straw hat pirates also arrived. I said you bastard, can you follow the plan? As soon as Sanji got here, he immediately started complaining. What a worrying captain. Mother Su -Oh also complained. When you soap heard it, his mouth was twisted in anger. Hey hey hey, you are so brave to say it. If it weren't for your random directions on the road, we wouldn't be so much slower than Luffy. Nima Tilda, this is a bunch of stuff Tilda. The evil dragon twisted his face and touched his head. He stood up slowly, looked at Nami in the crowd, and said with a smile, It's not coming to my side yet. These should be the humans you tricked me over here, right? What? We were lied to. Usopp was shocked. Sanji looked at him with contempt. How stupid are you, dragon? At this time, Nami came out and came to the C position. She looked at the dragon with a firm face. From today onwards, I officially quit the dragon pirates. Oh? The evil dragon was rather curious. He crossed his arms. So dot 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 you have collected 100 million baileys? Even if she collects 100 million baileys, you won't let her go free. Beside Nami, Liu O Gang said lightly. Where did this onion come from? The evil dragon looked at Liu O Lan in disgust. Liu O Lan continued, let me take a guess at a trash like you. Once Nami really wants to save up to 100 million bell. You will probably come to the bottom of the pot and let Nami do it again. There is a running around for 100 million baileys. W. F. K. Tilda, the dragon is startled. You guessed it right. He suddenly became interested again, squeezed his chin, and said with a chuckle, You can guess so well, why don't you guess what method I might use to get rid of the bottom line? It's actually not that difficult. The marine that's colluding with you here is nothing more than the gang of Colonel Mouse. You just need to give some information and let Colonel Mouse lead someone to take away Nami's money in the name of catching thieves. Everything seems to be fine, reasonable. Liu O Lan said lightly. Scary ha ha ha. The evil dragon grinned and laughed. Scare ha ha ha. His laugh made Nami very uncomfortable. So, Liu O Lan's guess is correct, isn't it? Realizing that her eight years of hard work were in vain. Nami was completely stunned, she clenched her fists tightly, staring at the dragon with red eyes, and asked a roaring question, scary ha ha ha, touching his own forehead, the evil dragon leaned forward and backward with a wanton smile, Nami, Nami, tell me about you, just be my navigator with peace of mind, won't it be fine, I have to find a way make trouble for me, since the matter has come to this point, let's tear your skin apart, listen, from today onwards, you will no longer be a member of my dragon pirates, but a slave. You don't have to think about running away. As long as you dare to leave for a day, I will kill ten villagers in Kokosha village. If you leave for two days, I'll kill a couple. You run away forever, and everyone in Kokosha village will be buried with you. Fierce eyes stared fiercely from the A's of the evil dragon. Exclamation mark. Sure enough, Liu Olan guessed it. Eight years. What I have worked hard for these eight years turned out to be a lie. Nami covered her red lips. Tears of grievance burst out of her eyes. I am ridiculous Tilda. How foolish to believe in such rubbish as evil dragons. Been a thief for eight years for a lie. If it wasn't for meeting Liu Olan and others, Nami wouldn't dare to think about it Tilda. Nami. Looking at the crying Nami, Liu Olan gently rested Nami's head on his shoulder, and then looked at the dragon. Hey, dragon. Do you know what you did wrong? The evil dragon looked over coldly, with a look of disdain. Oh? Made a mistake? But as soon as he finished speaking. Luffy couldn't help it. Boom. The rubber fist blasted out suddenly without warning, and landed directly on the dragon's face. The powerful force caused the dragon's head to be thrown back suddenly, and even brought his whole body to hit the wall hard. Luffy looked up to the sky and yelled, Bastard. Don't make our navigator cry. The sudden scene made the dragon park suddenly become extremely quiet. Then I heard Liu Olan ask faintly, Do you know what mistake I made this time? What? The evil dragon sat up from the ruins, and he molded his mouth. A steel tooth is completely shattered. But the next moment, a new set of teeth grew out of his mouth. Murloc rebirth. Bastard, what are you doing here? At this moment, the Murlocs reacted immediately. One by one, they rushed over fiercely. Rush, rush, rush. There was a flash of swords and swords, 
and the several Murlocs who rushed over were all lying in a pool of blood. Small character, just get out of here Zora pointed the word he dow obliquely at the ground, and the blood of the Murloc dripped down the blade. Boom, boom, boom. Sanji also knocked down a few Murlocs, held a cigarette, and exhaled the smoke ring. I really don't have the self-knowledge of a small character. Wait. Just when the two sides were about to start a full-scale battle, Nami's little head moved away from Liu Olan's shoulder and shouted. The members of the Straw Hat Pirates stopped further actions in a tacit understanding. As for the Murlocs, they all looked at Nami. The evil dragon climbed up from the ruins, and he looked at Nami viciously. Very good. I found a group of good helpers, so you think you can deal with me, right? Human beings are really ignorant and inferior races. The physique of our Murlocs is born to be more than ten times that of yours. Prepare for despair. As he said that, the evil dragon grabbed his big hand and grabbed his weapon. The big saw blade. Here, the straw hat pirates also immediately put on a stance. But Nami stood in front of the straw hats, and said seriously, Guys, leave these Murlocs to me. I want to destroy these beasts with my own hands. What? You so passed with a question mark on his face. Hey hey hey, beautiful Nami-chan. Why do you need to do this kind of thing yourself? If you need a beautiful woman to do it, what's the use of me, Sanji? Ah, it seems that it's not impossible. Zora froze for a moment, and immediately thought of that time on the deck. Nami was holding his big mallet. Luffy also remembered this, but still asked suspiciously. Nami. Can you? Nami Tilda? Liu Olan looked at Nami with a puzzled expression. You are so weak, you still want to deal with the Murlocs alone? Are you sure you are not joking? But his expression fell into Nami's eyes, and Nami thought it was encouraging her. Encouraged by Liu Olan, Nami became more confident. With a movement of her mind, a wave of magic power floated between her palms Tilda. Wow Tilda! The moment the light shone, a delicate little magic wand appeared in her hand. Huh? What is this? You soap exclaimed. Zora was slightly surprised and thought, Nami really learned a lot of abilities from Liu Ogang's comics, Luffy tilted his head, with a question mark on his face, what is this, however, they were just surprised, but Liu Olan was astonished, a magic wand that appeared out of thin air, question mark, still pink, hey hey hey, why does this wand look so familiar, and many more, suddenly Ro, Lan thought of the comic book Nami took from him, question mark card Sakura? exclamation mark, fk, isn't this one dot 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 Sakura's wand, and at this time, Nami turned his hand over again, and a card with a colorful brilliance of Madara appeared in his hand. Puff. Dash. Liu Olan squirts Nima in one mouthful. Groove. This. 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 Clow? What the hell is this? Question mark. Why does the Clow card appear here? Zora learned Yanfan from Kojiro Sasaki's manga before, although it is a bit outrageous, but at least it can be justified. And now, Nami is here to bring things directly from the manga world. No way Tilda. Liu Olan suddenly thought of a possibility. I'll have to ask Nami later. Liu Olan thought to himself, but now is not the time to ask about it. He looked at the Kula card in Nami's hand, and on the card was a lightning beast that was going downhill. Pai. When seeing this card, Liu Olan immediately understood where Nami's confidence comes from Tilda. With the thunder card in hand, she is indeed qualified to say gift these murlocs to him. Huh? Boka? Luffy leaned over curiously to take it. Boka you bastard. Liu Olan grabbed Luffy and said, since it's this card, everyone should rest. Let Nami clean up the trash. Cantling. The word he dow is sheathed. As someone who has made huge profits in the comics, Zoro wishful thinking that Liu Olan knows everything about everyone in the comics. Since Liu Olan said everyone should rest, there must be no need to worry about Nami's strength. The same goes for Luffy. He and Zora share the most comic experience. In the first place, he told Zora that Liu Olan knew everything in the comics. Now that Liu Olan said so, let Nami come to relieve his anger. Ah, uh, all right. Usopp still expressed doubts about Nami's strength, but everyone stopped rushing, and he didn't dare to rush. Only Sanji was still asking inconceivably, Hey, 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 are you all crazy? Let the lady play. Sit down for me. Curly eyebrows. Zora pulled Sanji over, pretending to be a ghost. Nami. You are going to die for me. The evil dragon was about to explode in anger at this time. A group of humans knocked on the door, and now Nami threatened to deal with them alone. Mermaids can bear it, but Murlocs can't bear it. With that said, he rushed towards Nami. Thunderbolt. Nami lightly raised a small wand in his hand. No extra nonsense. Boom. In the clear sky, suddenly thunder broke out. A terrifying roar descends from the sky. What happened? Zaudas. Where did the thunder come from? Thunder even on a sunny day? It's impossible. Hiss. Look at the sky. Is that a lie? This is impossible. When the Murlocs looked up to the sky, they were immediately shocked by this terrible scene. I saw countless lightning intertwined and intricately intertwined in the sky with a clear sky, weaving into a huge web of lightning. Without any delay, these lightning bolts gathered a very thick current and rushed to the ground. What? A Murloc screamed, and instantly turned into a dried fish under the current thicker than others tilde. Another Murloc wanted to run, but was directly hit by three consecutive currents crossing. 
and blue smoke came out tilde, hack, hack, hack. Lightning bolts fell, striking the murlocs of the dragon pirates with incomparable precision. Are murlocs physically strong? I'm sorry, but in front of Thunder Beast, they are all scum. Run away. A murloc who hadn't been hit for a while shouted, then rushed to the water pool of Vice Admiral in the Dragon Park, and plunged into it. Seeing this, the other murlocs rushed into the pool without any choice. Don't want. Dash. The dragon was in a hurry, and hurriedly shouted, Come out, the sea is a guide, too. That's too late. Originally, it was necessary to search for one goal by one goal. But now it is fine. Countless extremely thick currents fell directly into the pool. Zizizizi. The moment the thunder and lightning fell, the sea water in the pool was blown up to a height of more than 10 meters by the powerful force of the thunderstorm. Along with it, there was also a grilled fish with electric charcoal. Ah! Cold. Seeing that all his subordinates were dead in a short time, the head of the evil dragon buzzed, and the blood rushed to the brain. Don't worry, poor you now. Nami looked at the dragon coldly, and moved the little magic wand in his hand Tilda. Seeing this scene, a bad premonition arose in the evil dragon's heart. He looked up Tilda. FK. Chapter 64 The Merlock has a hard head. Vigorously miracle. Please subscribe. Outside the dragon park Tilda. The villagers of Kakixia village are rushing aggressively with all kinds of gaudy weapons and sticks. They all had a death defying look on their faces. There is no way. The physique difference between humans and Merlocks is too huge. But even so, they are determined to fight the Merlocks. Even Nami has given up fantasy. What reason do they have to persist? Ahead is evil dragon park. Folks and elders, follow me if you are not afraid of death. Ken Su crazed the knife in his hand and shouted, Come on. The villagers also went all out. But at this moment, thunder suddenly filled the sky. Countless thunder and lightning interweave, forming a very thick current that rushes down from the sky. All fell into the dragon park. That. What is that? Without being reminded, all the villagers stopped on reflex. Nima Tilda, who would dare to go through such a horrible scene? My god, this is worse than a storm at sea. Even if it is a murloc, it is absolutely impossible to survive being struck by such a terrifying lightning. Could it be that the murlocs have committed many evils and were condemned by the heavens? Villagers, talk to me Tilda. Suddenly Tilda, ah! What is that? With a cry of exclamation, all the villagers looked at the sky in horror. All the thunder and lightning suddenly gathered in one place at this moment. It was as if the sea water in the sea was rubbed into a ball by an invisible big hand. The next moment, the ball grew limbs, a tail, and a tail. It was an energy beast like a wolf or a tiger, and its whole body was composed of azure blue lightning. Thunder beast looked up to the sky and howled, then looked fiercely down somewhere, and rushed towards the dragon park. This. 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 This, the people inside are going to die. Not good. Nami and her friends seem to have gone in too. It's over, it's over. What should I do? Maid, I can't control that much anymore. Anyway, I came here with a will to die. Go and have a look. Ken Suk turned his heart to the side, and immediately ran forward. Go, let's go too. Maid, die or die. Soon, other villagers followed suit. In the dragon park Tilda, the evil dragon looked at the thunder beast falling from the sky, and the whole person was frightened stupid. He is from Grand Line. He has seen the world Tilda. Naturally understand that this situation must be caused by demon fruit power. Among the demon fruit powers he encountered, there was a marine admiral who ate sparkling fruit. The dragon will never forget the fear he felt when he was dominated by sparkling fruit. And the thunder and lightning in front of me. There is no doubt that it is the same Logia devil fruit as the sparkling fruit. Nami dot 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 she became Logia demon fruit power. Thinking of this, Evil's heart suddenly shuddered. I don't even have the slightest thought of rebelling Tilda, because in the face of Logia's elementalization, resistance is useless. Boom. The thunder beast swallowed the dragon in one bite. The terrifying thunder light erupted at this moment Tilda. When Nami took back the thunder card, the dragon was lying on the ground, with burnt smoke rising from the beginning to the end. Ah. Ah. This. You soap opened his mouth so wide that even a squash could fit in it. He originally thought that Nami was the weakest fighter in the regiment Tilda. But now it seems that the real sixth child can only be him you soap. It apostrophe s dot 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 it's amazing. Zora shook his back molars. He originally thought that Nami was going to use that kind of powerful ability, but he didn't expect that there was such an exaggerated ability. Convenient and powerful. Our navigator. So strong. At this time, Luffy thought of what he said before. Don't make our navigator cry and felt more and more right. Yes Tilda. If you dare to make our navigator cry, our navigator will not let you even have a chance to cry. Nami walked up to the dragon. Looked down at the dying dragon, Ajd, over there, remember to apologize to Belmel, saying that, Nami held up the small magic wand in his hands, and smashed it fiercely at the dragon's head like playing baseball, boom, murlocs have hard heads, feel sorry, I have strong cards, vigorously miracle, one stick down, the dragon dies, Leo Lan walked over, glanced at the miserable dragon, and clicked his tongue tilde, 
Didn't you say that Merlock bones are very hard? How come Nami hits the effect of Garp's punch with one stick? Is it because the bones are crisped by electricity, so they become brittle? Forget it, there's no need to worry about it Tilda. He looked at the tall buildings in the Dragon Park. On the top floor is the studio where Nami draws the nautical charts for the Dragon Pirates. When Nami first joined the Dragon Pirates, he had no personal freedom. He was locked up in the attic on the top floor by the dragon, and he drew nautical charts every day. B. Seems to be Nami's nightmare. Now, this nightmare is in sight. Liu Olan said in a deep voice, Nami, use your hands to smash this past with your own hands. Um. Gritting his white teeth and sliding down, the scene of that memory made Nami miserable. Encouraged by Liu Olan, she walked step by step to the tall building in the Dragon Park, then squatted down. Question mark. Liu Olan is fascinated Tilda. I mean, if you hit this building with a thunderbolt or something, wouldn't it be over? What do you mean by squatting? But the next moment, Liu Lan sprayed it out in one gulp. FK. I saw Nami squatting down and standing up again. Along with her getting up, there was also the tall building of the Dragon Park. Yes Tilda. Nami directly moved the tall building with both hands. Damn the past, disappear for me. With a roar of resentment, Nami forcefully threw the tall building into the distant sea. Mum. Usopp fell straight to the ground. Sanji flashed his waist Tilda. Zara and Luffy immediately looked at each other. Case solved. No wonder Nami used to hold a 1000 Jin big mallet like a feather duster Tilda. It turns out that Nami is a strong monster. At the gate of the Dragon Park, the villagers had just arrived here when they saw Nami throwing the tall building of the Dragon Park into the sea Tilda. Everyone was frightened into dementia. Boom. The tall building fell on the sea, smashed into pieces and then turned into rubble and sank into the sea. Liu Olan reacted Tilda. It is estimated to be a power card. He walked behind Nami, patted her shoulder lightly, and whispered, It's over. Nami's eyes were red. She turned around, and hugged Liu Olan gently. Thank you. Ah, that nasty bastard actually hugged Nami-chan. I want to fight him. Sanji is envious and jealous to the point of defamation Tilda. Glancing at the deformed Sanji, Zoro added another knife. It had curly eyebrows. You can see clearly, Nami is hugging Liu Olan. Okay, bastard green algae head. I fight with you. Sanji jumps on Zora's back and wrestles together Tilda. Ah ha ha ha. Luffy laughed heartlessly. You guys are done. Squeak. Just when everyone thought everything was settled, a feminine man's voice sounded behind the villages. Afterwards, a group of marine soldiers pushed the crowd away and came to the dragon park. The leader, with the appearance of a sharp-mouthed monkey cheek and the same beard as the mouse, is the base chief of the first sixth branch of the marine east blue branch, Colonel Mouse. Zizizizi. I never thought that the dragon pirates would be wiped out by you little pirates. Ha 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 ha, today is really my lucky day. Looking at the Merlock corpses all over the place, Colonel Mouse couldn't help laughing Tilda. Originally in the sea area, even he, the marine chief, had to look at the face of the evil dragon. Now that the dragon pirates have been wiped out, then he will have the absolute right to speak in this discourse in the future. Not only that, as long as he takes such great credit for eliminating the evil dragon pirates, as long as he takes it upon himself, it will be easy to get promoted and make a fortune Tilda. Thank you so much. The money that should have been handed over to the evil dragon, and the treasures of the evil dragon park, all belong to me. Now, I order you all to be captured without a fight. I, Colonel Mouse, will recognize the credit for destroying the dragon pirates. As he said that, Colonel Mouse crossed his hands, and his standing posture seemed to have taken control of the overall situation. But as soon as he finished speaking, a figure appeared next to him, grabbed the back of his neck, pressed him to the ground and shouted, when others are happy, don't spoil the fun. Boom. Colonel Mouse's face hit the hard floor directly. His nose was bruised and his face was swollen. Tilda. What are you doing? Let go sir. Are you looking for death? The surrounding marine soldiers didn't have time to protect Colonel Mouse, but belatedly pointed their guns at Zora. At this time, Colonel Mouse pulled his swollen face off the ground and turned to look at Zora. He wants to see who dares to disrespect him. He swears. Remember what this guy looks like. Report to naval headquarters, and issue a wanted warrant for him. You bastard. You say you. As soon as he turned his head, Colonel Mouse would yell at him without hesitation. But as soon as he said half of the words, he swallowed the rest tilde. FK. His heart skipped a beat. Taking a closer look at the appearance of Zora in front of him. Ah. Yes. Yes 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 it is you. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I have blind eyes. You adults don't remember the faults of villains, so just treat me as a fart. The knee seemed to have a deep affection for the earth suddenly, and Colonel Mouse knelt down in front of Zora with a plop. Question mark. What's the situation? Question mark. Zora is stunned. The rest of the Straw Hat Pirates were even more confused. Weren't you still very arrogant just now? How come it's like meeting your own further all of a sudden? I haven't heard that Zora has a son. Hey, Chloral Head. Do you know him? Sanji asked. Zora rolled his eyes. I know someone. No, no, no. How could you know such a small person like me? Colonel Mouse hurriedly agreed. Then you know me? Zora frowned. Although he was a part-time reward at East Blue. Gold Hunter. But it's not enough for a Marine Colonel to treat him like this. 
right? Hearing Zora's question, Colonel Mouse hurriedly lowered his posture to the lowest level, flattering, Rora Noa Zora, a sea with a reward of over 100 million like you, ah, uh, a strong man, like the morning star in the dark night, it is so shining everywhere, puff, everyone sprayed a mouthful of salt soda tilde, fk, how much? How much? Look, this is a reward order personally issued by naval headquarters for you, it's not long since I got it, and I haven't realized the heat yet, Colonel Mouse took out a brand new reward order from his pocket, and handed it to Zora with a flattering smile. Zora took it over and took a look, with a wicked smile on the corner of his mouth. He showed the reward order to everyone in the straw hat pirates. I don't know numbers. How many are these? 27. Hello you black bellied green hair. Everyone in the straw hat pirates tilde. Go back and beat you up. Chapter 65 System Mail. Liu Olan's strength soars. Please subscribe. When all the dust settles tilde. Going merry drove away in the farewell of the villagers. The treasure of Dragon Park was returned to the villagers but the black money found from Colonel Mouse was all confiscated by the Straw Hat Pirates. The money Nami had saved over the years was also brought on board by Nami. Today's Nami can be described as a veritable little rich woman. In addition, there is an extra orange orchard on the deck of Going Merry. Damn green hair, he is actually the first guy in our pirate group to have a bounty. Sanji seems to be born with a special bond with Zora, if he doesn't argue with him, he will feel uncomfortable tilde. Nami has Pell in his eyes, 100 million Pell, wow, if we sell Zora. Will we get rich? Then specify to get rich. Yu Thorpe raised his hands in agreement. Okay, I agree too. Liu O Lan laughed. Amidst a burst of laughter, there was another banquet on the deck of Going Merry. Time flies. It's night tilde. Liu O Lan finished work early and returned to the room. During the day, Nami used the cloud card, which shocked Liu O Lan. But during the day, when there are so many people, he is too embarrassed to ask. After all, as the owner of the manga, I don't know that the manga has special magic. Wouldn't that be a joke? Boom 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 Tilda. This time Liu Olan knocked on the door first to remind Nami. Crunch Tilda. The door opened, and Nami's little hand stretched out directly, and handed Liu Olan over. She complained, you still have to knock on the door, do you treat me as an outsider? Forehead. The pretty little thieving cat really has a lot of charm. But this time because he came early, Nami hadn't showered yet and Liu Olan naturally didn't have a chance to feast his eyes. He he, seeing Liu Olan's deflated look, Nami put on a smiling face, grabbed Liu Olan's arm, and looked up at her, what are you looking for? What's up? Of course it is a matter of stabilizing the Kuliuo card, but, can't ask directly. After thinking about it, Liu Olan tentatively said, how many Kula cards have you taken in now? Nami didn't say a word, but very playfully stretched out three fingers tilde, oh? Not bad, question mark card Kaptisura? This manga has been given to you for less than 10 days, and you have already taken three cloud cards. What can you do? Liu Olan gave Nami a thumbs up. Hearing Liu Olan's exaggeration, Nami was very happy. Hee hee, I told you everything. He is super capable. Saying that, Nami dragged Liu Olan to her bed, and then sat in a row beside the bed. By the way, Liu Olan, did you see the process of me subduing Thunder Card? I'm so smart. I thought of that method. Were you shocked when you saw it? Liu Olan was able to take the initiative to chat with her. Nami was very excited and began to actively find topics. This saved Liu Olan from making sidelines. From Nami's words, Liu Olan understood. Nami has indeed entered the world of comics, otherwise how could there be a process of subduing Lpi? But, how did I know the process of Nami subduing Thundercard? Just as he was about to tell Nami that he didn't he know, Nami continued, you must have seen it, right? Luffy and Zora told me before that you are a manga fruit capable person, as long as what happens in the manga world, you we all know. I wiped Tilda. These two forced. Really give me a high hat. I really thank you Tilda. Right? Isn't my method very clever? Nami shook Liu Olan's arm and asked in a half compassionate tone. Liu Olan one head too big Tilda. Nami is already like this. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if I said I didn't he know? Well, Nami is the smartest. With a cheeky face, Liu Olan nodded. Being praised by Liu Olan again, Nami was very happy, and asked again. What do you think should be my fourth Kula card? Liu Lan thought about the situation in the original plot, so he said, You can try to subdue the shadow card, the light of the thunder card can restrain the shadow card. Nami nodded thoughtfully, Well dot 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 well, I want to try it now. Liu Lan, I'm going to try to subdue shadow card now, can you stay with me here? It is good. Liu Lan fully agreed. He just wanted to observe what happened when Nami entered the manga world tilde. Promised so quickly. He he. It means that he wants to be with me in his heart tilde. Excited, Nami took out card Kaptisura from the bedside table, and opened it next to Liu Olan. Turning to the chapter about the shadow card first, Nami confirmed the location of the shadow card. Then the spirit connects with the comic book and enters the book. After a while, Liu Olan saw that Nami was still beside him, so he asked, Nami, 
Haven't you gone in yet? Nami didn't answer him. Um, Liu Olan looked at Nami suspiciously tilde. X. Nami, Liu Olan shouted again. Nami remained unmoved. Could it be that entering a comic book is actually entering the comic world with spirit? Liu Olan stretched out his hand and waved it in front of Nami's eyes, but she didn't respond. Just to make sure, what if Nami is playing tricks on me? After thinking about it, Liu Olan pretended to kiss Nami's mouth. When the distance was less than one centimeter, Liu Olan stopped. During this process, his eyes kept staring at Nami's eyes, but Nami's pupils did not show any stress response. It looks like it really is. Now, Liu Olan can make a positive judgment. Dot. Because it was too close, Nami's natural fragrance floated into Liu Olan's nose, making her soul fly tilde. This cute little thief cat is now in the comic world tilde. Kiss her, she shouldn't know, right? Liu Olan suddenly had such an idea. Anyway, relying on being so close. It seems too bad not to kiss. Then, just a little bit tilde. Well, runs better than jelly. Just take a sip, otherwise it would be embarrassing to be discovered. Sitting with him for a while, I don't know how long Nai will be in there. Liu Olan simply turned on the system to have a look. The column of points is now 9. I didn't know why the points increased before, but now Liu Ogang has a guess. It should be related to the performance of the partners in the comic world. There is still one point left, and you can exchange for treasures. Liu Olan is really looking forward to it. This broken system. The interface design is so cumbersome, but there are not many useful ones. It's really superficial. Liu Lan looked around on the main interface, and then checked the titles of the interface in the category list. Look at my log. Open the personal log interface, and the attributes in the column increase, plus a record of the completion of a comic. Other than that, nothing fancy. By the way, Nami asked me before if I saw her performance in the comic book. I don't know if the system has relevant records. After thinking for a while. Liu Olan continued flipping down. I pulled hundreds of them and they all went empty. But idle is also idle, continue to point down. Next article, category title. System mail, huh? Why is there still a system mail here? Liu Olan remembered that there was a system email on the main interface, but he didn't expect that there was a system email hidden in the drop-down box on the log interface. I guess it's useless, didn't come with much expectation. AI gang casually ordered, T.U. Drip 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 drip. A reminder sound came immediately. What the hell? There's still mail here? Zero ask for flowers. Liu Olan was shocked. Immediately, he curiously clicked on the first email. Question mark your manga fan Monkey D. Luffy has improved his world strength in the manga? Zandong? And the development of rubber fruit has reached a level. Your third gear with rubber fruit. As the system was turned on, Liu Olan suddenly felt a strange power pouring into his body. Looking at the content of the email again. Liu Olan was shocked. FK, could it be that? He immediately exited the system interface and opened his palm. Whoosh, the fingers stretched out. Damn it, this is rubber fruit's ability. Liu Olan raised his hand again. His arm was stretched, and it was enough to reach the ceiling in an instant. FK, I actually became a rubber man. He looked down at his brother for a while, trying to use the ability of rubber fruit. FK, Liu Olan was stunned. This ability is strong. Oh my god, putting such a strong fruit ability on Luffy is really wasteful. But now it's all right, let me inherit this heaven-defying ability. By the way, there are still several emails. Liu Olan quickly opened the system interface again. Question mark your manga fan Monkey D. Luffy has improved his world strength in the manga. Zantong, Observation Haki has been promoted to the primary level. You get its Observation Haki ability simultaneously. You get points plus one. Oh, oh, question mark your manga fan Monkey D. Luffy's world strength has been improved in the manga. Zantong and Armament Haki has been promoted to the primary level. You simultaneously gain its Armed Color Haki ability. You get points plus one. Your fan Kebi has improved his world strength in the comic, My Wife Shania Biography, and learn the Breath of Thunder, the Shape of One, and the Flash of Thunder. You get its Thunder Breath ability simultaneously. You get points plus one. Question mark Your fan Rora Noah's are completed the Wooden Gillum Pile training in the world of the manga? The Legend of Sasaki Kojiro? and achieved a great foundation in swordsmanship. You simultaneously gain its basic sword skills. You get points plus one. Question mark your manga fan Rora Noah's or learned the secret technique of swallowing back in the world of the manga? The legend of Sasaki Kojiro. You simultaneously acquire the secret ability of swallow return. You get points plus one. Question mark your manga fan Nami has subdued liquor in the world of manga? Card Kaptisura. You get the thunder card ability simultaneously. You get points plus one. A total of nine system emails, three for Luffy, one for Kebi. 2 for Zora, and 3 for Nami. Add 1 point for each email, exactly 9 points. Damn, where did I get the points? So it's because of this. This old 6th system, if I didn't have nothing to do with Nami today, I guess I wouldn't scroll down here until the finale. Looks like Nami is really my lucky star. But, what's the situation with Sanji and Usopp? Why didn't these two melons contribute 1 point? But if one of them works a little harder, I can exchange it for treasures now. After sorting out the emails, 
Liu Lan checked it again and found that there was a playback mark behind each email. He clicked on the article about Nami subduing the Thunder card, and actually replayed the whole process of Nami subduing the Thunder card. Wipe, turns out I could really know what happened to them in the manga world is, ah. The system, you are a sixth child, exiting from the system interface, Liu Olan greeted all the seven aunts and eight aunts in the system in his heart, with a movement of his palm, power cards, fighting cards, and thunder cards quietly appeared tilde, he moved again, and a black armament haki wrapped around his arm, sure enough, I have obtained all abilities for my own use, so, in the future, we must urge our partners to study in the comic world, not only can you get abilities lying down, but you can also exchange points for treasures tilde, depend on, cool, chapter 66 Sanji, if blooming youth is a fool, then I hope I am the biggest fool, please subscribe, it's so cool, in Sanji's room, came the voice of Sanji getting carried away, his spirit withdrew from the world of the halibut eating spirit, and his whole body was still floating tilde, a few days ago, as soon as he entered the world of the spirit of eating halberds, he wanted to pick up girls, but he had nothing to gain except being treated as a stinky hooligan, until yesterday, Sanji finally found the correct way to open the spirit of the halberd eater. He discovered that in this world, food has a magical magic on people. The delicious taste of ultimate can make people forget themselves tilde. The state of the diners really made Sanji have endless aftertaste. Even, when the diners tasted the delicious food made by Sanji and couldn't help themselves, Sanji even saw the effect of clothes explosion in a trance. It was fleeting, but Sanji fell in love with the effect. Yesterday let two people explode their clothes. Today let five people explode their clothes. What a progress. Relying on his own cooking skills, Sanji has successfully laid a foundation in the world of the spirit of the halberd, and opened a pirate style May restaurant with a loan. He set a small goal for himself, when he can make 100 diners explode in one day, his cooking skills will be considered a pass. Liu Olan really understands me so well. Sanji is really grateful to Liu Olan now, with the manga of the spirit eating halberd in his hand. His face is full of meat tilde 010. It's a pity that the time to enter is limited every day, otherwise, I can't wait to live in it. Sanji couldn't let go of the time limit. But there was nothing he could do about it. Reluctantly imitating, spirit of Halberdita, Sanji came to the cabinet. We are looking forward to tomorrow. Open the cabinet door and put the spirit of the Halberd inside. Just as he was about to close the cabinet door, Sanji suddenly noticed another manga in the cabinet. Kaiwan Biography. Since this manga came into Sanji's hands, it has been sleeping here for more than 10 days. By the way, there is also an adult manga. Why did I forget? After putting down? Spirit of Halberd Eater? Sanji picked up? Legend of Emperor Guy? Although the protagonist is a man, maybe there are more supporting roles? Sanji took the manga to the chair and sat down. Liu Olan understands me so well, there must be surprises. As soon as he thought that he might have missed so many days of surprises, Sanji suddenly felt a kind of regret for losing tens of millions of baileys. Open the manga tilde. The man with the thick eyebrows in the green leather tights came into view tilde. This outfit is interesting. Sanji continued to turn a few pages, but did not see the woman. Don't worry, there should be a woman in there. With the experience of the spirit of eating halberds, Sanji is not in a hurry now. He thought to himself, the woman who should come will always come. If I hadn't persevered in the world of the spirit of eating halberds in the past few days, how could I possibly appreciate the sweet harvest now? One word tilde, two words tilde, three words tilde, Sanji patiently read one sentence after another. Wouldn't there be no women? After reading dozens of episodes in one breath, Sanji became suspicious. No, 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 this must be Liu Olan deliberately testing me. If I give up, I will definitely not be able to see women. I will continue to watch. Having tested his confidence, Sanji continued to flip back. But speaking of it, the various escape techniques in this world are quite interesting. Although I didn't see a woman, but because I watched enough and got deep enough, Sanji was gradually attracted by the plot in Guy Emperor Biography. In this world where great fireball and water dragon bullets are frequently used, this might Guy can actually become Konoha's Jonin with pure Taijutsu. It's really inspiring. The routine of counterattack by waste materials is always very exciting, even Sanji, who only has food and women in his mind, cannot avoid being infected. Unknowingly, time passed slowly. Sanji was stunned to see Might Guy defeating Kisame with pure Taijutsu against Kisame. Able to achieve such a level with physical skills, no wonder he is the protagonist of this book. However, if he is called the Emperor, it seems that he is almost the Sanji is no stranger to the title of Emperor. At least, there is an Emperor in the pirate world he lives in. Four Emperors, no matter which one it is, it is a frightening existence in the entire sky and sea. And this Might Guy in the comics obviously can't bear the title of Emperor. Continuing to look back, Sanji simply forgot the time. No way, the plot is so attractive tilde. Soon, the plot entered the fourth ninja world war. Mike Guy's peak moment is here tilde. Now is the time to open the eight inner gates. 
The moment when you swear to the death to protect your most important thing. Konoha's blue beast has disappeared from now on, and it's time to transform into a red beast. When such lines appeared, Sanji only felt his blood boil. What kind of food? What woman? It doesn't matter anymore. Man, this man in front of me. So hot. So hot. Sanji knelt down excitedly and read the manga. Exclamation mark underscore. When that kick came out, Sanji went all over the top. Man, this is the man. Before I knew it, I finished reading this manga. Cool. Sanji suddenly realized that even though he was just reading manga, it seemed like he was in a real battle. That feeling of oppression. That feeling of trying to do my best. Thoroughly heart. The moment when I swear to the death to protect my most important thing. In the future, will I have such a moment? If there is such a time, can I protect it? Suddenly thinking of this question, Sanji got scared. Emperor Guy can play the most burning moment to protect what is most important to him. But what about me, Sanji? Not to mention the four emperors. Even if it is a stronger pirate, I might not be able to beat it, right? Fear. Inexplicable fear. This fear is not Sanji's fear of death. It's a fear that when the responsibility comes, he will disappoint everyone. This fear is far more terrible than the fear of death. Guy Royal Biography Sanji reopened the first chapter tilde. Buzz. The sun shines on Sanji's face tilde. The breath of the shady woods blew over with the wind, making the training ground a rare coolness. Youth is not for being lazy, Guy. Come on. My Dai's voice came. Looking at the reputation, on the training ground, a man with thick eyebrows is urging the boy with thick eyebrows to run. On the back of the young Might Guy is a long banner, which reads, 500 laps of the playground of youth. It looks like the teenage mite guy isn't very happy, though. Youth. Youth. I hate youth. When will youth end? Although he has been running, mite guy seems to be a child who is forced to study. And he does not want to live such a boring life at all. He is very envious of those guys who can rub fireballs or saliva balls tilde. Guy. Youth never shrinks, so it never ends. Seeing his son sweating, mite guy felt relieved. Dot. Damn it. Doesn't it end when I die? Mite guy shouted angrily. The end? No quite the opposite. Only then will the highest and the most burning moment of youth. It was not Might Die who answered Might Guy, but another voice. All of a sudden, both Might Guy and Might Die turned their heads to look in the other direction of the training ground. It was a blonde young man with curly eyebrows, walking towards this side with a cigarette in his mouth. Hey, who are you? Might Guy asked curiously. Sanji came over. Hello, my name is Sanji. Before Might Guy could speak, Might Die laughed happily. My boy, what you said is so good. Youth will not end. Only the climax and burning moment. Saying so, Might gave Might Guy a chestnut and said, Look at him, how much he understands youth. I know youth. But it is from your son that I understand the meaning of youth. He has something he needs to protect. I also have things I need to guard. My partner, my stinky old man. When they need me, I must stand up. Sanji, what are you doing here? Looking at the young man in front of him, Might Dai subconsciously regarded Sanji as a villager of Konoa village. After all, with Konoa village protected by Anbu, it is very difficult for outsiders to come in quietly. If I could, I hope, I could train with Might Guy. Without too much foreshadowing, Sanji directly explained his thoughts. Nanny? Question mark. Such a boring thing. There are still fools who want to join. Might Guy is stunned. If it weren't for his father forcing him to train every day, he wouldn't want to stay on this training ground for one more minute. I didn't expect that there would be someone who wanted to be together. Go crazy. 5.7 ah ha ha. Hearing Sanji's request. Might die let out a hearty laugh. Okay, of course no problem. Might die fully agreed. In this era when escapism is the mainstream, such boring things as physical arts are rarely touched by people. This has created a vicious circle. Fewer people learn, and fewer people agree with it. Then no one wants to learn. A large part of the reason why Might Guy is so repulsive is because it is too boring. If a playground is all for sports, the enthusiasm will definitely be different. Now someone offered to come to learn, how could Might Die refuse? Hey, hey, are you a fool? Looking at Sanji who came over. Might Guy Luffy gave an unbelievable expression. Sanji snuffed out the cigarette at the corner of his mouth, threw it on the ground, and smiled slightly. If Blooming Youth is a fool, then I hope I am the biggest fool. Come on, let's see who is more stupid. Saying that, Sanji grabbed the long banner that Might Guy was carrying, and clasped it on his body. Youth training begins. Chapter 67 I'm a pirate. Afraid of killing you shit, Colonel Marine. Please subscribe. Nami's room. Liu Olan got acquainted with Rubber Fruit's ability and was ready to get up. But he found that Nami was still leaning on him. This little thief cat really tests me in various ways. Looking at the motionless Nami, Liu Olan thought, since she can't perceive the real world in the manga world, shouldn't I go and deal with some things first and come back later? After all, Nami entered the world of, Card Captisura, to subdue Shadow Card. This is not something that can be done in a few minutes or tens of minutes. Liu Olan just watched Nami's process of subduing Thunder Cards just now and the replay progress bar lasted for several hours. And the difficulty of subduing the shadow card is not lower than that of subduing the thunder card, so it will take several hours, right? After thinking for a while, 
Liu Olan hugged Nami's back with his left hand, and lifted his right hand from the bent legs of Nami's legs, ready to put him on the bed. Just picked it up, Liu Olan, you hug me secretly. The slightly shy voice buzzed in Liu Olan's ear like a sheep tilde. D. This unexpected voice scared Liu Olan tilde. What's going on? It's only a few minutes from entering the manga to coming out. Nami is coming out. Is Ying Pai so barred us? You beat Nami down when you came up, after all. He is also a person who has the power card, the fighting card, the thunder card, and the three cards in his hand. It is impossible for my family Nami to be so useless, right? The key is that it was discovered just after picking it up, which is really embarrassing. You said a few seconds earlier, or a few seconds later, I will put it down for you and then wake up Tilda. But Liu Olan is also glad that he was not discovered when he secretly kissed Nami just now, otherwise it would be even more embarrassing. No, I've been sitting for too long. I plan to exercise. Liu Lan found an excuse that was so embarrassing that he could tap his toes on the ground, and then he used Nami as a barbell with his hands up and down. In fact, Nami is such a smart person, even if he didn't understand it when he first came out of the comic world, now he understands that Liu Lan is going to hug her on the bed, and then run away. Now seeing Liu Lan find such a lame excuse again, I almost laughed out loud. But, since I have such a good opportunity, I have to make good use of it. After all, Nami really likes the feeling of being hugged by Princess Liu Olan, so it's exercise. Nami's eyes sparkled, she stared at Liu Olan, showing a cute attitude. Since it's about exercising, you have to persevere every day. Liu Olan, I will cooperate with you. Forehead. Liu Olan suddenly felt that he had thrown himself into the pit, and smiled awkwardly. Nami pouted slightly, by the way, how many do you do every day? I heard that Zora has to do 1000 times a day with a 1, 000 Jin big mallet tilde. He he tilde. I'm only over 100 catties. You can't do it 1000 times. A man can't say he can't do it tilde. Okay, you little burglar. On purpose. 1000 is 1000 tilde. Anyway, I have gained a lot in my ability today, and I am in a good mood. 1000 drizzles for me tilde. So, he said. It seems quite a coincidence. I also do 1000 physical training of barbell lifting every day. Well then, I will be your barbell from now on. Nami looked at the face of Liu Olan who was close at hand, hugged Liu Olan's neck with his right hand, raised an index finger with his left hand, and said in a playful tone, 1000 times, don't be lazy. Okay with you, a little thief cat, watching over me, I won't be lazy. After making a fart face at Nami, Liu Olan began to lift the bar up and down while doing bar lifting. He asked curiously, by the way, how long have you been in the comics just now? As for whether he had subdued the shadow card, Liu Olan didn't ask. Because he checked the system mail of the log classification, and there was no mail about Nami's taking over the shadow card. How long? Nami frowned slightly, thought for a while, and said, it should be five or six hours. Five or six hours. Hearing this, A Gang realized something. From this point of view, the time flow in the comic world is not the same as the current time, but many times different. No wonder Nami came out of the manga world so quickly. By the way, Luffy's ability to open the third gear so quickly and cultivate the two-color haki must not be a matter of just 10 or 20 days. I guess he has been in the comic world for a long time. Zora and the others should be in the same situation. Liu Olan thought to himself. After 1000 bar lifts, Liu Olan and Nami said goodnight and went back. But instead of going to sleep, he went to the cargo hold at the bottom of the ship spilge. Not long after, Liu Olan came to the deck with a guy wearing a marine officer's uniform. Squeak. What are you doing bringing me up on deck so late? Colonel Mouse was so hungry and cold that his face became thinner. I remember that in the original plot, Luffy and his party just taught Colonel Mouse a lesson, and then let him go. But Liu Olan would not do such a merciful thing. As the head of the marine base around the Zumida Islands, Colonel Mouse should have been a parent officer for the sake of the people. Even if he can't deal with the Dragon Gang, he can still report to naval headquarters. But he not only turned a blind eye to the tragic fate of the common people, but also colluded with the evil dragons to treat countless villagers as slaves sucked by them, or even sex. Can such a person be forgiven? Question mark. To be reasonable, pirates do evil. That is their job Tilda. Shouldn't your job as a marine be to fight violence and bring peace to the people? One bad marine parent officer is definitely more hateful than ten or a hundred bad pirates. Liu Lan carried Colonel Mouse's face all the way to the edge of the deck, and then threw it on the ground. He said coldly, you are not a fool, you should be very clear about what I brought you here for. You, you, you want to kill me? Of course, Colonel Mouse is not a fool, just looking at the surrounding scenes. He also understands that this is not a good thing. On the night of a murderous night with a dark moon and a high wind, there are only a few stars falling on the sea, creating a chilling atmosphere tilde. Well, it's good that you know. Jump down by yourself and don't let my hands and feet get dirty. Yes. Liu Olan would have dirty hands if he wanted to kill such a person with his own hands. What? After confirming Liu Olan's thoughts, Colonel Mouse sat down on the ground, his face paled in shock. I dot 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 I am Colonel Marine. If you kill me, 
Do you know the consequences? Are you threatening me? Ha ha ha. I'm a pirate, afraid of killing you shit, Colonel Marine. Liu Lan looked at Colonel Mouse in disgust, then pouted into the sea. Dear, Colonel Mouse wanted to use his identity as Colonel Marine to put pressure on Liu Lan, but seeing that Liu Lan was not afraid at all, he immediately gave up. No no no, Master Pirate, even if you give me ten guts, I won't dare to threaten you. He quickly came over and said with a flattering face, Listen to me, I still have a private treasure, as long as you let me go, the money will be yours. Can't be hard, come soft Tilda. Colonel Mouse doesn't believe that there are no pirates who don't love money. Roll. Liu Olan kicked Colonel Mouse to eat shit. Then he walked up to Colonel Mouse and fell down. What exclamation mark underscore? Colonel Mouse let out a scream, and was picked up by Liu Ogang like a chicken. Ah. No no, don't go down with me, I don't want to die, please, have pity on me, I'm only in my thirties, and I still have a great life to live, I don't want to die, I will agree to any conditions, you say, as long as you propose, I will agree, from now on, I will give you money every month, five, oh no, ten beautiful girls every month, as long as you let me go, I will definitely take you to grandpa for confession, seeing that Liu Olan was about to go to the sea himself, Colonel Mouse panicked completely, all words of begging for mercy are poured out, but when he said that, Liu Olan was furious, snapped. He slapped Colonel Mouse sharply across the face. You're only in your thirties? Question mark. Still haven't lived a good life? Question mark. Made. Because of your collusion with the evil dragon, how many people in Zumida Islands were killed by murlocs before they were thirty years old? How many people's good life ended tragically? Snapped. Hand. You don't want to die? Lozi asks you. Do those people who were killed by you and evil want to die? Snapped. Another slap. The more he talked, the more angry Liu Olan suddenly thought of Nami Tilda. He pressed Colonel Mouse's head and roared angrily, You know what? There is a person who took out the last 100,000 baileys and paid the poll tax of her two adopted daughters. But she had no money to pay her poll tax, so the murloc killed her cruelly. Is she damned? Colonel Mouse's face was covered with blood, and he shook his head in horror. No, no, no. You shouldn't die. Although her two adopted daughters are adopted daughters, they also lived a happy childhood. But because of the Merlock's rebellion, one of the little girls was only eight years old and was forced to embark on the fate of wandering in the sea and being a thief everywhere. Even, I have been deceived by lies for so many years. You tell me, if she had a choice, would she be willing to live such a life? No, no, no. I don't want to. Colonel Mouse stammered, crying out in fear. I, 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 I know I was wrong. Please please give me a chance I will correct. I will be a good person. Give you a chance? He he. Liu O Lan sneered at 877. He looked at the night in the distance, and said lightly, I forgot to tell you, that little girl is my partner now. What? Hearing this, Colonel Mouse collapsed instantly. He wailed hysterically, don't kill me, don't kill me. The next moment, he felt a strong lifting force coming from his neck. Then he vacated half a meter. Liu Olan took a step back and whipped his leg. Whoosh! Colonel Mouse flew out like a cannonball. The cloud guard is really convenient, Liu Olan murmured, and with a movement of his palm. The thunder card appeared in his palm again. He reached out and pointed at Colonel Mouse, who was flying into the distance. The sky was thundering, and countless lightning bolts suddenly appeared, converged into a supercurrent Yuzumaki, as if a great terror from another world. A very thick torrent of lightning rushed out of the void. Boom. Colonel Mouse was instantly engulfed. Watching the torrent of thunder and lightning rushing into the sea, Liu Olan and Kai were relieved. Gas. He shrugged thinking it was really funny too. Apparently it was only because Colonel Mouse deserved to die in the first place that he decided to kill him. But I don't know why, and while talking, I got in touch with Nami. In the end, it seemed like he was here to vent his anger on Nami. It's a good thing Nami wasn't there, otherwise the little thieving cat must have thought that I shot for her, right? With this in mind, Liu Olan went back. But what he didn't realize was that under a hatch on the side, Nami was leaning against the wall next to the window, covering her red lips with her hand, crying uncontrollably. Before Liu Olan lifted her bar and went back, Nami wanted to say goodnight to Liu Olan before going to bed, but found that Liu Olan was not in the room, so she came out curiously to look for it. Tilda. I didn't expect to see this scene on the deck when she heard the soul torture that Liu Olan asked Colonel Mouse, especially when she was mentioned alone, Nami instantly broke her guard. You did all this, to vent your anger on me. Caring behind my back, you don't want me to feel sad and sad. Nami cried like pear blossoms and rain, but her heart, was extremely warm. Tilda. Chapter 68 10 points, unlock the first achievement treasure. Please subscribe. A few days later, Going Merry approached the town of Ro in the studio Tilda. At the end of the day's manga work, Liu Olan opened the system interface as usual and swiped it. What? 10 points. Whose contribution? Open the log interface and find the system mail under the log. Question mark your manga fan army has conquered sword cards in the world of manga? Card Captisura? You get the sword guard ability simultaneously. You get points plus one. Exclamation mark. It has to be my family Nami. In contrast, Sanji and Usopp, 
two guys who have contributed zero so far, have further established the status of the sixth in Liu Olan's heart. But dot 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 how come it's not a shadow card? Liu Olan was a little puzzled, but after thinking about it for a while, he can probably guess it. If you want to subdue the shadow card, it is still difficult to rely on the thunder card alone. Nami is so smart, if she has been unable to subdue shadow card, she will definitely not be wasted here. As for sword cards, they are relatively easy to subdue. Liu Olan returned to the main interface of the system. He noticed that the icon on the exchange interface is now on, and it was always dark before. It should be the reason why the points reached 10. Click on the exchange interface, and you will see a row of treasure box icons. But only the first treasure box icon is bright, and all the rest are dim. In the lower right corner of the first treasure box, there is a line of small characters. Unlock condition, accumulated points reach 10. All right. This is still an achievement unlock system tilde. Obviously. The treasure chests in the back will only be unlocked one after another when the points reach a certain value. Liu Olan opened the first treasure chest. The lid of the treasure chest was opened, and golden light jumped out from inside. Then, a prop in the shape of a gold coin jumped out of it. Resurrection gold coin, a treasure that can increase one life. Question mark. Remarks, passive use. When the host dies, the resurrection effect will be triggered, and the host will be resurrected with full blood and full state. When the host is triggered, there will be three seconds for the host to choose whether to resurrect in place or randomly teleport to other places for resurrection. Question mark. The treasure is indeed a good treasure tilde. That's right. How much is this old sixth system afraid of my death? It's okay to increase the two attributes of speed and defense crazy, and now give me a resurrection gold coin. Nay I nay I, does this mean that I am weak? Anyway, I'm now a collection of all the combat power of the entire straw hat pirates. Can you look at me high? Thinking of this. Liu Olan couldn't help curling his lips. However, it is very happy to give such a good treasure after unlocking the points achievement for the first time. After all, according to the usual practice, the rewards of this kind of achievement unlocking system are all progressive, and the later the rewards, the better. If you give it well the first time, then it will definitely be better if you give it later. Liu Olan glanced at the row of dark treasure chests behind, and murmured with emotion, it seems that we have to urge our partners to work hard tilde at noon the next day. Going Mary arrived in the town of Ra. In the meeting room, the crew of the Straw Hat Pirates are all gathered here. Because supplies are needed for each stop, you have to collect money from Liu Olan before disembarking. If it is in another pirate group, there will definitely be a fierce battle over who will manage the money. But in the Straw Hat Pirates, everyone's mind is on the comics, on improving their strength, and they don't bother to deal with money. When Luffy and Liu Olan founded the Straw Hat Pirates, it was Liu Olan who kept the money, so everyone agreed to this matter, as for Nami. Nami in the original plot is of course a small money fan, holding the property and power of the Straw Hat Pirates. But now, if anyone dares to compete with Liu Olan for property rights, Nami is probably the first one to object tilde. I have to buy 50 tons of meat, give me enough money. Luffy has no specific concept of money, and he doesn't bother to count it, he knows Liu Ogang will count it for him. Let's go first, yay. After getting the money, Luffy showed a big white fang and ran away immediately tilde. Hey hey hey, wait for me. Usopp's strength is mediocre. He doesn't want to go shopping alone. He has to follow a strong person to feel at ease. But before I had time to say a word, Luffy had already disembarked for a while. Ha ha. Liu Olan smiled and said to Usopp, you should be glad that you are not with Luffy now, otherwise you may lose it later tilde. Um dot 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 seems to be right too. Usopp scratched his head, realizing that Liu Olan was right. Then he said, I need to buy some materials for making projectiles because I need hundreds of thousands of bell. This is 200,000 baileys, and you can buy some daily necessities for the excess. Although daily necessities are purchased by Nami, everyone must have their own special living habits. There is no way to guarantee everyone's individuality when buying something collectively. I need to buy two knives. Zoro's needs were simple. In the previous fight with Luffy and Shield Town, both of his knives shattered. As a result, this three-sword style of his is playing around with a knife every day, and he almost forgot how to use the three-sword style tilde. Well, since you're buying a knife, you have to bring enough money, otherwise, if you tell it, don't let people think that our straw hat pirates can't afford a knife. Liu Olan waved his hand directly, and two million baileys were thrown on the table. Leaving Kokosa village, the straw hat pirates seized a lot of stolen money from the mouse colonel, and now their family fortune is over 100 million tilde, and this does not include Nami's dens of millions of small coffers. Although Zoro can get two good knives even without money. But, isn't it embarrassing for a man to have no money in his pocket? Liu Olan doesn't want his partner to lose face. It's just right, Zora, you and you so par together, otherwise we will have to send all our partners to find you later. For Lukai, one must take it seriously. Otherwise, Lukai will let you know the price of not paying attention to him every minute tilde. It is good. With Zora, Usopp is certainly happy. 
Now it's safe. Liu Lan took out another 1 million baileys to push in Sanji's direction. This is the money to buy ingredients. What? Someone wants to ask? Didn't you give Luffy money to buy 50 tons of meat just now? Sorry, that's just Luffy's ration. It might not even be enough, Tilda. Don't worry, the matter of the ingredients is on me. I will definitely pick the best ingredients from the entire town of Ro. Sanji took the money, stood up, took a step back, and bowed like a gentleman in the direction of Nami and Kaya. Would you be honored to invite two beautiful ladies to come with me? Liu Olan shrugged helplessly Tilda. Sanji's character design can't help it. Nami also smiled while covering the red pie, and then directly took Liu Ogang's arm. It was designated to be with Liu Ogang. Sanji was hit hard immediately, but the next moment he was revived with full blood and looked at Kaya. But before he could speak, Kaya grabbed Nami's arm and whispered softly, I'm with Sister Nami. Sanji has turned into a frosted eggplant again Tilda. Everyone disembarked and went shopping separately. Liu Olan doesn't he need to buy anything. He just got off the boat to press down on the road tilde. You know, people who have been floating on the sea all day suddenly come across land, and everyone wants to get down for a walk. Kaya's body is still weak, but it's rare to land, and she also wants to come down together. Walking on the streets of Rot Town, there are all kinds of shops on both sides, and the flow of people is very large. What Liu Olan had seen in comics before, that it was just the tip of the iceberg in Rot Town. Only when you really walk on the streets here do you know how prosperous the town of Rot. Moreover, Liu Lan can conclude that this must be a very livable city. Just from the smiles on the faces of the passers-by on the road, you can get a glimpse of it. But after thinking about it for a while, Liu Lan figured it out. After all, the town of Ra is the only way for East Blue to go to the Grand Line, and Naval Headquarters also attaches great importance to it. Smoker, who has Lodia Demon Fruit Power, is specially sent here to serve as the base chief. For Smoker, AI Gangas evaluation of him is pretty good Tilda. Although this guy wants to catch Luffy with all his heart, he is one of the few people in Marine who dare to say no to the unfairness of his superiors. This guy hates pirates, but he also has his own view of justice. People in Rot Town can live in such a stable environment, thanks to Smoker. Vertical bar it smells so good. Kaya looked at the stall on the street, which was a kind of sugar cooked food with a very cute shape. With a glance at Nami, Kaya is also a little rich woman, and she came on board with a small treasury. After all, she came out to seek medical treatment, so it is reasonable to prepare a 30 million bell. In the past, in Xiliwabu village, even if you had money, you couldn't buy all kinds of delicious snacks. Seeing these novel delicacies at this time, Kaya naturally couldn't walk. Boss, three nose. Nami took out his small wallet, took a bailey and handed it to the boss. It is said that the happiness of life will change people. This is true Tilda. Now that Nami has no pressure to save money, and still has a huge sum of money, how can I still see the temperament of picking and searching like before Tilda? A proper little rich woman. The owner of the shop was a kind old man who wrapped a copy in a clean glutinous rice paper and handed it over. Nami gave Kai one, and then put the other directly to Liu Lan's mouth. Open your mouth. Liu Lan was a little embarrassed. Young man, your girlfriend really loves you. The kind shop owner said with a smile. The eyes, wang hao, are full of envy Tilda. It's nice to be young. Open your mouth Tilda. Seeing that Liu Lan was still in a daze, Nami went straight to the big move and started handing over in a coquettish voice. At this scene, Kaya, who was watching, smiled shyly. Okay Tilda, I really lost to you. Liu Olan took a bite. Well, immediately nodded in amazement. In One Piece world, due to geographical features, there is more or less species isolation between islands. The ingredients in each place have a certain degree of independence, so each place has a unique food culture. Just like this little dessert, Liu Olan actually tasted a combination of loose, fragrant, soft, waxy, and firm and it was fed into the mouth by the little girlfriend. Matilda, this feeling is good. Hey, old man girly, it's time to pay this month's protection fee. At this moment, an arrogant and fierce voice came. Everyone turned their heads and saw a group of unscrupulous youths who looked like gangsters came over. The guy walking in position see his grass green hair that is particularly conspicuous. He has tattoos on his chest, wears armbands, and has a fierce face like a ghost, and he is short of writing I'm a bad guy on his face. Look at Liu Olan Tilda. I will go Tilda. Isn't he this our captain's future fanboy Tilda? Chapter 69 Breaking Through the Barrier Ball Isn't this just as long as you have your hands? Please subscribe. The law and order in Rot Town is very good, but the existence of gangsters cannot be avoided anywhere. The hometown of Liu Olan in his previous life was so unbelievably cured that he could even come out at 12 o'clock in the evening to have skewers. But even if the law and order is good enough to live in that level of living environment, it is still impossible to eradicate the underworld. No matter how awesome Smoker is, he can only guarantee that the East Blue Pirates will not dare to do evil here. But let him manage the underworld every day to ensure that he will suffer from insomnia every day, and he will have a cerebral hemorrhage in less than half a year. 
and these guys in front of them are the largest underworld gang in Rotown. Bartolomeo Tilda, anyone who has watched Pirates knows that this guy is definitely the person who admires Luffy the most in the whole Pirates, not one of them. Of course, if you want to say that he is a good person, that is absolutely nonsense. This guy is a bastard who can shoot innocent civilians on a whim Tilda. If you have to judge him, he's a very loyal bastard, doing the bad things that gangsters should do, but also has the loyalty of worshipping the second master. What? Ka, who was born as a young lady, had never seen such a vicious existence, she was so frightened that she dropped the sweets, and hurriedly hid an army. I have to say, just looking at his looks, Bartolomeo looks really scary. Old man girly, where are your ears? Didn't you hear our boss talking to you? A purple-haired gangster styled his hair and scolded the shop owner. Let's allow a little more time, Boss Barto. You raised the protection fee last month, and we have to live. The shop owner, who was originally kind, now had a sad face and begged bitterly. Damn it. Give you a face, right? Before Bartolomeo could speak, the purple-haired boy slapped him across the face. Boom. There was a loud bang, and the purple-haired gangster was embedded in the wall. The originally bustling street suddenly fell into an eerie silence and everyone looked over subconsciously. It's Bartos gang. It's them again. What a bastard. If you don't pay the protection fee, you will be beaten by them. And then you have to pay it. The movement was so loud just now. The attack was too heavy, right? Hey, wait. Why does the one in the wall look like Steve, Bartos number one pony? Hiss. Isn't it him? Someone dares to do something to him. It's so boring. It's probably because outsiders are ignorant. Now Bartos is a demon fruit power. Even Smoker can't do anything about him. Here, almost no one does not know Bartolomeo. He is not only the local mafia boss in Rotown, but also the mafia boss of more than 150 surrounding towns in the underworld. He has a high status. Now someone beats his number one pony in broad daylight. This is a real blow to the king. To put it bluntly, even if Smoker comes, it won't work. In front of the food stall, Bartolomeo's mouth is now bigger than a carrot. What shocked him was that such a powerful and terrifying punch just now was actually punched by this thin-looking woman in front of him. I'm a good boy. This punch must have several tons of damage. Right, bastard? It's fine if you are a Merlock, but you are all human, why do you bully humans? Clenching his fists tightly, Nami's eyes flashed with anger, and his body was trembling with anger. It was originally a date with Liu Olan, but Nami never expected to encounter such a thing. For her, this kind of thing is so empathetic. The villagers of the entire Zumida Islands have been oppressed by Merlocks for so many years, sucking blood non-stop, and living a miserable life. Nami knows how miserable this life is, and the scene in front of him is nothing more than replacing the Murlocs with human bastards. What about the protection fee? Isn't he it just like the Murlocs, sucking the blood of ordinary civilians? If it wasn't for not wanting to kill, Nami's punch just now could have directly killed the purple-haired gangster. In fact, if Nami didn't make a move, Liu Olan would too. But Liu Olan's observation Haki sensed Nami's shot, so he might as well let Nami vent. He understood that Nami had some outright hatred for this kind of thing. What? The store owner came to his senses at this moment, and quickly winked at Liu Olan, young man, hurry up and take your girlfriend away to the marine base. Done. Even for the kindness of the shop owner, Liu Olan can't just sit idly by. Bartolomeo, Liu Olan shouted. What? Know me, Mr. Ben? With the unique dialect characteristic of Rot Town, Bartolomeo squinted at Liu Olan. He was not at all anxious about what happened to his younger brother just now. If this matter is not handled well today, no one can leave. Liu Olan smiled, seeing that you are not young. Why are you still playing this kind of children's playhouse? Live. Playhouse. These words really choked Bartolomeo. Nima, I passed your sister. He was furious. You say I'm playing house? What are you doing? Since you asked, let me introduce you. I am the cartoonist of the Straw Hat Pirates. As he spoke, Liu Ogang pointed to Nami again. This is Poseidon, the sailor of the Straw Hat Pirates. Pirates? Are you pirates? Hearing this, Bartolomeo is interested. Liu Lan nodded. Well, it's a child's play to be a gangster bullying ordinary people. A mature man should be a pirate and fight against the strong in the sea. That's what a man should be like. Fight with the strong on the sea. It has to be said that these words really aroused Bartolomeo's heart. He is the leader of the underworld in 150 surrounding towns, with his ability to shield fruits. He has experienced the loneliness of being invincible for a long time. When a guy like him who is prestige for a long time is officially young and energetic, he naturally likes challenges. But Liu Olan's next sentence made Bartolomeo very upset. I only heard Liu Olan say, if you stay in one place for a long time, you will become a frog at the bottom of the well. Just like you are now, thinking that you are very powerful. Cut. Don't put gold on your face. Talk as if you are very capable. The corner of Bartolomeo's mouth twitched. Call me a frog in a well? You still have a mallet at sea. Didn't you go out to sea? What are you pulling? I have too many abilities. But you, I can see that you have nothing at all. For people like Bartolomeo, the aggressive method is still very useful. Sure enough, when Liu Olan said that he has no skills, Bartolomeo went crazy. Boy, I think you are not old, aged, 
but you talk a lot. You say I have no skills? It's not that I'm bragging to you. You, Mr. Bartow, stand here today and let you beat me. You can't even reach me. Bartolomeo was furious. Oh? So confident. Why don't you make a bet? Seeing that Bartolomeo was hooked, Liu Olan said with a smile. Okay. Do you dare to bet on your life? Bartolomeo is confident. In terms of fighting, he was invincible all around. And if you bet just now, he will be even more invincible. Barrier fruit ability users, get a ball and wrap yourself up. Even if you, one piece, come, you can only stare blankly. Gambling your life, it really is a child's game. Why, don't you dare? That's not true. Since you want to bet on your life, if I lose, you can take my life. But if I win, I don't want your life. Liu Olan said. Hey ha ha ha, don't worry, you can't win. Don't rush to a conclusion. I said, if I win, you will take gangsters from more than 150 surrounding towns to go out to sea to be pirates to deal with gangsters from all over the world, and then collect them to fight for hegemony the sea. Would you bet? Liu Olan said. The corners of Bartolomeo's A's twitched tilde. What kind of bet is this shit? Don't want my life, but want me to be a pirate? Why, is being a pirate a punishment? Don't count. But since the other party said so, Bartolomeo has no reason not to answer. He sneered, hey ha ha ha, I'll bet you this. As he spoke, Bartolomeo's index finger and the middle finger overlapped each other, and he poked forward protective barrier. Come on, give me a dry. Bartolomeo had a dark belly when he came up with this thing. This thing seems to be used for protection, but it can also be used for attack. He planned to attack the barrier when Liu Olan punched the barrier, giving Liu Ogang a blow. That's it? Liu Olan smiled, stretched out his right hand, and the rubber fruit ability was activated. The arm hits a parabola directly. The hesitation is instantaneous, and before Bartolomeo could react, Liu Olan gave him a brain crash. Oh my god, how did that man's arm stretch? Very scary. He must be a demon fruit power too. Obviously, how can ordinary people extend their hands? The people of Rotown have seen the world after all, and although they are shocked, they are not frightened. But Nami and Kai were quite surprised Tilda. This, isn't this Luffy's ability? Nami said in surprise. Liu Lan smiled, did you forget? I'm a cartoonist. Ah Tilda. Yes, even we can get abilities from Liu Lan's comics, let alone Liu Lan himself. As a mango artist. Is it difficult to draw a mango about rubber fruit's abilities? How? Who lost? Liu Olan had already retracted his arm and lost with a smile. Bartolomeo touched the swelling on his forehead, and said unwillingly, Ah, you bastard. You didn't say in advance that you are a demon fruit power, and you don't talk about martial arts, is that so? It seems that you are still unconvinced. Well, the one just now doesn't count. I'll give you another chance. Shrugging his shoulders, Liu Olan said he didn't care. Good. That's what you said. Hearing this. Bartolomeo regained his spirit. His index and middle fingers overlapped again. Barrier ball. A shimmering transparent barrier formed a ball around Bartolomeo. Complete his 360 degree protection without dead ends. Hey ha ha ha. Let's see what you do this time. Regarding his favorite work, Bartolomeo smiled presumptuously. One. Is there no excuse for losing again this time? Liu Olan didn't continue to do it. But joked. If I make excuses again, I'm a dog. Bartolomeo also wanted to save face, and immediately said angrily. Come on, my barrier ball is invincible. If you have the ability to break through it, break through the barrier ball, isn't it just enough to have hands? As he said that, Liu Olan had a thought, and a cloud card quietly appeared in his hand. Chapter 70 What is your idol's aura? What about Luffy? Please subscribe. A cloud card emerged from Liu Olan's hand. Sword card. The moment it appeared, the sword card was integrated into Liu Olan's body. The ability of the sword card is to cut. This cut is not a physical cut, but a conceptual cut. In the world of Card Captisura, when little Sigura uses sword cards, she can not only cut through ordinary stones and iron bodies, but also cut shadows, lightning and other non-substantial substances. Of course, the most hanging is. The shield, known as the strongest defense in the world, was cut open in front of the sword with just a single stroke of the sword. Not by sharpness, but by the concept of cutting. It depends on the user's heart. The stronger the power of the heart, the greater the power it exerts. According to the setting of the sword card, if you really have great perseverance, you can even cut through the long river of time with one sword. This, it's the cut of the sword card. As long as you have hands. Hearing Liu Olan's big words, Bartolomeo's mouth is almost crooked tilde. He said angrily, you can try to show me that you have hands. Liu Olan's fingers stretched out, transforming into the shape of a sword. Then he swiped his finger at the barrier ball in front of him. Rush. The barrier ball was immediately cut into two. This level of cleanliness is much easier than cutting a piece of pork. The scene suddenly became a little strangely quiet. The gangsters all opened their eyes wide, staring at the cut barrier and dumbfounded. They are Bartolomeo's personal horses. They usually follow Bartolomeo around the streets and alleys. They have seen Bartolomeo use the barrier fruit ability countless times. Their evaluation of the barrier fruit is tilde. One word, invincible. However, it is such an ability that seems to be invincible in the world in their hearts, 
but it was easily cut open by the stretched fingers of the person in front of them. This Nima, hell, Leo Land tapped Bartolomeo's forehead with his fingers turned into swords, look, if you have hands, ah, this, this, this. The mouth was almost open to the back of the head, and Bartolomeo was stunned, even stuttering when speaking. The barrier is broken. How can that be? If the barrier can be opened at will, it means that Bartolomeo's defense is like paper in front of others. His proud invincibility barrier was broken, he couldn't accept it. No. No no impossible. Shaking his head suddenly, Bartolomeo put away the barrier ability with a thought, and then he practiced the barrier fruit ability again, and created a barrier ball to protect himself. His eyes were full of unwillingness, and he roared, there must be something wrong, you can cut it for me to see. Since you asked so Tilda, then satisfy you. Rush, Leo Lan cut from top to bottom again, and the barrier ball was cut open. Exclamation mark. Bartolomeo is completely stupid. He grabbed his hair with both hands and his eyes were full of unbelievable horror. Shocked. Crash? Hey, there is something that shocks and breaks you even more, little Bart you oh, break your so-called invincible barrier, not only if I have hands, but also if I have hands. Seeing Bartolomeo's almost crying appearance, Liu Olan was full of mischief, then patted Nami on the shoulder and said, Nami, cut it for him to see. Nami is not very familiar with the ability of the sword card, but seeing Liu Olan use it like this, she thinks it is Liu Olan showing her the ability of the sword card. He he Tilda, teach me how to use sword cards yourself Tilda. With this sweet self-braining, Nami mentally communicated the sword card. The energy of the sword card melted into her body. As the small wand in his hand turned into a sword, Nami slashed at the barrier in front of Bartolomeo. Rush, when the sword fell, the expression on Bartolomeo's face had become loveless. F, I can't accept it. Now do you know how a frog in a well I am? Liu Olan withdrew the effect of the sword card and looked at Bartolomeo with playful eyes. Although this guy is not a good bird. He must have no problem in being willing to gamble and admit defeat. Now that he made the bet, Liu Olan is not worried that he will miss the appointment. Hey, Bartolomeo suddenly sighed, and sat down on the ground like a deflated ball. He shook his head and murmured, I never expected that my ability is so weak. At this time, I'm reminded, hey, Nubai, just now you promised Liu Olan, if you lose, you will take all your gangsters out to sea, become pirates, and go to various islands to recruit those gangsters and take them to the sea to fight for hegemony. Thinking of these gangsters oppressing civilians, Nami's anger and unpleasant memories came to the fore. If these gangsters can leave the local area and recruit gangsters from other places, this is equivalent to indirectly saving civilians in other places. For this idea of? Liu Olan, Nami feels great admiration. Okay, don't worry, I, Bartolomeo, will do what I say. Since I lost, I will take people to sea in a few days. Accepting the reality, Bartolomeo got up from the ground, and he looked at Liu Olan, I remember you the cartoonist of the Straw Hat Pirates. Show me, Bartolomeo will definitely I will make a name for myself in the sea, I will be on par with Hayuga, my idol, Zora Senpai. Zora? Hearing this, Liu Olan and Nami showed astonished expressions at the same time. Nami stunned is literally stunned. Wipe, isn't this guy Luffy's super fan? When did you secretly change your idol to Zora? He asked suspiciously, is your idol Zora? Rora no Zora? Of course, it seems that you have heard of his name too. He was able to defeat the world's number one swordsman just out of the sea and for the first time, he won 100 million baileys. This is something that even the pirate group Liuji has never done before. What heights have you reached? When speaking, Bartolomeo's face was full of heroic light. If he is not 24 years old, but 4 years old, you say that he is proud of his father, and there is no sense of disobedience at all. Amount Tilda. Nami and Liu Olan look at each other. The expression on the face is full of dumbfounding Tilda. Hey hey hey, what kind of expression do you guys have? Let me tell you. Senior Zora is the pride of our East Blue. If you dare to have any opinions on him, I can't control that much. I will fight with you. Swear to the death to protect the honor of Idol Tilda. It is Bartolomeo who is talking about at this time. Nami is holding on to the red pie and laughing Tilda. She looked at Liu Olan. If Zora knows that he has such a loyal fan, what kind of expression will Zora make Tilda? What else? That guy. As soon as the words were ordinary, Liu Olan looked at the man with green algae hair on the opposite side of the street with a dazed expression Tilda. Only. What about you Soap? Question mark. Liu Olan, probably feeling Liu Olan's gaze, Zora looked this way, was overwhelmed with surprise, and walked over quickly. What about you? Didn't you go to buy a knife? Where did your soap go? Seeing Zora's whole body, AI gang had a bad feeling. Khan, that guy is real. He saw the material he liked in a store and went to pick it out. I told him to wait for me in a store, and I went to look around. It turned out that he was fine. When I went back, he had already people are gone. I searched for a long time but couldn't find it. And then I came here without knowing it. Thinking of you Soap's unreliability, Long couldn't help complaining. Liu Olan rolled his eyes. I am afraid that you Soap cannot be blamed for this matter. It's probably because when Zora found it by himself, 
He didn't find the store he and Usopp separated from at all. Zero. Huh? What's the situation with this person? He's so sick. Is he sick? Suddenly, Zara saw the guy next to him with similar hair color bending over and shaking nonstop. So 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 so, Senior Zara. Bartolomeo was so excited that his lips became bald and wavy. Senior? Question mark. Zara's face twitched slightly, a little angry. Hey, you look much older than me. Okay, PFFT. Ha ha ha. Liu Olan burst out laughing. It's like in the previous life. When a campus goddess was called aunt by a little aunt, everyone would be angry. Seeing that the idol was angry, Bartolomeo hurriedly explained, Ah, what Zara Senpai said is true. But when it comes to being a pirate, Zara Senpai debuted earlier than me, so it's my senior. Question mark. Zara's face twitched even more exaggeratedly. He turned to look at Liu Olan, what's the situation with this man? Ha ha, he's your big fan. MMM, it was when your bounty order became famous in East Blue and he should have been obsessed with you since then Liu Olan laughed so hard that his stomach hurts. Obsessed with me, Zara felt goosebumps all over the place. Zero, bastard Liu Olan, you said that on purpose. Wait. You actually know senior Zara? Question mark. At this moment, Bartolomeo realized that something was wrong. Nonsense. We are partners, all of the straw hat pirates. Nami gave Bartolomeo a fierce look. For a guy who bullies civilians like this, Nami will not give him a good face. Oh. You are so lucky to be on the same boat as Senior Zara. Bartolomeo's mouth became O-shaped in surprise. Hey, you got it wrong. Zara frowned, and then corrected. I should be lucky enough to be on the same boat as Liu Ergang. Without Liu Olan, I, Zara, would not have the strength I have now. It is also absolutely impossible to win one and a half moves in the battle with the world's number one swordsman Tilda. Maybe even in that battle, I died. Where is there any chance to carry Qina's hard work together? Bartolomeo was shocked. What? This guy actually holds such a high status in your heart? Zara grabbed Bartolomeo by the collar. Be careful what you say. This fellow is our mate. Although the straw hat pirates never mentioned anything about the vice captain, everyone agreed that Liu Olan was the vice captain. After all, with such an unreliable captain, everyone must have a reliable spiritual support. There is no doubt that this spiritual pillar is Liu Olan. His. The deputy captain. Bartolomeo took a breath, quickly changed into his clothes, and looked at Liu Olan with a flattering expression. I really don't know Chan. I didn't expect you. Okay, okay Tilda. Without waiting for Bartolomeo to continue, Liu Olan quickly interrupted his nonsense, then pointed to Zora, and said, Your idol is here. Hurry up and hug his thigh. Ah, Tilda? Is this okay? Bartolomeo is full of excitement Tilda. Wipe. The thigh hug I said is the thigh hug you understand? Liu Olan felt his blood pressure go up Tilda. But, a black belly suddenly appeared. Liu Olan nodded. Well, I, the deputy captain. Agreed. Zara dot 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 senior. Bartolomeo threw himself on Zara's lap and hugged him tightly. On that ghostly face, blissful. Alas, Zara's goosebumps instantly floated up like snow tilde. Chapter 71 Monkey D Dragon. Looks like I'm just worrying about it. Please subscribe. Senior Zara, please. Bartolomeo led the way obsequiously, while turning his head to look at Zara from time to time, for fear that he might get lost. Senior Liu Lan told me that Senior Zara is a super road idiot tilde. Looking at the dog licking in front of him. Zara is also very helpless. He originally wanted Liu Olan to take him to buy a knife. But Nami was the first to refuse. And then took Liu Olan and Kar to go shopping. Bartolomeo, on the other hand, volunteered to provide guidance services for Zara, using senior Liu Olan's advice as a feather token. Ah, hey, that's not a store. Without turning his head for a second, Bartolomeo noticed Zara entering a nearby shop. It seems that senior Liu Olan is right. Senior Zara is really a big road idiot, boss. How much is this earring? Zora picked out an earring and asked the boss for the price. Nani? Question mark. Bartolomeo was stunned. Why did Senior Zora pick out the earrings? But when he saw the earring on Zora's left ear, he understood. What are you doing? How do you read the earrings? Seeing that Zora only took a single one, the store owner was obviously not happy. Aren't you selling? Zora frowned slightly. He only needs a single one, and buying a pair is useless. Aren't you? Bartolomeo sneezed loudly, which roused the idea of the shopkeeper. The store owner looked over subconsciously. F.K. The heart suddenly reached the throat. Yes yes, no sale, only gift. The boss had a strong desire to survive the June 17th, so he immediately held the earring in both hands and sent it to Zora. I'd better pay, I have money. Zora didn't pick it up, but went to pay. Are this? The store owner glanced at Bartolomeo in fear, and immediately saw Bartolomeo's eyes that wanted to eat him. He hurriedly shouted obsequiously, Dear guest, you must be from a foreign country? Rotown treats guests from other places very friendly. This is a greeting gift. Zora pondered for a moment, then shook his head. No way. Our vice captain said that we, members of the Straw Hat Pirates, must never take civilians by the needle. After all, today's Straw Hat Pirates have Liu Olan, among other things along the way. It is impossible for those defeated pirates to be thrown around like in the original plot. 
The bounties of these pirates alone are a lot of money, they are already rich gangs, so why do they need to do those little things? Temperament. Dot. According to Liu Olan's idea, the temperament must be improved at this moment. Even if it is a pirate, it has to be a noble thief in the sea. This, seeing Zora's resolute refusal to take it for nothing, the shop owner is really desperate Tilda. If he is retaliated by some new buy, he will never think about peace in the future. He hurriedly looked at Bartolomeo, his eyes full of pleading for help. Bartolomeo thought for a while, his eyes lit up. And he said, Ah. Senior Zoro and Liu Olan have said that they don't take needles and threads from ordinary people. You see, this is not a needle and thread. This is an earring, so you can take it. Seeing this, the shop owner quickly echoed, Yes, these are earrings, not stitches and threads. Just accept the hospitality of our town. Hey, seems to be right. Zoro nodded, feeling that what they said was indeed reasonable, so he accepted it. He took off the original earrings and put on new ones. The owner of the store is also a fine person and immediately brought a delicate packing box to pack Zora's old earrings. Ding 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 tilde. The new earrings emit a clear string of copper bells. Senior Zora, it's not that I'm talking too much. This earring has a sound, which is not good for you in battle. After leaving the earring shop, Bartolomeo reminded seriously. He has heard that in places like the Grand Line, there are strong people with strong listening abilities, and they can judge the enemy's attack trajectory just by listening. A person like Zora who not only keeps hiding his voice, but also amplifies it, isn't that dot 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 stupid? Of course, Bartolomeo didn't dare to say this out of his mouth, he only dared to complain psychologically. It's right to have a voice. If you don't make your battles more difficult, how can you hone your strength? Zara smiled and walked on. How did Zaraki Kanpaki go all the way from Soul Society's Rukon Guy to the leader of Gotei 13? Rely on non-stop fighting. And in the battle, in order to increase the difficulty of the battle, he deliberately woven a bell with sound in his hair, so that his enemies could better judge his position. As Zora, who is also obsessed with fighting to improve his strength. He very much approves of Zaraki Kanpaki's fighting concept. Hey, question mark. Listening to what Zora said, Bartolomeo was stunned for a while. Then his eyes lit up thoughtfully, as expected of senior Zora, as expected of the pride of our East Blue. This level is high. While Zora was heading to the knife shop, Luffy's side came to the central square of Rotown. In front of this square, there is a tall execution platform. This is the place where the One Piece King Liu Oji was executed, which is quite legendary. Today. It has become an iconic landscape in the town of Ro. I found it, is that where One Piece was executed? Looking at the execution platform in front of the municipal building, Luffy's face was very calm. He muttered in his mouth, it is also the place where the era of great pirates began. In a trance, everything around seems to have become peaceful. The noisy crowd is gone tilde. The street is gone tilde. The pavilions are gone too tilde. It seems that there is only this execution platform and Luffy in the world. Somewhere, there is a strange force that connects the two together. When Luffy got to the top of the scaffold, he didn't even know how he got there. The right hand built a pergola in front of the forehead. Luffy looked into the distance tilde. Ah, is this what One Piece saw before the temporary? Looking at the bustling scene in front of him, AI gang sighed with emotion. Hey, boy, come down from the quickly. The sudden sound of a loudspeaker drew Luffy's attention and he saw a plaza policeman shouting. Why, Luffy wasn't just being arguing. He just thought that's such a place, isn't it for people to visit? Hey, there is a special execution platform under the jurisdiction of the world government. Idle people, boom. Before Mr. Police could finish his words, a huge mace hit his head, knocking him to the ground. Really, why are you so tough? Mr. Police Tilda, appearing in front of everyone is a tall super beauty. The mace that attacked Mr. Police is being held by her with one hand and carried on her shoulder tilde. Oh, what a beautiful woman. I have never seen such a beautiful person. It's so beautiful that I'm blown away. This super beauty has appeared, and the people around all of them suddenly have red hearts, showing the standard appearance of licking dogs tilde. But this super beauty turned a blind eye to these licking dogs, and instead looked at Luffy with starry eyes. Long time no see, Luffy. Hey tilde. Luffy tilted his head, with a confused face. I don't seem to know such a beautiful woman as you. Oh. Dash, touching his forehead as if very sad, Alveda said, I can't even remember my appearance, but I will never forget you, you are the first man to hit my beautiful cheek, at that time, you punched me hard and made me move, speaking of this, Alveda suddenly asked loudly to the surroundings, everyone, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea, it's you, almost all the men licked with red eyes, that's right, it's me, in this world, there is no man who does not bow down under my pomegranate skirt, but I like strong men, so, you are my man. Luffy, Alveda opened her hands and spoke boldly, boom, at this moment, a shell roared, and the square was in a mess, the blown fountain nearly hit Alveda, only to slide past her body, amidst the panic among the civilians, a man in a smock came to Alveda's side, I'm sorry, beautiful miss Alveda, Alveda, Luffy was surprised, he looked around, Alveda, where is it, I'm not Alveda, Alveda couldn't bear it anymore, and immediately laughed in a complaining tone, you are so slow, 
Luffy, hey question mark tilde hearing this, Luffy broke out in a cold sweat, is that so? The appearance has changed, at this time? The man in the smock unbuttoned his smock, revealing his honor. There is no substitute for that inimitable red nose. So it's you, red nose. When Luffy saw Buggy's appearance, his tone was full of indifference. Shut up. Buggy is furious. He hates people talking about his red nose the most, so he immediately bared his teeth and shouted, the guy who doesn't know what to do. Cabbage, do it. Rush. A figure suddenly jumped down from the top of the municipal building, holding a jagged shackle in his hand, and rushed towards Luffy. If it was in the original plot, Luffy would be firmly nailed to the execution platform by Cabbage here. But now Luffy. The moment Cabbage jumped off the building, his observation Haki immediately sensed the opponent's attack trajectory. Exclamation mark. The sort of shackles slammed into the execution platform, Cabbage sat on it in a chic posture, and said very forcefully, long time no see, rubber. Yeah, you guys are still alive, you are really lucky. Luffy stood beside the sort of shackle, digging his booja while looking at Cabbage. Back then in Orange Town, the guy in front of him was knocked to the ground by Zora so he had to take off half of his skin. Listening to the voice coming from the side ear, Kabaki's face suddenly became stiff. Um? Question mark. As soon as he turned his head, he saw Luffy on the right. What? Frightened, Cabbage quickly looked at the sort of shackles sitting under his buttocks, but found that there was nothing there. People. His nail nailed a loneliness. You. You 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 you. Escaped. Originally, this raid took advantage of the right time, place and people and it was a raid that Cabbage believed to be 100% successful. I don't even forget to sit on the sort of shackles and pretend to be angry Tilda. But now, embarrassment is one thing Tilda. He is like sending himself to the opponent's big boss alone. No way Tilda. J. Fight him. Cabbage draws his sword and chops Tilda. Swipe swipe. A flash of swords. 5.9. Xato. Luffy didn't make a move at all, just dodged randomly Tilda. Those sword moves seemed to have eyes, and they all avoided Luffy's surroundings by such a coincidence Tilda. After a burst of hacking, Cabbage rested his hands on his knees, panting, no dot 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 impossible, the gap can't be so big, okay, I don't have time to play with you, I have to buy me tilde, with that said, Luffy jumped off the execution platform directly, in an attic not far from the execution platform, a man wearing a dark green overcoat with a mark on his face that looks like the soul of a shoe is watching every move on the execution platform just now, beside him, a carder of the revolutionary army whispered, boss, just now Luffy's ability to avoid the opponent's slash seems to be observation Haki. Yes, the man in the dark green coat called the leader is none other than the leader of the revolutionary army, monkeyed long tilde. That is Luffy's biological father. He had come to Rot Town to recruit soldiers, but he didn't expect to see his son here. Considering that there are guys like Smoker in Rot Town, monkeyed long intends to secretly help Luffy. So he's been keeping an eye on Luffy. But now it seems, looks like I'm just worrying about it. Shaking his head slightly. Kilong smiled self-deprecatingly. Chapter 72 Smoker, wait, that's armed color, question mark please subscribe. Luffy jumped off the execution platform and went to buy meat. Nanny? Question mark. Seeing Luffy's nonchalant look, Buggy's mouth was crooked tilde. What is the most important thing to be a big pirate? Question mark. Face. But at this moment, with so many people watching, Luffy just ignored him tilde. Where does this put his buggy? God tear face. Stop, straw hat boy. In a rage, Buggy immediately chased after him. But Luffy ignored him and continued walking towards the market. What are you bastard doing? Don't you see I'm going to fight you to the death? Question mark. Buggy bared his teeth and claws, and the dagger in his hand fluttered in the air. Undecided, Luffy shook his head and kept walking. Nanny, Buggy is stunned. Did my uncle choose this for you? This uncle is notifying you. Luffy turned his head and glanced at him. We didn't have any enmity at all. You have been punished for the Orange Town matter. The matter between us has been written off. Write it off ass. Buggy was hysterical and when he thought of his experience of being bombarded by buggy cannons and flying to two places, he was furious. Arsel, do you know what I've been up to for more than a month? Do you know how much my body suffers trying to find each other, especially the lower half of my body, because I have no vision, I have been bullied by so many beasts. Although I also experienced a small buggy adventure that gained friendship, but this more than a month is a past that I can never let go of for me. Luffy, I'm going to duel with you. As soon as buggy finished speaking, Luffy's fist landed on his face. The powerful force directly sent Buggy flying. Okay, the fight is over tilde hee hee. Showing a mouthful of white fang, Luffy continued to run towards the market. But, Luffy, you beat Buggy and proved that you are stronger. You are the man I like in 09. Don't run away. Alveda's voice followed closely behind. Ah this, Luffy felt a pain in the ass. This kind of thing is what he is least good at. But thinking of Alveda's original appearance, Luffy couldn't help but want to give Alvedo a punch tilde. D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A. At this moment, a burst of dense footsteps came. A large number of marine soldiers rushed over. White smoke bomb, accompanied by a loud roar. 
Billowing thick smoke instantly dispersed the entire square. Wow. What this is, it's bad. Why can these smoke bind us? Damn it. It's the one with the smoke fruit ability. The pirates yelled in horror. But in the face of smoke fruit's ability, ordinary people like them have no choice but to be tied up obediently. In the attic on one side Tilda. Boss, that smoker has come out. Luffy is in trouble now. Do I need to take action? Asked the leader of the revolutionary army. Monkey Long pondered for a while, then shook his head. Look again. Below Tilda. Hold head high. The engine roared, and Smoker came out on by lower bike. Whoosh. A large net was launched from the front of the car, instantly covering several pirates including Buggy and Alvida. Buggy and Alvida, who were still alive and kicking, suddenly felt weak Tilda. This net is not an ordinary fishing net, but a special net with sea stone ingredients, specially used for the opponent's demon fruit power. As for the other little pirates in the net, that's by the way Tilda, Buggy, Alvida, you two guys who are on the most wanted list in East Blue, dare to come to Rot Town to cause trouble, you really cast yourself into a trap. A cool drift by Bilo a bike, Smoker put the bike in front of Buggy and Alvida, um, and many more. How come there is still a fish that slipped through the net? Smoker turned his head to look behind him, only to see a boy in a straw hat break free from the smoke. Smoker saw it, and so did Buggy and Alvida. Straw hat boy, let's go. If you save me this time. Our grievances will be wiped out. As if grasping at straws, Buggy didn't seem to know that he kept saying he was going to duel just now Tilda. But he couldn't care less. He still has a treasure dream, but he doesn't want to be sent to the deep sea prison like this. Alveda also shouted, Luffy, my man, save me. Luffy's face is black Tilda. Nima, seeing that the two big pirates, Buggy and Alveda, both knew this straw hat kid, Smoker wondered, are you a pirate too? In the original plot. It was because Colonel Mouse reported to Naval Headquarters that Naval Headquarters noticed the Straw Hat Pirates and offered a bounty to the Straw Hat Pirates. But now, Colonel Mouse has been thrown into the sea by Liu Olan to feed the fish, so naturally he has no way to report to the headquarters. So there is no bounty for the Straw Hat Pirates at all. The only Zoro with a bounty, Marine doesn't even know which pirate group he joined. Without a reward order, Smoker naturally doesn't know about the Straw Hat Luffy. Yes, I am the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates and my name is Monkey D. Luffy. When he was asked about his identity, Luffy of course reported his family name in a friendly manner, and then he did not forget to do his signature moves. He raised his hands high and shouted, I'm the man who is going to be the One Piece. Dash. With this shout, all the people in the Rot Town Square took a deep breath, shouting such slogans at the place where One Piece was executed, how daring is this person? Especially when Colonel Smoker from Naval Headquarters is still here. Boy. You are really not afraid of death Tilda. One piece. The corners of Smoker's mouth curled up slightly, and then he sneered, it's really stupid without knowing it. He glanced at Luffy, and didn't give Luffy a high evaluation of his combat power, but said lightly, the boy with a straw hat, just capture it with your hands, lest I do it. After all, Luffy doesn't look very old, and Smoker is still a bit respecting the old and loving the young. Hot Hilda? Luffy tilted his head, sorry, since you're marine, then I'm going to run away Tilda. With that said, Luffy turned around and ran away. Wow Tilda. A puff of smoke rushed in, blocking Luffy's front. Immediately afterwards, the smoke condensed into Smoker himself. Give it up, kid in the straw hat. You have no idea how powerful the Logia demon fruit power is. Smoker came out of the smoke like a god of war. Luffy frowned, feeling a headache. Look at it like this. It's impossible to slip away Tilda. He rubbed his fists and put on a stance. I won't give up without a fight Tilda. Smoke man, you can't stop me. Luffy's age is so deceiving Tilda. When meeting him for the first time, Everyone would think that he is just Rocky. Smoker shook his head, and looked at Luffy with the eyes of an illiterate. You don't understand how powerful Logio is. As he said that, he stood there with his hands on his hips, and said confidently, Just try to punch me and you'll know. Then obediently put your hands together and catch me. It's convenient for everyone. Punch you? Why? If it was someone else, it would either go up or punch him. But Luffy's brain circuits are different from normal people. He will not do things without reason. I tell you to hit me. Smoker spoke slowly with a slight displeasure in his tone. This little rookie, so much nonsense, forehead. Luffy raised his eyelids and pursed his lips, Uncle Smokey, I don't want to hit you. You tell me to leave, I'll go buy some meat, and leave here when I'm done. Leave. Smoker rubbed his chin, and there was even sympathy in his eyes. Poor baby. He is still thinking about buying meat. If you want to blame, blame yourself for insisting on being a pirate. You don't have to think about leaving. In the prison, you may not have meat, but you should have enough food Tilda. Seeing that Luffy was still beeping, Smoker couldn't bear it. So he walked towards Luffy. Well, if you insist on arresting me, then I can only beat you to the ground. Sighing, Luffy also became upset. I just buy meat, but you want to arrest me and put me in jail, and you want to give me meat? Question mark. Is this what people do? Thinking of this, Luffy suddenly lost his temper. Oh? Want a shot? That would be great. It was also because Luffy didn't follow the routine, 
and Smoker was brought into a corner at this time. He has to teach this ignorant kid in front of him a lesson today. Let him know how invincible a Lodia capable user is. So, Smoker didn't move forward, stood on the spot with his hips akimbo. And Jow Luffy pouted, come on, it is good. Luffy didn't hold back anymore, he put his hands on his knees. A large amount of air was quickly sucked in from his feet, thus speeding up blood circulation. Second gear. A puff of green smoke spread over the surface of Luffy's body, his skin turned slightly reddish. Oh? Looks like a demon fruit power too? Smoke pressed his eye sockets slightly, but he didn't pay much attention. After all, what if the opponent is demon fruit power? In the face of elementalization, they are all farts. Third gear bone balloon. Luffy put his right thumb into his mouth, took a bite, and then blew it up. Puff. I didn't see how much gas he blows in, but his right fist expanded tens of times or even nearly a hundred times in an instant. Oh my god. What a big fist. He's also a demon fruit power. As expected, it is a necessary place leading to the Grand Line. How many demon fruit powers will appear here every year? The people around all exclaimed. Smoker raised his eyebrows, it's still really exaggerated Tilda, but Smoker still feels disdainful. Uncle Smoke Man, my fist is very powerful, are you sure you want to hit? As an optimist, Luffy would definitely not want to fight if he could avoid it. Shelf, stop talking nonsense. Come on, Smoker blew a smoke ring. What's the use? If it was so useful, then the giant race would have dominated the world long ago. Okay, this is what you said Tilda. Seeing that Smoker still persisted, Luffy didn't ink anymore, he jumped up one step at a time. The person was in the air, his huge fist was thrown to the sky, and then he fell down. Under the force of the arm, the huge giant fist in the sky was pulled down fiercely, and then produced an extremely terrifying downward smashing kinetic energy tilde. Hey, 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 this is too scary. Who can withstand this punch? 650. Demon fruit power, all of them are monster-like existences. Don't worry, in front of Colonel Smoker, there is only one fate for these pirates and that is to go to the deep sea prison. That's right. That's Colonel Smoker. Whoever comes here, I'm afraid I'm going to be deflated in the face of this blow. Although the marine soldiers were shocked by Luffy's huge fist, no one doubted Smoker's strength. Call Tilda. The fist wind brought by the fist violently blew the ground. Smoker looked up at the giant fist against the sky. The fist wind blows on his face, blowing the two cigars in his mouth until sparks shine. Stupid and ignorant. Muttering in his mouth, Judge watched Luffy's attack confidently. Huh? Wait. This fist. Suddenly, Smoker frowned slightly, he found that there seemed to be something on the surface of Luffy's fist. He was startled, his pupils constricted immediately, and he looked over carefully. The front of this kid's fist was covered with a thin layer of black hair? Question mark. Black hair flow. And many more. Isn't that? Suddenly thinking of this possibility, Smoker's eyes widened suddenly. Not good. Without thinking too much, Smoker is about to get out of the way tilde. But Luffy's fist is too big. Boom. Dash. The fist hit the ground with a bang tilde. Boom. It's as if the whole town of Ra is shaking. The people who eat melons fell even more. This power is too terrifying. It feels absolutely no worse than the power of a giant. Yeah, it's a good thing it's Colonel Smoker. Otherwise whoever is there will die. Ah uh, hello? Isn't Colonel Smoker afraid of such a terrifying power? Ha ha. What nonsense are you talking about? Colonel Smoker has Lodia demon fruit power. Ordinary people's attacks have no effect on him. That's right. If you don't believe me. Look over there, amidst the compliments from the marine soldiers, all eyes were on the location where Luffy's fist was bombarded. The smoke and dust receded slowly, and the ground cracked by the punch slowly appeared in front of everyone. Question mark. When they saw the situation the clearly, the people around them all opened their mouths wide and their eyes widened in an instant. Nanny. Among the rubble, a guy wearing a marine coat was lying sprawled among the rubble, with nosebleed stilder. Take a closer look. Hiss. Dash, isn't it the smoker who is like a myth in the eyes of marine soldiers? Chapter 73 When did Armament Haki become so popular? Please subscribe. In the attic tilde. Ah. That dot 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 that's Armament Haki. The carders of the Revolutionary Army are all bad tilde. He was still thinking about whether to help Luffy later. But look now. He is really worried about eating carrots tilde. Looking at the cracked ground in the square, the carders of the leather army couldn't help being shocked and said, I'm only 17 years old, and I have cultivated two color haki and Luffy's talent is too terrifying. For his words, the monkey dragon on the side also deeply agrees Tilda. Just judging from Luffy's age, this talent is indeed terrifying. But, if combined with the time Luffy spends at sea, this talent is not scary. It's super super scary plus, as the carders of the revolutionary army, whether it is monkey dragon or the guy next to him, they all know that Haki's cultivation can only be honed through continuous fighting. Especially after experiencing that kind of battle where the edge of life and death hovers, Haki is more likely to awaken. However, in just over a month since Luffy went to sea, he has already awakened the two-color Haki. What is this concept? You must know that many people will not be able to stand on the threshold of a kind of Haki throughout their lives. At Luffy's age, as long as he can touch the threshold of a kind of Haki, 
He is already considered a genius like Water Chestnut. But Luffy not only awakened the cultivation of two Haki at the same time, but it seems that neither of them is just getting started. At least they have reached the primary stage. Monkey Long took a deep breath. My son is definitely not a thing in the pool. It's just that the heart is too kind. Tilda the carder on the side pouted his mouth in the direction of Zhao Fang and said. Monkey Long looked over. On the square tilde, Luffy stood in front of Smoker and spread his hands. I told you, my fist is very powerful. Believe it now tilde, lie here for a while, I'm going to buy meat. You can forget everything, except meat. MMMMMMMMMM. Smoker's mouth was full of blood, his whole head was buzzing, and it took him a long time to recover. Propping himself on the ground with his hands, Smoker sat up from the rubble. Damn, I was careless. Although he was beaten badly, Smoker didn't think it was an absolute difference in strength between the two sides. If it flashed just now, the result may not be like this. Mainly because Luffy's age is too deceptive, and Smoker never connects Luffy and Haki. If he knew that Luffy would armament Haki, Smoker would not stand still and let Luffy fight even if he was a pig. It turned out to be a good thing, I didn't pretend to be a force, but became a sand force. Hey, boy, I haven't let you go yet. Smoker stood up, straightened his messy sleeves, and said in a deep voice, I never expected that such a powerful pirate as you would appear in a place like East Blue. No wonder even Buggy and Alveda know you what tilde. Strong strength. Luffy turned to look at Smoker. A question mark appeared on his head. Shouldn't I be counted? Not to mention anything else. My strength should definitely be inferior to Luo Lan. Besides, Zora is gradually catching up with my strength. Even in my own pirate group, I'm not the strongest, not even second. Where is it powerful? Forget about pretending. Seeing that Luffy still spoke in such a tone. Smoker was so angry. In a place like East Blue, being able to use Haki is already a ceiling level pirate. As a guy who can use Haki, don't you know how strong you are in East Blue? He he tilde. Pretend. Definitely pretending on purpose. But, it's a pity that you met me from naval headquarters. So what about Haki? As long as you are demon fruit power, nothing to worry about. While talking, Smoker's figure is like smoke. White snake. He turned into a puff of smoke and quickly questioned Luffy. Hey tilde, still coming? Question mark. Luffy tilted his head with a trace of displeasure hanging from the corner of his mouth, you bastard with a smoking head, you are really annoying, head is smoking, bastard, you can catch me without a fight, smoker was furious, and he immediately showed his prototype in the air, holding a special weapon in his hand, ten hands, it hit Luffy hard, this attack is not threatening tilde, under the action of observation Haki, Luffy can accurately judge every attack trajectory of smoker, he just stretched out his hand casually, and grabbed smoker's smash tilde, however, the moment he grabbed smoker's weapon, his strength suddenly slumped. Ah, Luffy called out weakly, and was immediately smashed down by Smoker's ten hands. Boom, Luffy fell to the ground. Smoker took advantage of the opportunity to press on Luffy's back, and put his ten hands across the back of Luffy's neck to control Luffy. Hey? Question mark what's the matter with me? Why can't I use any strength? Luffy's face was pressed against the ground, and he said with a puzzled face. That's called ignorance. Smoker pressed Luffy condescendingly, wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and threw it out. He tightly held the grip of Sea Stone's ten hands. In the sea, there is a substance called Sea Stone that can suppress the power of demon fruit, and the weapon in my hand is made by fusing Sea Stone. Luffy's eyelids drooped. Ah Tilda, is that so Tilda? What should I do now? What else to do? Question mark. Damn, can't you see that you have become my prisoner? This guy's attitude is really annoying. Smoker was furious. Of course I was caught and sent to a nice lobby for trial. In the attic Tilda. Leader, shall we make a move? Seeing Luffy's situation. The carders of the Revolutionary Army were eager to try again. Monkey Dragon did not block this time. However, just as the carders of the Revolutionary Army were about to go out, they were suddenly held back by Long. On the square tilde, because of the battle between Marines and Pirates, ordinary civilians have long been hiding away. Apart from the captured Pirates, there are still a large number of Marine soldiers left in the square. Beyond that, there's Smoker and Luffy where all eyes meet. But just when everyone thought that the game of Marine catching Pirates was about to end, Three people appeared in a corner of the square. Hey, White Hunter, our captain let you go just now, but you made a sneak attack. Doing this, isn't it too unkind? Liu Olan walked towards Luffy, with a displeasure in his tone. Just now he bought some snacks with Nami and Kaya, and was going to go shopping on another street. When passing by the square, I saw the fight here. Originally, Luffy had the upper hand, and Liu Olan didn't bother to show up. But now that Luffy is about to be arrested, Liu Lan has no choice but to come out. Um, Smoker turned his head slightly and turned to look at the three of Liu Lan. Homo. He looked at Luffy again, and said thoughtfully, No wonder he has such strength at such an age, so he is the captain of the pirate group. Then, he supported Luffy's neck with sea stone ten hands in one hand, and lifted Luffy up from the ground with the strength of the other. Boy, don't say anything kind or unkind. I am marine, and my duty is to catch pirates. As long as I can catch pirates. Everything is just. Smoker looked at Liu Olan and taught him with his great principles. Of course, 
He said this mainly to maintain a positive image of Marine. His sneak attack just now was indeed unreasonable, and it was also seen by the surrounding civilians. Saying this now gives him an advantage in his position. Is that so? Hearing this, Liu Olan frowned slightly. Then, he stretched out his arm, stretched it quickly, and grabbed two beautiful civilians. Smoker immediately shouted, Stop! What are you doing? Don't hurt civilians. The surrounding Marine soldiers also raised their guns in unison, aiming at Liu Olan. Look, according to your concept, I'm a pirate. Is it reasonable for me to take hostages in exchange for my own captain? Liu Lan hugged the two little girls with his left arm, and said calmly. Take it easy ladies, we'll get you out. Yeah, don't do anything radical. These nasty pirates will kill people every now and then. Keep calm, we will rescue you. After all, you are so beautiful. Marine soldiers encouraged the two hostages one after another. However, the two little girls have a strange illusion tilde. That is, the two of them were obviously hijacked by this handsome big brother but they were not afraid at all. This big brother seems to be very light even with his arms around them Tilda. So gentle Tilda. As the two of them felt, Liu Olan really didn't mean to hurt them. At this time, Liu Olan sent the two little girls back to their original positions with a whoosh. What do you mean? Smoker frowned. He couldn't understand the young man in front of him. Originally hijacked a hostage. He would indeed throw a rat. But why did he give up such a great advantage all of a sudden? White Hunter, I just wanted to tell you. There are things that can be done, but not everyone will do them. What you want to do? You don't need to find any bullshit justice reasons. Justice is not spoken with your mouth, but in people's hearts. Everyone has their own concept of justice in their hearts. Liu Olan spread his hands, waved to the two little girls, and said with a smile, What do you think? The big brother is so right. Big brother is justice. In just a few seconds, these two little girls became Liu Olan's super fans. Even the surrounding civilians showed expressions of thinking one by one at this time tilde. Yes, the job of pirates is to catch pirates. But is it really necessary to use this as an excuse to do everything? Pirates are defined as evil. According to Marine's theory, pirates can do anything without worrying about the consequences. But in fact, not every pirate is heinous. The well-known great pirate Whitebeard, although he did a lot of bad things, but at the same time he protected many islands from other pirates. He's a big pirate, definitely evil. But for him, for the civilians who are protected, in their hearts, Whitebeard is good. It is justice. Not even Marine can compare to Whitebeard. And the pirate in front of him can easily exchange for the captain he added by using ordinary people as hostages. But he didn't do that Tilda. Isn't he this also a good conception of justice? Question mark. Moreover, the captain of the family clearly defeated Smoker just now, and did not kill Smoker. Instead, Smoker revenged his kindness and attacked them. Still in the name of justice. This justice seems too cheap. This person is not simple Tilda. In the attic. Monkeyed listened to what Liu Olan said in the square, nodded deeply, thought for a moment, and then said, Luffy can have such a partner, what else do I have? What are you worried about? What Liu Olan said made Smoker feel ashamed Tilda. Damn guy, don't you know the truth about hitting someone in the face? You are so good, you really don't give me any sympathy. So, Smoker said in a cold voice, okay, boy, you should be arrested without a fight. For the sake of taking the hostages on your own initiative, I will tell the soldiers not to torture you. Think too much. Now. It's time to use my own method to save our Captain Tilda. As he spoke, Liu Olan rubbed his wrists, stretched the brush, and pressed it firmly. What? Why is it the same as Straw Hat Boy's fruit ability? When I saw Liu Olan taking the hostage just now, Smoker didn't pay much attention, but now seeing Liu Olan use the rubber fruit ability again, Smoker was completely shocked. He exclaimed, How can there be two identical devil fruit? Liu Olan shrugged slightly, This is called ignorance Tilda. See, Leela's out. Morge's old face turned dark immediately. Just now, he had just mocked Luffy's ignorance. Not long after, he was ridiculed by Liu Olan with the same words. Although he knew that the other party was doing it on purpose, Smoker found that he couldn't refute it, because he really doesn't know anything about this kind of thing. At this time, Liu Olan's fist swished over, heading straight for Smoker's head. Smoker didn't think much of it, and left to get his head into elementalization. As for the fact that elementalization cannot defend against armament haki, Smoker is not so worried. Come on, this is East Blue. Isn't it enough to have a young man who knows Armament Haki? Question mark. You said there were two young men who knew Armament Haki at the same time? Ghost letter. Boom. Liu Olan's fist hit Smoker's head, making a terrible sound. Smoker only felt his head buzzing, and then his head slammed to the store. This huge force directly flew out with his body upside down. Boom tilde. Smoker smashed a big hole in the ground. Smoker lay in the ruins, his eyes full of unbelievable horror. How dot 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 how dot 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 how is it possible? Xun, even if all the young people in East Blue are pulled together, you can't find two guys who know armament haki? Question mark. Why do I meet two at the same time and place at once? 
Question mark. What the hell did I do in my previous life? Puff. Dash. A mouthful of old blood spurted out. Smoker didn't know whether he was beaten or angry, and passed out immediately tilde. Chapter 74 A Jealous Woman is Scary. Please subscribe. Damn it. In the attic, the carder of the Revolutionary Army couldn't help but swear, he said in disbelief. Is Armament Haki already so popular? Monkey Dragon is also in a dazed tilde. Universal? I do not know how. Even in the ranks of the Revolutionary Army, there are not many who know Armament Haki. The square is. Marine soldiers are stunned. Everyone stared at Liu Oland unfounded, and didn't know whether to fire the gun in his hand tilde. Let's shoot. Smoker is not here. They take the head against such a powerful pirate. Don't shoot. Isn't it a 10,000 years joke? Question mark. At this time, Liu Oland's eyes swept over the faces of the marines. I advise you not to do stupid things. You know, I'm a pirate. The kind who kills people without batting an eye. Golem tilde. Some marine swallowed in fright, and subconsciously raised the gun in his hand. The muzzle is not pointing, expressing no hostility. If there is one, there is a second tilde. Soon, clatter tilde. All marines cock their guns. There is no way, the strength is weaker than others. The reason is still on their side tilde. Even the surrounding civilians obviously don't think there is any problem with the pirate's approach. Smoker passed out and his devil fruit ability was naturally removed. Ha ha. Saved. Great. Thanks to the straw hat pirates, otherwise we would have been sent to the deep sea prison. The pirates in the world are one family. Ha ha. Everyone helps each other. Brothers, get away. Without the control of smokers white A's, those pirates were all free at once. Several pirates went up and lifted the nets covering Buggy and Alvida, cheering and rescued their captain. The world's pirates are a family? Question mark. Liu Olan frowned. If he didn't say that, he really didn't want to care about it. But as soon as these words came out, it seemed that the Straw Hat Pirates, the Buggy Pirates, and the Alveda Pirates were in the same group. This is a lot of 187 points. Ha ha ha, Straw Hat Pirates. Your rescue this time, Mr. Buggy, I will write it down. The previous account has been written off. Buggy grinned, as if he had everything under control again. Boom. Dash. Leo Land's fist landed on Buggy's face in an instant, knocking him over tilde. Buggy didn't even react and passed out. Stop being sentimental. Who cares whether you remember your grudge or not? Liu Olan curled her lips. Yi Bei was displeased. Ah. Captain Buggy. Damn it. We want to avenge the captain. Don't be stupid. We are not opponents at all. Save the captain first. The pirates of the Buggy Pirates felt exhausted. During their trip to Rot Town today, they seemed to be either saving the captain, or on their way to rescue the captain. This punch knocked down Buggy. Liu Olan showed great vigor. In Alvida's eyes, this flamboyant move immediately attracted the most beautiful woman in the sea. Worse than Luffy, what a powerful man. Alvida looked at Liu Olan with starry eyes, and said in an arrogant voice, I've decided, I don't like Luffy anymore. Now you are the man I like. As she spoke, she put her hands on her cheeks, put on a beautiful posture, and winked at Liu Olan, handsome and strong, be my man. Like Luffy, Liu Olan has also seen the original Alvida. Hearing this, his mind is full of the original version of Alvida. Question mark tilde. Liu Lan only felt that the back molars were sore, and goosebumps fell all over the floor. Get out. No nonsense. Liu Lan slammed out a rubber fist and went straight to Alvida's face. Pass out now. Don't give me goosebumps anymore. Boom. But when Liu Lan's fist landed on Alvida's face, it just slid over Tilda. Hey Tilda. Liu Lan froze for a moment. Good guy. Slippery fruit awesome. Actually, Ajd, is willing to attack others. What an obsessive powerhouse. After being attacked by Liu Lan, Alvida not only didn't get angry, but showed a more charming posture. Liu Lan couldn't bear it a little bit, as if he was being bitten by 10 million bugs all over his body. An uncomfortable one. Exclamation mark dash. At this moment, a bolt of lightning fell from the sky and crashed onto Alvida's body, knocking her to the ground. Zizizi tilde. Alvida fell to the ground, a strong electric current jumped back and forth on her smooth skin tilde. Convulsed violently for a few times, Alvida passed out after foaming at the mouth tilde. Ah. Where did the lightning come from? Captain, there are obviously no dark clouds, what's going on? Thunderbolt in the sky tilde. Don't you think it's scary? Others don't know what's going on. But Liu Olan does. He subconsciously looked at Nami who was not far behind him, and saw that the little thieving cat's face was full of anger at this moment tilde. Obviously, Alvida violated Nami's reverse scale, and this Nilin seems to be me tilde. Liu Olan is thinking narcissistically tilde. Ha ha, what to do? The captain fainted. So is our captain. Quick, get out of this damn place first. Everyone, please help and carry the two captains away. The pirates got busy with their hands and feet. However, they didn't realize at all that they had been implicated by their captain. Originally, Nami was in a good mood, went shopping with Liu Olan, and then went back to buy something, very happy. But I didn't expect not only to be spoiled by these pirates, but also to openly snatch her husband. How can this be tolerated? Accept the terrible wrath of a jealous woman. You humanoid Baileys. No one is allowed to go. Nami gave a coquettish cry, 
and pointed the small wand in his hand towards the sky, rumbled Tilda. The originally cloudless sky was suddenly filled with azure blue lightning. Countless thunder and lightning are intertwined, just like the waves of the sea. What? Underscore. What the hell? What's going on? This dot 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 this is the devil fruit ability. It's that woman. Oh my god. She looks beautiful and harmless to humans and animals, yet she has such terrifying abilities. Run. The pirates realize that there is a big problem. No matter what Buggy and Alveda, run away, only. Chop, 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 chop. Strands of extremely thick lightning beams poured down from the sky like a pouring basin tilde, landed with a bang. It's over, help. Not only the pirates, but also the marines and civilians have the same thoughts at this moment. It's over, it's over. I knew I should go home now tilde. It's too late to run now tilde. Almost everyone has the same reaction, holding their heads and dying tilde. Boom, boom, boom. After a burst of terrifying thunder, the square regained its tranquility. Hey Tilda? I dot 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 I didn't die. A civilian let go of his hands holding his head, and looked around cautiously. I dot 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 I didn't die. God, I can survive such a terrifying thunder and lightning. I am Uang. I'm not dead. I'm also the Emperor of Europe. Pull it down. Look around. There are so many European emperors, huh? It seems dot 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 only those pirates were struck by lightning. Obviously, they don't want to hurt us civilians at all. Great. When the lightning disappeared. The civilians and marines found that they were all unharmed. But also realize one thing Tilda. If people want to kill them, it's just a matter of thought. This feeling of weakness is really helpless. In the attic Tilda. This dot 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 this dot 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 this. The carders of the Jianjun opened their mouths in surprise. He tried hard to say something, but found that he couldn't organize the language smoothly because he was too frightened Tilda. Monkey Dragon was also shocked. At first Luffy's strength shocked him Tilda. Later, a strong and thoughtful partner like Liu Olan appeared which made Monkey Dlong even more gratified. Now there is another partner with such a powerful devil fruit. Monkey Dlong is not well Tilda. Why didn't I have such good luck when I first went to sea? It's a milk drop. People are better than others. It's maddening. My son is really jealous of me Tilda. On the square Tilda. Marine soldiers dare not move. I dot 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 can we go? A bolder marine soldier asked nervously. HMPH. I didn't restrict your personal freedom. Nami came over, and Ka followed closely behind her. Seeing such a big scene for the first time. Kaya was still very nervous. Which one of you is the leader? Nami came in front of Marine, with one hand on his hip, like a big sister. Then dot 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 there dot 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 there. The Marines all pointed to Smoker lying in the rubble. Now, who's the biggest? Nami doesn't bother with Smoker, she just knows who has the right to speak. Ah, uh, it should be me. A Marine with a Lieutenant Colonel's epaulets on his shoulders stepped out. He bowed his waist slightly, lowered his head and his attitude in front of Nami was extremely respectful. This damn desire to survive. Nami nodded, okay, I'll give you two hours to count the bounties of these pirates for me immediately, and then give me a lot of them. What? Hearing this, Lieutenant Colonel Marine was stunned. Ah, you're big. Didn't you hear me? Having just experienced the unpleasant experience of being robbed a man face to face, Nami is now starting. No. No no no. No. No, even if it's for bounties. But these pirates were captured by Colonel Smoker. Lieutenant Colonel Marine had a bitter face, as if he had eaten Xiang Xiang. Didn't you run away again just now? Nami asked back. Hearing this, Lieutenant Colonel Marine nodded. Ah, it seems to be the same. Then what's the nonsense? Go get the money. I'm not as good as a bounty hunter. While talking, Nami's ability to activate cards tilde, rumble tilde, in the sky. The thunder shook violently, and a group of lightning ripples intertwined in the sky. Ah. Auntie, don't be angry. I'll let someone take the money. Feeling the pressure on the top of the head, how dare Lieutenant Colonel Marine dare to beep? Question mark. So, if you want others to reason with you, first of all you have to be the one with the big fist. It's useless to talk nicely to you. Once the thunder and lightning strike, you will immediately understand the truth. Nami said, very well, after two hours, it's still here, and I'll come to get the money. You won't break your promise to me, will you? No, no, no Tilda. Don't worry. Grandma, Marine promises to promise Tilda. You you are such a little money fan. Looking at Nami who came to his side, Liu Olan smiled. He he. Isn't it right for people to get some money for the team? The little hand took Liu Olan's arm without any haste, and Nami smirked slightly annoyed. Liu Olan scratched Nami's cute nose. Well, we Nami will live. He he. We've got so much money for the team, it's not too much to spend some money to buy clothes. Not too much Tilda Liu Olan was non-committal. Let us talk less about this wave of more than 20 million baileys. Nami. As the hero of these 20 million yuan, embezzled a little bit Tilda. Not a big problem Tilda. Then let's go. With a happy smile on his face, Nami left with Liu Olan on his arm. Chapter 75 Create a Slingshot for You Soap. Please subscribe. It was evening when we left the town of Ro. At sunset, Going Merry left the port of Ro town. Standing on the deck of Going Merry, Nami looked at the sudden strong wind, and said a little strangely. Strange, how could Nanfeng suddenly blow in this weather? Waha. Anyway, it's a tailwind, 
So what the heck, Luffy had meat in his hands and a stuffed mouth. Liu Olan smiled and said, I guess whose father is the son? What dad? You so leaned over, A Trigrams said. It's nothing, just talking nonsense. Liu Olan made a ha-ha comma Tilda I don't bother to explain much. Can I tell you that it was Luffy's dad who did it? You don't believe it either Tilda. It was already very late after the banquet. Liu Olan took a shower and was about to go to bed. Creak Tilda. The small interior door opened. There is no doubt that this is an army coming. Ah Tilda? My clothes are disheveled. Liu Lan just got out of the shower, and her clothes are all short sleeping styles. It was a bit embarrassing to be barged in by Nami suddenly. That's right. Here you go, put it on. Nami gave Liu Lan a set of clothes she was holding in her hand. I'll come and see later. With that said, Nami went back. Liu Lan opened the suit to reveal a sporty sweater and pants, plus a plain white bottoming shirt. Good guy I said that when I was in the clothing store today. This little thief cat stayed in there for so long. So he even bought clothes for me. Looking at the style of this suit, Liu Olan did not reject it. After all, the styles of sports style clothes will not vary too much. It's mainly about people. Liu Olan changed into this suit and went to the mirror to have a look. Really? He is handsome, and he is naturally handsome in clothes. If this was in the campus of the previous life, I am afraid that the girls would have to eat tofu even if they were walking tilde. How? Huh? Did he pick well? Nami's little head suddenly popped up beside Liu Olan. Good. Before he finished speaking. The corner of Liu Olan's eyes flashed Tilda. He looked at Nami who was standing with him in the mirror. Liu Olan's hoodie has a boy's head in front of it, and Nami's hoodie has a girl's head in front of it. Good guy. It turned out to be a complete couple outfit Tilda. Naturally, Nami took Liu Olan's arm, leaned her cheek on Liu Olan's shoulder, made a V with the other hand, and muttered, It's a good match. Then she looked at Liu Olan in the mirror and blinked, This handsome guy, let's wear like this next time we go shopping is it okay okay tilda i really lost to you what else can liu olan say tilda okay whatever you say is what you say okay shrugging liu olan said yes but having said that it feels like someone is thinking about everything which is very very good okay then it's settled whoever repents is a puppy after speaking nami happily ran away tilda on the other hand Zora didn't go to rest after the banquet his time limit for entering comics today hasn't run out yet open Zaraki Kenpaki biography? Spiritually communicated with the manga, and Zora entered it. Rukon Gai, Zaraki district. Zora appeared here. To be precise, Zora appears as a soul in the Shinigami world. As a fresh ghost who just appeared here, the other ghosts smelled Zora immediately. Another guy grabbing water. There are several ghosts around who are sharing the only water left in a container, and they suddenly notice that Zora is coming, so they naturally think that he is here to grab the water. The whole Rukon Gai. Day 320 District, divided into four directions, east, west, north, south, each direction has 80 districts. The larger the serial number, the more shortage of spiritual particles in the atmosphere and drinking water. A more pastoral area is District 80, an almost deserted area. Here, all kinds of crazy fights are staged every day, just for the very limited water. The so-called drinking water can be understood as the water resources needed by ghosts. Snatch water. Hearing this. Zora looked towards the ghosts, seeing the container they were pulling, Zora felt a nausea at the moment Tilda, Nima, if you give me this stuff, I won't drink it, I thought so in my heart, but Zora said coldly, that's right, I'm here to grab your water, then you are really looking for death, brothers, kill him first, a leading ghost howled, and several surrounding ghosts rushed up together, Zora and hurriedly drew three knives, he didn't make sure to kill the two ghosts who rushed over first, but let them form an encirclement circle, these ghosts look like guys who often hunt and kill other ghosts, and they are very smart in cooperation. After surrounding Zora, they did not rush to attack, but circled around Zora Tilda. Ding 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 Tilda. When Zora turned his body passively, the earrings on his ears made a tinkling sound. Ha ha, what an idiot. To wear such loud earrings, it seems that he was also a rich man in his lifetime. When I first came here, I wanted to grab food and water from our seniors. If I die, I will ask for it. Don't be careless. There used to be a ruthless guy in Izaraki area. That guy braided bells in his hair, and his style is a bit similar to this kid. Can it be different Tilda? I just learned from him. Superior. The surrounding ghosts swarmed up and cooperated skillfully. When? 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 Zoro withstood the attacks of several ghosts with three swords. These ghosts are not vegetarian either, although the weapons in their hands are various. They are accurate and ruthless, although the strength is not bad. But here, everything is a new beginning. Battle experience plus 666. Question mark Haki prototype experience value plus 666. Question mark Sanpei Kuto prototype experience value plus 666. Battle experience plus 666. Question mark Haki prototype experience value plus 666. Question mark Sanpei Kuto prototype experience value plus 666. As Zoro continued to fight, 
Above his head, an invisible hint popped up for a mile. Puff Tilda. Zara pierced the stomach of one of the ghosts with a knife, and the moment he pulled it out, the ghost rolled out. But another ghost seized the opportunity and cut off Zara's head with a single knife. Well, waking up suddenly, Zara looked at the manga in his hand and touched his neck subconsciously Tilda. That cool feeling, even after withdrawing from the comic world, is still so clear and terrifying Tilda. Death is really not something to be happy Tilda. Taking a few deep breaths, Zora entered the manga again. This time, the result was the same as before, only killing one ghost before being killed. The difference is that this time someone poked his heart from behind. The sound of the earrings really greatly increases the difficulty of the battle. The two deaths just now, this bell earring can be said to be indispensable. That man can do it, and so can I, Zora. Without further ado, Zora entered the world of manga again. While Zora was fighting in Rukongai, another person also entered the Shinigami world. Usopp. But unlike Zora, Usopp entered not Rukongai, but Sirite. Even. The two people entered the Shinigami world not at the same time. The soul society that Usopp entered was 2000 years earlier than the soul society that Zora entered Tilda. At this moment, in a certain forge in Sirite Tilda, a trendy man with curly black punk hair holds a prototype blade in one hand and a small hammer in the other. There is no doubt that this person is the protagonist of the comic that Usopp has taken. Hold the prototype of the blade with the pliers in the left hand, and gently tap the blade with a small hammer in the right hand Tilda. Ding 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 ding. The sound was very crisp but the small hammer did not land on the prototype of the blade, but on the forging platform. Next moment Tilda, when a sledgehammer hit the prototype of the blade heavily, the moment the sledgehammer head left, the two small hammers of Wu Wan Ayu fell down again in an instant. Ding 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 Tilda, the sound is still crisp, when brutal sledgehammer strikes again. Ding 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 Tilda, the hammer is as light as running water Tilda. The sledgehammer and the small hammer have different divisions of labor but they are both essential. This is a way that only hammer artists can understand. I don't know how long it took to strike, but both the sledgehammer and the small hammer stopped. It should work this time. Usopp put down the sledgehammer in his hand, wiped his sweat, with a look of expectation on his face. That's right Tilda. The one who has been wielding the sledgehammer just now is none other than Usopp who has entered the comic world. After he finished reading the whole manga, he had the idea of becoming Ermia Wanayu's partner. I have been here more than a hundred times, and finally yesterday. Relying on the accumulated failure experience of more than a hundred times, Usopp finally fell in love with Erm Wuwanau and successfully deepened the relationship with him. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. But today, Usopp went to the next level and finally got the approval of Naimiya Wanau and became his forging partner. Yeah, those guys' weapons are very unique, but in my opinion, those weapons have no soul. Erm Wuwanau clamped the forged prototype of the blade and put it into the rich spiritual power pool. Zizizi Tilda, accompanied by the rising of strong spiritual exhaust gas, the prototype of this blade began to be tempered. I'm really looking forward to it. You've put so much effort into it. This experimental product will definitely not disappoint you. Usopp rubbed his hands together, staring intently at the refining pool. As a master of the same craft, Usopp's talent is no worse than Wang's. You know, in the world of pirates, Usopp can make magical objects like weather sticks with his own pair of skillful hands. If he is given a wider stage, even the god of craftsmen will have to worry about losing his status. It's not my painstaking effort alone, but also yours. Picking up his black punk curly hair with a small wooden stick, Erm um, Wuwanau patted Usopp on the shoulder and said with a smile, He is a man of great character. Usually, people with personality are very serious. What's yours is yours. You paid then I can't take your share of the effort. Ever since he recognized Usopp's talent in craftsmanship, Naimi Yawanayu has completely regarded Usopp as a partner. If you say that, then I'm not humble. To tell you the truth, I used to be a forge. Usopp smiled, and was about to start bragging, when suddenly he looked at the tempering pool and exclaimed, Okay, zero. There is drama. Some things, when it comes to success, can produce telepathy. Erm um, Wuwanayu was in this state right now. He couldn't wait to take out the tempered blade. The blade is as smooth as a mirror, as if it has been leveled. But, it feels like this is no ordinary knife. Putting the blade close to the ear, Erm um, Wuwanau listened Tilda. After a while, his eyes lit up, and he put the blade close to Usopp's ear. Did you hear that? Heard it. Usopp's eyes were also shining, and he said in surprise, that's the resonance from the soul. Ha ha. Yes. It really is true. I heard it, and you heard it too. This time it really succeeded. Erm um, Wuwanau hugged Usopp excitedly. His whole body couldn't hide his excitement. Yeah, this is a groundbreaking event for the entire Soul Society. I have a hunch that it won't be long before the entire Sirites Shinigami will use you to forge. Knife. Usopp took a rainbow fart in good time. Hearing this, Erm um, Wuwanayu took a deep breath. His heart was surging. All Shinigami use my forged knives. That greatness Tilda. Just thinking about it makes me dream. He grabbed Usopp's hand, took another deep breath, 
and said with emotion, You soap, I also have a premonition, after a thousand years, your name and mine will surely resume throughout the soul. Hey Tilda, is there still me? I was surprised for a while, but you soap was very excited. Okay, let us become the legend of the Soul Society. By the way, what are you going to name this weapon? You, too, House Wanayu held the blade in his hand, pondered for a moment, and said, This is a weapon with a soul, and it uses a sword as its original form. Then, its name is, it's called Zanpei Kuto. Good name. You soap slapped another rainbow card angrily. Afterwards, he also pretended to think for a while, and said, This kind of Zanpei Kuto that hasn't found its owner yet, let's call it a sealed state. What do you think? Sealed state. J. Um Wuwana U savored it carefully, and then the light in his eyes gradually brightened. Okay, it's the sealed state. This is the first Zanpei Kuto. As a souvenir, I want to collect it. Next, the second Zanpei Kuto that we forge, will be forged for you. Um Wuwana U is a real person, and he will not forget Usopp's contribution. The first one is collected by himself, then the second one must be collected by Usopp. That's what a partner is. Usopp agreed. Good. However, I hope that the forged weapon is not based on a knife. But a slingshot, slingshot. Um Wuwana U showed a surprised look, but then smiled. Okay, as you wish. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.